Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the mega, mega high on life. Now this was developed and published by Squanch Games and would usually cost you a deliciously wallet pounding £50 slash $60 but get your buns on that Game Pass Huns and play it right now without spending that mega mega bucks. So this hilarious and brilliant first person shooter comes from the co-creator of Rick and Morty and Solar Opposites and you can easily tell with just the voice acting alone. But here we are as an unknown voiceless squeaky teen, I'd assume, who has to help aliens and beat the G3 cartel after your little quiet home gets invaded by aliens because, of course. Now achievements in this game, they're easy to obtain but you do have to do things in a particular order and do them right. So for instance, there are five parts to the achievement called A Starfish is Born. There are seven missables you need to do, otherwise a new game you will have to play. 227 lug locks ch collectible chests uh, to grab, plus a few more. Now the main little annoyance at the time of this recording anyway is the achievement called Mods Please Ban. And that's for unlocking every post in the Bounty Hunter forum. Now the reason it's annoying is because it's actually bugged at the minute. It won't unlock past 97%, so hopefully a patch for that will be imminent. Otherwise, it's a brilliant and highly enjoyable game, and I hope you enjoy it with me. So, as we begin here, now I've just picked story mode. Story mode is just the easiest mode. Obviously, you can pick whatever you want if you prefer the little, extra little bit of a challenge. Me, I... Mate, I've already got a hell of a stressful enough life, so uh, easy mode it is. And you can call me little, little you know, little wiener tits, whatever you like. <laughs> little bitch boy, I don't mind. I, <laughs> it's, it's nice not to get stressed and annoyed when... Real life does that for us anyway. Anyway, like I said, it's going to take around 12 to 15 hours, roughly around that for the completion. So, let us begin. Now, of course, this is this is the start of the game. This is the tutorial. It's going to tell you exactly what to do. So, we're going to press the A button to jump. Of course, the left stick to move. Press A in midair to double jump, which is not an actual thing. So, already being trolled there. So, haha, -ha, thank you, Mr. Justin Roiland. Uh, press the down on the D-pad to crouch. And it'll be a case of left trigger to aim, uh, aim down your sights, and then right trigger to shoot as normal. Uh, I don't, don't think you can die on on uh, this part, but anyway, all we're doing is just following basically the path ahead. Um, not to the right, we're going to the left. Uh, you can shoot a box if you want, but it makes no difference. You press the X button as well to reload. Um, otherwise, all you're going to be doing is shooting some handy dandy broskies square in the old nugget head. Um, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Pressing the left bumper here will interact with doors and uh, objects and other things in the game, which of course you will get used to anyway. Um, but like I said, all we're doing for the time being then, this is just, it's going to take a couple of minutes, but all you're going to be doing is just, that's just health pickups if you ever need some health. Uh, but just go around shooting some aliens until we automatically get in the scene with our, uh, our sister who is, I mean, she's a delightful little cokehead as it were. As you'll see in just a bit. Anyway, shoot to death for now, anyway. An alien spaceship landed in your ex wife's backyard. She fell in love with a leader, and it turns out they're all a hive mind, so she's fucking all of them. What are the odds? I know that's probably what you're thinking, but just get out there and kill them, Buck. It's all these people. Over and out. say goodbye to mom and dad before they left for their trip. You know they were pissed, right? Whatever, we got the place to ourselves now. Now is this just every American teen ever, as soon as mom and dad goes away? Whip up the cocaine, boys! Come on! Um, yeah, so, um, th th this is America down to a T, right? Am I right, Americans? Are you all, you're all just a bunch of cokeheads, right? When, you, when you're on your own, yeah? Yep, okay, well, glad we got that one sorted. Excellent day. Right, this is um, just choosing a character. You can choose okay, what you want. Totally choose who you want. Pretty, beautiful, everyone looks pretty hot in this game. 
I'm just going to go with uh, Big Chin Johnny Bravo if he were uh, in today's, uh, if he was created today. Old Big Chin Johnny Bravo. Otherwise, um, like I said, we're just cracking on. The dialogue, you can't actually skip any of the dialogue, which, you know, isn't actually a bad thing because a lot of it is actually just hilarious. Uh, <laughs> you know, what else can I say? But anyway... Here we are then, in the house, what we're going to do is head to the left here and start heading down the stairs. And we are going to just have a little conversation. Uh, look at that, you can tell she's on the coke, her nose looks like it's dro drooping apart right now. Uh, we can't actually go out of the door just yet. Uh, so what we need to do is actually go to the fridge first and have a look at the notes. Now you don't actually have to stand around and listen to them until they finish. You can actually just go to your destination or whatever you need to do. Hello, sweetheart. Yeah, would have been nice if you had some cocaine with us before we left, but, uh, you know, screw it. Screw you. Loser. <laughs> well, I say loser. He, this, this guy is exactly what I've done when I dropped out of school. Or when I finished school. Just played games all day. So anyway, uh, <laughs> they were good times. Good football manager times they were. Oh, sorry. Soccer manager. Right, so, little unskippable cutscene to grab. Apparently, they... <laughs> Aliens just decided to wreck this part of the world for some particular reason. I knew aliens were real. Can you understand what they're saying? Oh shit, look! It's Mr. Pilfrey! He's got that, um... What's it called? Uh, dementia. Oh, what's going on out here? Martha? Is that you? Oh my god! Oh my god! What did they just do to Mr. Pilfrey? Hola! Miyamoto! What the fuck is going on? Cho! Machita! Wanna ho! Ooh! Whoa! Ho 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 so his name is Gargantuan. Looks more like a gargantuan genital wart, doesn't he? Really, but uh, we'll see him a little bit later on. So when we can, when we can move our unknown female squeaky voice, uh, male squeaky voice teen character, head towards the dead alien and just give him a little nudge. There, you'll automatically give him a little nudge. Touch his butt, apparently, in the process. And this is where you will get the uh, Kenny the Gun, who has not a familiar voice at all. And apparently he spits green goo on us to help him understand. Again, I don't know where this accent or this voice has come from, I've never heard of it. But uh, after he starts talking, this is where stuff's going to get rehal. Yeah, sorry about the spit. I, I I needed to get you infected with the translator microbes. That, that, that's sort of how it works. I guess you guys don't have those here yet. Listen, my name's Kenny. I'm a Gatlian. Uh, we we gotta kind of we gotta oh, move. What is it? Is it talking to you? Maybe we should go back to the Ignore house. Ignore her. It's very important that you listen to everything I say. Okay, it is your lucky day right now. We can survive this together if you just listen to me. Cause these three guys are gonna. Now let's do this thing, honeys. So right at the other end of the street there, you can see the alien complex that has appeared again. Remember, it's uh, left trigger to uh, aim down the sights and right trigger to shoot. X button to reload if needed, which you probably will. So just head inside, uh, kill all the aliens. Uh, basically, aliens are going to start spawning all around us now. So we're going to need to head inside now. Crack instead of eyeballs. Now these guys, um, if you can, try and aim for the heads so their eyeballs pop out. That's for an achievement a lot later on. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to keep heading up the stairs for now. So we're not going to worry about any achievements. Uh, amazing bit of blood. Alien blood popping out there. There's going to be another guy up here. So we'll just shoot him. Deader than a dead thing in dead stuff. And as you can see, right in front of us there is what is called one of the warp crystals. Again, that is go going to become a prominent feature much later in the game. So we've grabbed that one. Now we can just head straight out. And the aliens are going to pop out from all over. So... All, all we're going to be doing, our prime objective here is to head back to the house and go into the kitchen and you will automatically place the warp crystal next to the microwave. So uh, shoot who you can and what you can, head in and straight for your kitchen. Might as well make a cheeky little snack while we're there. 
And it can be one of those, you know, American versus British type snacks versus Australian, but with aliens and stuff in it this time. <laughs> oh, man. American snacks do look delicious at giving you heart attacks and diabetes and stuff. But hey, I'm all up for that. All up for the diabetes. Yes. Ran off too. We're almost there. Oh, thank God you're still alive. I just killed the microwave. Oh, whoa. You can understand your gun now. Translator microbes, they're contagious, but completely just move past all this shit. So. Oh, thank God it works. Okay. Looks like we made it. Welcome to Blim City. Did you just warp our entire house to another planet? Yeah, keep up. We'll be safe here. Now take me outside. Whoa. whoa. So if you were wondering how easy is it to get through to other alien worlds, it's that easy. Just find one of those warp crystals and a talking gun who sounds, well, like some familiar characters, and you'll end up in Blim City, girl. Yeah, this looks pretty. This looks pretty dope. It's pretty blim. Right, uh, you can have a little chat around and speak to people if you want. We are basically going to find Gene the Bounty Hunter, who, as we start uh, by coming out of the house, just head slightly right and just go into the middle here, and he is a homeless bounty hunter who is no longer a bounty hunter, sleeping on the bench, looking... <laughs> well, I mean, I bet he's seen better days, to be fair. No legs and only two working eyes. That's... And a hell of a pop belly. That's that's those American snacks, right? Giving him the old uh, titty diabetes. My favorite. I'm really Gene. That's me. Like on the ads. Disappointed? Guess how I feel. Uh, okay, well, whoopsies. Huh. We were going to ask for your help fighting the G3 cartel, but... Kid, do I look like I can help anyone? I just got evicted. I don't even have a goddamn home. Can, can you point us in the direction of, you know, a, a, a bounty hunter friend that's still working, you know... Still has their legs. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that nice house. God damn. Where'd that come from? That's a great fucking house. You see that house? Huh? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, th that's this hairy alien's house, the one holding me. Ah, damn. Can't stop looking at that beautiful house. Uh, yeah, okay. The gears are turning. Maybe I can help you. You can? Uh, but you just said... Maybe the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I said I'd help you fight the... Who, who'd you say? The... The G3 cartel? Oh yeah, oh, come on, that's crazy, but... Okay, well, whatever, whatever, yeah, 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 sure. We'll, we'll kill them all, easy. <laughs> I've got a fully operational bounty suit in my cart over there. Really? Well, that's that's convenient. Yeah, I could turn that hairy kid of yours into a true blue bounty hunter. But if they die, I want the house. That's the trade. Are you sure? I don't think they've even fired a gun before today. And, and wait, wait you, you want the house in return? Yeah. This is a great deal for you. I mean, you get all my old bounty hunter shit, and I might get a house. I, I don't know. Enough talking. J just be a gun for a second. You, hairy kid, put on the suit. See how you feel. Then make a decision, yeah? I can always just pawn this shit off. Okay, g go ahead. Try it on. What choice do we have? You look great, kid. A natural. Definitely not gonna die on your first bounty. All right, I guess we'll give it a shot, but I, I don't know about this. Okay, so this is where we're gonna start getting into the real nitty gritty of the game now, around 15 minutes in. So basically, if you press up on the D-pad, that is where you will see and find your uh, compass, as it were, your destination on the map. So if you ever get lost, just press up on the D-pad and you will find your way telling you where to go. So you can't really ever get lost in the game, which is all good. And then you've got this annoying thing, which is basically like that bloody paperclip on Microsoft Word from back in the day. And everyone hated that paperclip. 
It wasn't very helpful. Basically saying, like, to start typing on a keyboard, please type on the keyboard. Well, thank you very much. So, there we go. So there's our first destination then after uh, Nobby Knob stops talking there. So again, like I said, anytime you get lost, just press up on the D-pad to find your destination. So now we're going to be pressing left bumper anytime some adverts come up. Don't worry, this isn't a... This is just a hilarious troll once more from Justin and the gang. Uh, but otherwise, we're just going to Mr. Keeps and Son buy, sell, porn. Porn? No, not porn, but pawn. Pawn. Anyway, all you're going to do then, uh, ignore the son. You're going to be speaking to what looks like a really, really messed up Dr. Zoidberg. Um, so just keep talking to him for uh, just the time being until we're able to buy the activation disc. Old Zaruthia doesn't feel like pawning his license key anymore. What? Did he win the sweepstakes? Ha! Okay, so you want this license key. But, but it's really nice. I kind of want it for myself. You've got to not use the shit, Dad! Fine, take it! It's yours! Okay, fuck yeah! Activation license accepted. Bounty hunting suit is in perfect working order. Time for an important question. Would you like to keep me on? as your permanent in-suit advisor. That was the best choice you could have made. All right, bye-bye now. I'll be back a bunch. Whoa, not bad. It's got your vital readings, armor levels, even my biometrics. Gene really came through, didn't he? I told you he'd be great. Perfect. Just what this galaxy needs. Another good-for-nothing bounty hunter. Out of my star! Right, so, uh, thank you, Dr. Zoidberg. Um, the, you getting fired there from the Planet Express ship, uh, well, that must have taken a toll on you, right? Right. Anyway, what we're going to do then, now we've got our activation ship, no more adverts are going to appear, and as you can see at the bottom of the screen, you've got your health bar there on the left. The little, uh, well, the green bar above it is your shield as well, which, when you kill certain enemies or uh, any random enemies later on in the game, they drop um, little bits of extra shields, so you can just pick them up and your shield will automatically be regenerated. Plus, the blue bar on the right there is just the ammo. So you'll always have 15 shots there with Kenny, so anytime you see it uh, almost depleting, just press again the X button to uh, reload. Otherwise, we're going to speak to Jean, who's looking nice and comfy, while uh, cocaine up sister is really wondering if it is just the... Bizarre white powder up her nose, which has given off this weird illusion. Or if we're actually in this incredible alien Bim City world. The 5,000. So, uh, you're welcome. A what 5,000? Your kid here thinks they're going to be a big bad bounty hunter. I set them up with some fancy equipment, so they're letting me have the house when they die. Kid? They're not my kid. I'm their sister. How old do you think I am? Listen, hairball, I don't know what kind of alien you are or how fast you age. I'm just making my best guesses here. You were only gone five minutes and you already told some random alien he could move in with us. That's what you did. Look, I know it's a lot all at once, but we need him to save your species. So do you think you could put up with him for a bit? Well, yeah, if it's going to help, sure. I'm sorry. Everything I've ever known just got flipped. So what? We just jump into the deep end and start hunting down G3 officers or, or what? I'm not sure you're ready just yet. I mean, they don't let you fuck the glumpers at glumpies without a level four fuck pass, do they? Uh, what? I, I, I don't know. Well, they don't. Maybe I should send you out on a little test run first, eh? Uh, okay, sure. I've got just the thing. A small-time local gangster by the name of Nine Torg. She took my favorite knife. She's got an operation out in the slums. Maybe you kill her and get my knife back. <laughs> then we'll talk. Maybe take you out to Glumpy's to celebrate. All right, so we, we just head out to the slums? No, moron. You gotta use the Bounty 5000 to initiate... Right, so then, we are about to start our first bounty and start whipping in them achievements, boy! So, uh, have a look to your right there, and you can see the Bounty 5000. So press the left bumper on it, and of course there's only going to be one that we can do for now, and it will be Nine Torg. So accept the bounty, of course. Nine Torg is like a weird alien thing. We can't get to... Uh, the, now, normally, later on, anyway, there'll be a portal that we can just simply walk through to get to the level. But that doesn't happen this time. But that's fine, because she's not actually too far away. So what we can do now is just simply head outside, and we are going to get our first achievement of the game called... 
Again, the hilariously titled Fallout wouldn't let you do this. So, as we enter downtown once again, what we're going to do is start heading forward. Now, of course, Kenny here will talk an unbelievable amount through the game. Uh, so just keep heading forward, ignoring the... Um, we're just starting heading to the left. Now, for some reason, sometimes the destination marker will want to take you a little bit out of the ways before going to the normal destination. So just uh, be wary of that one. You're going to speak to blue <laughs> blue balls and red balls right here. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you can just choose any dialogue option in order to get through, but... It's going to be talking for a few minutes, and then what you will do, or what I did anyway, was just uh, choose the blue option. Basically saying that blue is hotter, and red is notter. So, I always just choose the blue one, and that will eventually, after a few minutes of more talking, will open up the way for us. That's nice. It's still plenty hot, I'm just hotter. Blue's a hotter color, that's... That's science. I know, I know, I know. I just I just wish one time someone would say I'm hotter. You know, I put so much work in. I watched all those skin care tutorials, and I got surgery, so I have to poop anymore. That's your problem. It should be effortless. Everyone can sense all that desperation, all the sadness. It's just radiating from you. But me, I'm just true blue, all natural hot, baby. Is it true? Am I, am I just really a lost cause? Be honest. Yeah, you, you can't match up to the blue guy. Look, I'm sorry. That's just how it is. God, you don't have to be so blunt about it. I, I'm pretty fragile, you know? Don't worry about him. He's weak and disgusting. He doesn't get what it's like for us hot people. Sorry for making you talk to him. Can I uh, make it up to you by letting you use my door anytime you want? Free passage in and out of the slum. Well, really? That, that would be amazing. And that's it. You know, that, that would be amazing. Yes, thank you very much. Right, so we're going to start heading down. Of course, remember to sprint by clicking in the left stick. I can't remember if I told you that earlier, but you probably already figured that out from the tutorial. So clicking in the left stick here to, uh, to sprint. And then this is where we are going to get the Fallout Doesn't Let You Do This achievement. So there is a guy with a, a completely broken leg, which... I mean, he doesn't seem too bothered by it, but that does look a bit painful. And here he comes then. So what you're supposed to do... Now, I'm pretty sure you can miss this achievement. But if you just keep spamming the right trigger here, eventually, which you're going to shoot him dead. And, uh, <laughs> well, unfortunately for that guy, or that kid, uh, he, he, he's, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we've shot a kid. How do you feel? Um, yeah, I don't know how we feel about that, but, uh, <laughs> well, let's just swiftly move on. Wait until the achievement unlocks. There, there it is. Fallout doesn't let you do this. Probably for good reason. Uh, otherwise, we're going to go forward and shoot the drones here. So just shoot the two drones. No other enemies will appear as of yet. But that is our first achievement of the game. Lovely. Now these are the green shields. The Dura Shield pickup. So anytime that you've lost any uh, any uh, sort of health off your shield there. Remember it's the green bar at the top of the health bar. Uh, you will basically just pick them up and go nuts again. So your shield will be replenished. Now if you speak to this lady. She will basically tell you that the kid we just shot is actually 30 years old. So... Don't worry, you're you're not a child murderer. Don't worry about that. You're all good. Thank God. You're just a 30-year-old murderer, which is nice. Right, so getting into the action straight away here with all of these ants. So if we start heading down the ramp, there's going to be a whole bunch of ants that are going to appear. So shum dead, boys. Shum dead. Shit, they're shooting at us. Come on, shoot back. Come on, shoot back. It's going to be so easy to kill you. I guess this time I ruined your picnic. I you know we make a pretty good team because we're ran. Well, do you know why? Get ready for another wave, bounty hunters. Maybe you're stronger than we thought. Now, this is Come on, multi kill. We'll make us climb the rock right. Now, for quite a few achievements then, we are going to want to try and get as many kills as we can. So that's why it's always handy to, uh, or that's why I always advise to kill absolutely everyone that you can before moving on to the next area. I'm pretty sure you have to anyway. Uh, but what we're going to do now is talk to this fishing guy, talking to his fish. I know you've got all this great information, but uh, if you uh, shut up right now, then uh, I'd like to talk to you. Uh, now, what I just pointed at, that is going to be where we need to go, but we actually have to speak to this guy with all the great information here first. And, uh, so we're just going to ask him the right option there, which is basically how to get to Nine Talk, or who is Nine Talk, or how the hell do we get there? 
and he's going to let us know. Let's grig ya. Grig ya. Um, so, yes. So, uh, like I said, just in terms of enemies, kill everything that you possibly can. Anything that moves, apart from, you know, all the good guys and all the innocent people, of course. Um, so, we are going to... Yeah, we can back out now. You can have a look at all the rest of the information, but it, it doesn't miss out on any achievements or anything. So, we're just going to crack on with it. So, heading to the right. Now, we can... This is where we can see the right, right bumper for his... Glob shot, which again is hilariously explained. So anything with a green piece of green goo on it, that is what we can shoot with the right bumper. So head to the right again, smash that open, smash it, uh, press the right bumper down onto the floor of the next part of the truck or whatever it looks like, and that will open up the way, and then use the right bumper on the next part of the platform. It's not a truck, I don't know why I called it a truck, because it is a platform. Right, we're going to be coming up to another couple of achievements here as well. So, what you can do is hold the right bumper, as you can see, and it'll get off um, a, a blue line that we can do. So, what, what we need to aim for is just above the, um, uh, not pallets, what are they, the metal rafts or whatever they're called. So, you need to aim just above that one. That will knock it down and start going towards us. We can't go into the water because it is very toxicity of our city, of our city. And I jumped in it anyway. Uh, so kill the three alien bros right here. And again, now when we're in big fighting modes, I'm not going to be... Uh, I'm going to try and not talk all the way through big fighting moments because, well, that kind of ruins it and it sort of puts you off, doesn't it? So when we jump over, what we're going to do is, on one of the bigger aliens, so this guy, press the right bumper and then just keep spamming the right trigger button. And that is going to get us an achievement for flying an enemy up in the air and shooting him five times. So you can do this, of course, at any point in the game, but I would highly advise to do it with the big enemies here um, so they don't die as quick. So remember, press the right bumper to get one enemy in the air and then just keep spamming the right trigger to shoot him up in the air five times. Otherwise, just go ahead, shoot everything that moves for the time being. when we're in combat. My, my body's all tense during a fight. You know, it's like my muscles aren't loose. It just is, oh, it takes longer to recharge. So, after all those then, we can continue heading forward. Now, remember, if you shot a guy in the air and shot him five times, you'll get the we're all very impressed, trust me, achievement. Otherwise, what we can do now, we are at the point where we're going to get our next weapon. Uh, he's called Mifey. So, there's no other way to do it. Um, so after the conversation here, basically the gun to ask who is there after we automatically knock on the door. Well, I say automatically, we're going to press the left bumper and then we will knock on the door. Now, of course, what you're going to want to say is, yes, I'm the buyer. If you do choose another dialogue option, don't worry, they'll just... <laughs> some more hilarious dialogue will come out where they say, God, I've never seen the buyer or oh, I don't know what he looks like. So again, you can just choose the answer. I'm the buyer. They're going to let us in. And then after a little bit more conversation, what you're going to do is kill the two enemies here and pick up the psychotic knife. It, incredible. Shit. He's extremely violent. He basically only talks about wanting to kill people in very disturbing ways. Fuck you. I'm going to carve out your anal cavity. Going to make it three times as big. Your shit's just going to drop right out of there. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, go. Oh. Fuck yes, thank you! Pleased to meet you, I'm Knifey! Now use me, use me! Let me fucking stab this cockstuck! I mean, okay, we're gonna pick up Knifey first, and then we're gonna press, uh, click in the right stick to stab. Um, no, it, it's definitely, it, it definitely comes in handy when you sometimes get a little bit uh, overwhelmed with some enemies. It's always worth giving the old stabby stab stab. Definitely does come in handy, so... Well, that works, but for now, and he's actually going to do something even extra better for us after the conversation with the Psycho Eyeball Knife. It's basically like Pickle Rick, but he's a psychotic knife, so absolutely nothing like him at all. Fucking Nine Torg, he's dead to me! Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her! Ah, oh, perfect! Finally, we're on the same page! Let's kill Nine Torg, then Gene! Okay, definitely Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability! I'm more than just a knife, you racist! I can tether so, once he's finally chilled out, if we look up, we can see the left bumper prompt appear, and we will automatically jump up. Now, there will be a lot of bees and a lot of things to climb. 
So what we'll do then is go straight forward. And if it doesn't appear, you'll have to maybe you will have to jump for it and then press the left bumper. There it is. So sometimes if it, it may not appear, you may be a little bit too far away. So you may just have to jump for it, then press the left bumper and head over to the other side. Now, in terms of as we just head to the right. And once again, we're just going to press the left bumper to go on. You're going to see, obviously, a bunch of lug locks, collectible chests. Now, with knifey, you can press the right trigger to stab to open it up and you'll get some pesos for it. There's one just to the right of us. Right there. Um, I'm actually just going to leave these. Personally, I'm going to leave these and do them just a little bit later on. So they're all more grouped together. Because, basically, we can't grab every collectible just yet. Um, because we need to get other weapons to do other things. Uh, to get to higher places, etc. So that's why I'm not doing them just yet. But, of course, for you, feel free, if you so desire, every time you see one, feel free to open up one of the lug locks chests for some more pesos. Which is the money. Uh, but again, I'll be I'll be grouping them together a little bit later on. So if you want to collect them, be my guest. Always worth doing. Anyway, from here, what we're going to do is just look up. And <laughs> so I was uh, getting a bit, got a bit confused for absolutely no reason right there. And from here, he look up again. And we're going to be doing some shooty shooty bang bangs. And some stab stabs apparently too. Stabby stabby shoot shoots. So if you're ever feeling pissed off, this is probably the game for you. Be only any percent run. Right, so that was an ass short one, weren't it? Right, heading to the right here, and you can see what uh, they, they kind of look like flowers. Beautiful little daffodils. So, if you press the right bumper, you will refill the glob shot for uh, for Kenny right there. Uh, Gatorol, it's called. It looks more like a dandelion, but whatever. So, anytime you press the right bumper, you, there are plenty of these to collect, so you'll never really run out. So we're going to press the left bumper to head down, you'll do this automatically, and then get ready to bring a knife to a gunfight. Or a gun to a knife fight, or a gun to a gunfight. Anyway, shoot the hell out of everyone. Do you feel powerful? We're unstoppable! Is this bloodlust? Am I feeling bloodlust right now? Oh yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about! Now you're getting it! Oh man, I guess I am! Nightor must be close! Let's ride this wave and kill her too! I wanna fuck her up real good! Now, if you're wondering who's shooting at me, but I'm still wandering around down here, they're actually on top of the ramp. Uh, and then for some reason, what I decide to do is make a monkey of, out of myself and just, you know, die in the toxic waste. So, <laughs> right, let's try not to do that. So when everyone is dead down here, there is a chest directly in front of us there, if you want to grab that. And I believe one off to the ne uh, left of the room. Otherwise, we're heading up the ramp. Uh, we're actually getting close now to getting towards Ninetorg, the boss. The ant female boss. Let's ride this way. Come on, kill. Kill, yes, yes, kill, kill, murder. Whew, okay. I'm not sure what came over me there. I think I got caught up in the moment or something, but hey, good work, team. Let's go get nine torch. And once that is done, then what we can do is just head through the double doors. We're automatically going to open up the doors. Little conversation is going to happen between five Torg and nine Torg, a bunch of ant clones, which I don't know if that's uh, I don't know if that's a hot thing or have I just sounded like an absolute weirdo right there? Uh, yes, I sounded like an absolute weirdo because grasshopper things are not hot. Okay, all right, no animals are hot. Just to let you know. Anyway. What we're going to do then, we are going to just shoot the hell out of Nine Torg for now. Because I'm playing on story mode, of course, the bullets, uh, she only shoots three at a time. Obviously, the high difficulty, she will shoot more bullets. Now, just keep moving. Now, that is the main thing that we're going to be doing for every boss fight, is you just got to keep moving. Uh, eventually, what she's going to do is she's going to go into the toxic waste, and then she's going to fling her way up. And then she's going to get a laser, which you'll need to either jump out, uh, jump over... Or uh, just hide behind the boxes. Uh, on this mode, it is easier to jump over, even though I ju have just been hit 
twice, but that's fine. Uh, but she will do this a total of four times. And when she... We now need to start staying in the air. So press the left bumper. Just continuously keep pressing the left bumper. Because as you can see, all the toxic green has risen over the metal platforms that we were on. So just keep pressing the left bumper for the time being. You shouldn't really have too much of an issue with staying in the air. And then press the A button when you can jump up. Uh, it don't... Just don't do what I done right there. And that's all we're going to be doing then. So just keep trying to shoot the hell out of her for now. Uh, I think if you can get close to her, you can stab her as well. Um, and she will shoot these things. Uh, she will shoot... They, they, they look like kind of energy balls or something. Which, again, you can just press the, um, the right stick to uh, knife it back. Otherwise, like I said, so she shoots, just avoid... When she jumps up, try and shoot her while avoiding her laser beams and then press the left bumper when the metal platforms go in and it shouldn't be too long before she is down. Okay, so we're just about to kill her then, but what's going to happen? She is going to turn purple as soon as the health bar's done and we give her the little stab or whatever. We now need to start flying up in the air. So press the left bumper. As soon as you see her start doing this, there's no way you're going to survive this. So you need to be pressing the left bumper to avoid that big mega energy blast. And eventually she's going to stop and she's going to go straight into hell. There it is. So, once that's done, we can now chill out. Uh, oh, you, you know, try to avoid it. She does, a, she does a little explosion right there, but we will get the achievement. First bounty down for defeating Nine Torg, and that is done. So, that's the first boss done already. Delishy Mundo. And after this, then, eventually what we're going to do, we're going to be able to cut off a piece of Nine Torg. Um, now, sadly, the game doesn't let you cut off whatever piece you want. Would you go for a bit of grasshopper nip? I don't know, grasshopper belly button or something? Uh, but it doesn't actually let you see it. Nice black blood. Delicious. Um, now, five Torg is going to appear down. You can actually kill five Torg if you want. She, she doesn't fight you or anything. You can kill her, but all, what we're going to be doing, really, because I'm nice, it depends on how pissed off you're feeling or how nice or nasty you're feeling. Um... Again, a health bar appears, but she can't actually grab us. So I, I didn't actually mean didn't actually mean to do that. So my bad. We'll sort of just leave you hanging then. I actually tried to cut it down, try to be nice, but it didn't work that way. Anyway, now we can just simply head down, fly down all the way beautifully, and now we're just going to uh, head out the way we came. So straight in front of us, then there is going to be one <laughs> tiny, tiny enemy that will pop out. He kind of almost feels sorry for him. You don't want to kill him, but, you know, don't be a douche, huh? And then from here, what we're going to do is just head up to the left ramp right here, and then all the way out until we get back to Blimbowl City. Oh, you're back. Hey, yeah, my leg's still very broken. Hey! So we are going to come up to another missable achievement. And this is the only point of the game, I believe. In fact, I am pretty sure that this is the only point of the game that you can get this achievement. Um, and we basically need to stab Jean in the gut. <laughs> so, Jean, who is sitting on Osetis, that's where we're heading. We're going to head to the house. Um, and then after a, quite a lot of dialogue, we're going to get a, di a dialogue prompt to press the right stick in to stab Jean in the gut. You can ignore the advice and uh, not do it and just crack on with the game. But again, you will miss the achievement. So, obviously, I highly advise to stab Jean square in the gut. And job done. Achievement unlocks. Stab me right into his fat little belly. 
At night, coyotes pee on me. God, please! Don't let it turn to night again, the coyotes! What the hell, Gene? He installed new locks because he assumed you'd get killed. He keeps saying it's his house now. What? No! I just took the liberty of upgrading your security. Did you really kill Nine Talk, though? Yeah, we actually did. Well, well, well. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm really blown away. I'll be honest with you. I expected you to die. Oh, thank you. So, what did it feel like killing Nine Talk? Look, I gotta be honest, it felt good. It felt great. I mean. Hey, Gene, lift up that shirt and expose your soft little belly for me. I'm coming in hot. Yes. Forgot how psycho he was. Why don't you just, uh,. Hold on to him for now. Oh, sure, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep him far away from you. Yeah, thanks. Now, uh, go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. I got it all set up for you. So, El Prompt will appear shortly, like right now. Make sure then that we are going to stab Gene Square in the... It says gut, but we stabbed him square in the titty. Um, which, <laughs> we almost pulled out one of his implants there. Oh, wait, uh, no, that's not an implant. Still, you should get now the Don't Knife the Hand That Feeds achievement. <laughs> and of course, we will piss Gene off, which is hilarious as well. Right, what we're also going to be doing then, before, uh, we're going to turn in the bounty first, that's what we're going to do, and then we're going to be getting the Epic Legendary Prize achievement. Now, this one is very random, and we basically have to, um, you can either just sit through a whole bunch of adver adverts on the TV when Gene turns it on, which may take a lot of time, which will take a lot of time, or what we're actually going to do, we need to find a specific advert, basically, and it's for a robot who basically counts down from 95, or 99 or something, but it actually takes about 8 minutes. Um, but again, all the adverts are completely random. Now, there are two ways that you can get this. You can either do this immediately, after he turns the TV on, and what we have to do is quit out of the main menu, and uh, basically continue the game for the advert to change and just keep going, uh, which took me about 15 minutes overall. Or you can just come back later on and go to the unknown sector in the human pl uh, planet, uh, whichever it is, sorry. And you can just keep going back and forth in the portal right there. Um, but again, you won't get that until a lot later on. So it really depends if you want to do it now or later on. Uh, so what you can do, what I, ended, what I ended up doing was just parking myself in front of the TV. And literally, as I said, you're going to quit out of the main menu every time. And then hope that the robot uh, advert will come on. Now, just to let you know that, you will probably see the same advert three, four, five, six times. And even if you think, Jesus Christ, it's never going to appear. Honestly, after about 10 to 15 minutes, it was for me, I think it was about 15 minutes for me personally of doing this, it did appear. Um, but like I said, if you want to do the whole portal thing uh, later on in the game, it might be worth doing that because it literally takes a second to go back and forth. Uh, again, that's completely up to you if you'd rather get it out of the way now. Again, that's completely up to you as well. Uh, so again, you're just going to keep creeping out to the main menu. Go into continue game. Uh, that is, if you load up, this is the robot, by the way. So when you see this robot, you literally, you, 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 you can walk around if you want. Sorry, I was trying to get my words up then. You can walk around if you want, but just do not leave the house. If you leave the house, uh, the advert will disappear and you will mess up the achievement. So... Just stay in front of the TV now for about eight to nine minutes. I will, of course, have ed I have edited edited this down slightly so the achievement will unlock rather than showing you the full eight minutes because it is literally just this goddamn robot counting down. So whichever way you do it, then uh, just just carry on until we get called a dipshit and the achievement unlocks. Ah, uh, that's um, that's sad. That's sad for us. And there we go. So the achievement should now unlock around here. There we go. Job done. So like I was saying, you, um, if you load the last checkpoint from the menu right there, the adverts don't actually change. So that's why we had to quit out of the main menu and continue. But anyway, after we've got that, now we can just crack on with the normal game. And what we're going to do then is head for Mr. Keeps uh, Pawn Shop in just a minute. First of all, we're going to head slightly to the right, and this is for the Starfish is Born Part 1 achievement. So we're going to speak to Globo's dad right here, old chicken balls. And apparently that's supposed to be a starfish, but I'm telling you right now, that is an absolute anal cavity. So the anal cavity wants a drum, or a, Mr. Chicken Balls wants a drum. So we're going to head up, and head to the left, going up the ramp here, up to, we're basically going towards Mr. Keep's pawn shop. Uh, now, what you need to do when you go inside here, you're going to speak to Mr. Keep, i.e. 
uh, Dr. Zoidberg when he got fired from the Planet Express cruise ship. And we need to actually buy the Dodge unit first. That is the drum, which you should have more than enough anyway for the drum and the uh, Dodge unit. The Dodge unit does cost uh, does cost 1,000. The drum only costs 78 pesos. Uh, but the Dodge unit there is where it says Bounty Hunters, right at the bottom shelf. So we're going to hold to buy that one. So we have to buy this one first. There you go. Yeah, thanks, Dr. Zoiberg. Yeah, flub you, man. And then we can go ahead and buy the drum. Now, there are five specific parts for this A Starfish is Born achievement. So you have to do this as and when I'm telling you to do it. Because if you miss out, you will have to replay the entire game again just to get the achievement. So every time I say that we're going to be doing A Starfish is Born part whatever, make sure you're doing it at the same time on screen. So what we're going to do then is head down. Again, you can press the B button now to do some dodging if you so wish. Head to the right slightly. And we are now going to press the left bumper to speak to Chicken Balls, old anal cavity's daddy. And then we're obviously going to say, yes, he can have the drum. And that is a starfish is born. I mean, the achievement, like I said, is easy enough to do. But again, it's specific times that you have to do it. So the anal cavity fart bum will start playing the drums. And that is part one done. Fantastic. We can now head back to the house. And again, another very important decision regarding an achievement will be appearing after we speak to Gene Hackman. Okay, great. You got the Dodge unit. So how about it? Think you're ready for the big leagues, kid? What, what do you mean? The big league. The G3 cartel. That's the next step, taking down their head officers. Okay, um, are you, are you're positive that we're ready for that? Yeah, whatever. Might, might as well try. But they won't be pushovers like Nine Torque, so, uh... Well, to be honest, I don't care if you live or die. You know that. You know my whole deal. But, uh, hey, it's... Your right, okay, so now we have the choice to do uh, one of two bounties. The first is going to be Krubis or Douglas. Now, this is highly important. We need to go for Douglas, okay? Highly important, make sure to go for Douglas. Uh, because the reason we're going to be doing that is we're going to obtain the uh, weapon called Sweezy. And we're going to be getting the Gunning for Your Job achievement, uh, which you can only get with Krubis, but you need Sweezy for that. So that is why you, it is highly important that we go for Douglas now, and then we can go for Krubis later on. Now, that, of course, that, again, that is very important for an achievement. If not, you will have to play almost an hour of the game, pretty much over an hour, actually, in order to get the Gunning for Your Job achievement. Um, but once we have picked uh, Douglas, I was going to call him Gubless then. Once we have picked Douglas, we can now just crack on again, pressing the uh, remember to press up on the D-pad um, to see where the hell you go in. But what we are going to see is, of course, some new enemies and the little annoying Budweiser frogs that sort of roll around in the ground um, and they'll sort of shoot crap at you as well. So um, if one, uh, I think they're frogs, but if if any of them get uh, too close to you, it is probably easier to just stab them to death and try and shoot them from far away but um either way just obviously you know try not to get shot i know it's pretty obvious when you say that in a first person shooter game but uh, just keep stabbing keep killing try not to get shot yeah great advice from me of course again Now, if you are collecting the chest on the way, if you go to the left, there is another Luglox chest just to the left of this ramp. Um, and there's going to be a couple that we can find as well. But of course, I will be coming back to these a little bit later on. So, drop down. I think there is another chest as well right there. Otherwise, what we can do is... <laughs> once, once we... Once, once, once. Once we jump down here, we are, of course, going to be attacked by those weird Budweiser rolling around in the ground frogs. So... You do your tang, boy. You stab and shoot until death occurs for each and every one of them. And their eyeballs pop out like... Yeah, goddamn pooping after a bit of Indian food. Still delicious. Careful! Hey, hold on. You know, maybe we can use that to our advantage. Look, I'm just saying, my glove shot might be helpful, you know?
And it'll be the same thing once we start heading down. There's going to be more Budweiser weird rolling around in the ground frogs to kill. So do your tang, boys and girls. All right, three for one deal with best this week. You lose. Join now for all the things. Call this number and call me dead. Call me dead? Hey, you know, I, I'm sure this goes without saying, but the, you know that green stuff is toxic and will dan will hurt you. So don't go in it, into it. Okay, right. That's enough killing for the time being. So we can just he basically head straight. Um, there's going to be more <laughs> of these things to kill, actually. So again, like I said, purely for now. Remember what I explained earlier with the mods, please ban achievement. This is for unlocking every post in the bounty hunter forum. We basically need to kill everyone that we can. So if you wanted to, if you really wanted to, you could just move on and just crack on with the story without killing. But in order to unlock every post in the Bounty Hunter Forum, um, again, providing at the minute that it's not glitched and that you unlock it naturally, we are going to need to kill absolutely everyone. Because as you can see on the right-hand corner, top right corner, I just feel killed 15 of these Budweiser frogs. So again, that's why I say it's very important to kill everything and everyone that you come across. Um, now, you can't just go to the right to continue, or if you step onto this platform here, you're going to get these Hey, yeah, whoa, whoa, man, you, you, you son of a bitch. Um, which you can kill these construction workers if you want. Um, you won't get punished for it or anything like that. But if you don't kill them and you've jumped on the platform as we head down, um, they're just going to shout obscenities at you. And it gets annoying, so after a while, I end up, I end up shooting everyone except one. Because I'm just nice like that. Let this be a warning to you, you son of a bitch. So, glob shot your way down. Look at him. Jesus. Right. I shoot you. And I shoot you. And I shoot you. you uh, now, you'd think that they sort of run away at this point and be like, Bruh, this dude's psycho, man. Uh, so, make sure to jump across again with the B button. And there's going to be an, a couple of flying enemies as we start heading down to the bridge here on our left and right. So, just be careful. Right, so once that one is done and we've killed all of them, what we can do is just head up. Again, if you did go and get Sweezy, which I, again, highly advise that you didn't, or, or if you went uh, done the Cubris. Cu oh, well, I died. That's stupid of me. Uh, so if you went ahead and done the Cubris one, you would have got the weapon where you can basically shoot discs in the wall to climb up. There's a bunch of chests at the top here as well, on top of us. Otherwise, we're just going to keep on heading straight for the time being. Now, again, because there's a couple of guys, what I'm going to do is do the epic nut shot. Slam! Nut shot! Slam! Nut shot! And I will leave the one guy, he's just witnessed all his friends uh, be shot and murdered. I'm going to leave him alive, because I am a nasty piece of wake. Right, uh, hit that glob shot down, hit that platform down by doing exactly what i just done, hitting the uh, one sign, and then we're going to head up. And we're just going to speak. There's going to be one little old guy that we're going to speak to. And eventually, we're just going to ask him, how do we get into Old Town? He will automatically let us in. So, hey, thanks, bro. But we can't actually shoot him. So, you can't be a douchebag. Like I just tried immediately. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? Hey, do you happen to know where we can find a, a, a guy named Douglas? Douglas? The G3 fella? <laughs> oh, wee. He's a rough one. Never seen somebody drink as much as him. Why, just last night, uh, nobody. I shouldn't speak out of turn. The G3 don't like that none, and I don't like them. Just head down to Dread Town. I'm sure you'll find them. And how do we get to Dread Town? It's, it's, it's been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop into Old Town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Dreg Town entrance. It's a Don't shoot the old man now, you hear? Look at him, man. He's just, he's just trying to help us out, bro. So thanks very much. Right, so what you 
can do is we don't shoot the old man. Thank you, young old whippersnapper. So, uh, if you remember the uh, aliens that we shot right outside our right outside our very home uh, before we came to Blim City, uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of these enemies that we are going to kill. They're going to try and destroy us straight away. There's going to be a whole bunch in the middle right here. Now, to get um, an achievement called... Uh, I scream, you scream, and that is for popping 20 grunts eyeballs. Now, it is the shorter of the sort of yellow enemies, if you want to call them that. Now, what you can do, if you can go up to them, um, and what will happen is, you'll either stab the eyeball out, or you will basically sort of cut its throat, which the eyeball will pop out. But I'm fi I was finding that it's not always um, the most accurate, so for some reason it didn't seem to work a lot. I just stab him to death. I don't know if it's because I'm on the easiest mode or what. Um, so I highly advise, if you can, just shoot them in the head. Once you shoot them in the head, you'll see the eyeballs pop out of the head, skull thing. And that will count towards it. But also be aware that the achievement is kind of bugged. Um, so far, at the time of the recording anyway, um, I had done a lot more than 20. Um, I shot a lot more than 20 at this point. Or in just a little bit, and the achievement was still on very low. Um, so let's head to the left here. There's going to be another bunch of these yellow guys that we're going to kill. So again, anytime you see these grunting eyeballs, you can either stab them like that and hope that the eyeballs will pop out. But again, it can be bugged. So some people have been saying they've shot four, up to 40 and even 50 of the grunts um, when the achievement is for popping 20 of the eyeballs out. So, you know, just be wary of that one. And again... It's not always, it doesn't always work as you can just stab them and they just die. Um, so it's always easier to shoot them in the head if possible. Um, but just kill all these guys for now. And there is a reason that we're doing this as well. Uh, this is so we can uh, get let into the next city. Well, this you know what? I, I just have a weird, mysterious feeling that there's probably some more G3 causing trouble, you know, somewhere around town. We, we, should, we should maybe d deal with it. I know what the afterlife is. Right, so once we're done we're here, we're going to go to the opposite side now. So there's basically a bunch of the enemies in the middle, to the left, and now we're going to head to the right side, where there are a bunch um, a bunch of these yellow enemies that we're going to kill again. There are a, a couple of ants sort of sitting down and chilling, but they, they don't hurt you, and you don't need to hurt them. Depends on how you're feeling. Uh, all we're going to kill is the yellow bras. So, die, yellow bras. Ah, look at his butt. Anything for me! Go ahead. I'm not afraid of anything. You know, th thanks to us, you know, quite a team we are, anyways. Now, that should be that then. Now, if you had spoken to the gatekeeper first, he would have asked you very politely to get rid of all the yellow guys anyway. Uh, but it doesn't matter if you ask him first or if you don't. He's going to be more surprised and impressed that we uh, just done it without him, without him asking. So, eh, not the problem, matey. Eh? Anything, for a, uh, anything for a friend. So... Though we're renting the Dreg Town elevator, uh, nothing in here apart from the elevator that we need. Again, you can always go ahead and speak to people for more funny dialogue, which, have, which is, of course, exactly what you're going to get. Otherwise, you're going to press the left bumper for a button from Douglas. Yes, and they call themselves the G3 Cartel, even though they all look like GWs, old genital warts. 
the GW cartel. I'm going to call him from now on. Goddamn, that, there, there's Douglas right there. Uh, that's how you know we're in the right spot. So, we are now going into the city, and it's actually quite a nice city in all fairness. So, we're just going to head around. We're going to see a set of double doors that we're going to go through. Now, the game will act like it's about to glitch out and die on you, so don't panic about this. It looks like it's going to not work, and it actually does. Um, so, we're going to be heading upstairs, and we'll be going to be coming up to our first warp base, which basically means there's just going to be a whole bunch of enemies that we need to kill. We're going to head up the stairs. And there's going to be two warp crystals that we can actually collect. Again, we're going to need those crystals for achievements later on. So just keep heading straight. Uh, just close to the Mike Wazowski store. What looked like a Mike Wazowski store. If you do actually touch some of these characters on the way past, again, they will give you some hilarious dialogue, which you... It's always nice, isn't it? You're all stressed out from life. You don't want to be too pissed off. It's always nice to have a laugh. So, uh, scooch your way over there with the left bumper, with knifey. And this is where the um, warp base is going to be. So we're going to head down, and it's going to be a whole bunch of enemies here. A bunch of yellow guys, I think a couple of ants, and a whole bunch of roly-poly Budweiser frog things as well. So, just keep on moving, keep on shooting and stabbing. And, um, yeah, just keep going until everybody dead, huh? Everybody I did. So now, once you are sure that everyone is dead, before moving on, there are going to be two crystals at this warp base that we're going to grab. One on sort of either side of uh, th those little sort of buildings or whatever the hell they are. So we're going to grab the first one, and we're going to press the left bumper there to pick it up. Lovely. Again, like I said, we're going to need quite a few of these later on in the game. So that's why it's highly important. Every time we finish these, we try and grab as many as we can. And you can always tell if there are some left, as you can see the little blue icon on screen. So always be, uh, always make sure to go over and have a look, just in case. So as I said, there are two in this area that we're going to grab. And then we can finally go ahead and just move on. Of course, pressing up on the D-pad will tell you exactly where you're going. So that's where we're going. Follow the D-pad, D-pad, D-pad. Follow the D-pad. Oi, oi. So what we're going to do then, we are going to press the left bumper here to slide zippy down, and then we're going to slide to the right hand side. So 
jump down and head to the right. And what you're going to see is weird alien guy selling green goo. And this definitely reminds me, uh, definitely does not remind me of a South Park episode where Butter sells his creamy green goo. Uh, and in fact, if your goo is green, go see a doctor. Honestly, it's not good for you. Anyway, after a little bit of conversation, what you're gonna do, gonna do is head left. We need the goop anyway um, to get through and start. Well, we're not starting to fight Douglas, but we will be getting ever closer to start fighting Douglas. So head to the left. You can see whatever the hell that's supposed to be, and you know exactly what's going to happen. His rear end is right there, and he's going to goop all over us. Yes, I would be pissed off with that as well. Anyway, <laughs> once we're done, we can head right. And just, uh, we're going to zip line all the way to the opposite end. Saves us, uh, saves our legs for five minutes, doesn't it? And again, always, I mean, if you want to, do some dodging by pressing the B button. You can, uh, more than happy to do that. But if you're not gooped up, uh, old Chunky Head here will not let you in. So that's why we are all gooped up. And for the time being, we're just going to watch Douglas be all like, Hey, we here. Sure, you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training, torture, what's the difference, I say? Look to your left, now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate work-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is that... Right, shut you up. saw that, right? I got torture in the deal. Gatling. So what's going to happen now, then, for the next few minutes or so, is you're going to start... Um, uh, you're going to start fighting these... What, what, they're basically crabs, okay? You're going to start getting crabs on you. Now, don't worry about the other guys for now. They're just going to be focused on shooting the crabs. But we're going to need to kill them eventually, anyway. Now, uh... Mr. Krabs, there's going to be a lot of them, so just keep shooting, fighting, and dying. Um, they're obviously going to go underground, just like the Greebles from the uh, from the very beginning of the area, actually. So, uh, yep, just do your best to, you know, not die. Um, if any of them get close, just give them the old stab of life. But of course, as usual, keep moving, keep shooting, and keep stab, 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 stabbing. Them, right? Oh, okay. All right, good job, recruit. All right. So there is, if you want, the uh, if you're collecting them on the way, there is a chest right there, a little Gluglux chest. So if you're collecting them on the way, that is where one is. If not, we can just carry on over to the right hand side. And this is kind of like a little platforming puzzle where it's very easy enough. We can just obviously jump and press the B button to dodge. But obviously, what you're trying to do is avoid the spikes, which is exactly what I didn't do right there. Um, so they're going to be sort of patterned, so it's going to start coming towards you, so you can jump, and then jump over this next one. There we go. Press the left bumper here to fly up to the next one. Uh, be careful, <laughs> otherwise what you can do is actually just keep jumping, and then keep spamming the B button to just, you know, keep flying forward. Uh, kill this guy, because of course, he will want you to die a death. And keep following, just keep following, and then eventually we're going to have to jump over it. If you don't want to get hurt, if you do, then it's all good. Otherwise, jump and press the B button to fly over to the other side. Job done. Now, what this room, what Douglas wants you to do is wait here for an hour. Of course, what we're going to do is not wait here for an hour. As you can see, right at the top of these bunch of steps, just off to the right of us where we are right now, what we're going to do is press, of course, uh, we're going to crouch, head into the right through the hole and the little gap right here. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that was very easy. <laughs> One nice hour done. Climb up onto the pipes, and again, crouch down so we can start heading through the pipes here. There's a crab here, be careful. So smash him out. There was some more, um, you know, herby flowers for the glob shot if needed. Otherwise, you can press the left bumper here to start sliding down. Ah, beautiful. Right, we're going to get a little bit of a quote-unquote friend right now. And there's basically going to be three puzzles just before, well, 
We are not too far away now from uh, starting to beating or starting to fight Douglas. Um, but there's basically a couple of pipe puzzles that we need to do in order to get through. Now, of course, uh, all it is is basically just going to be shooting at some arrows in order to turn the pipes. And you just need to, to put it in such a way that our friend Mr. Jubly Gloobly Bits, whatever his name is, uh, just goes through the pipe without any issues. That's it. Um, now, of course, the first one is going to be easy. The second one medium, and of course the third one is going to be a little bit tricky, but it's not so bad, because all you're going to be doing, all you've got to do is just literally follow the pipe, look at the pipe, and just follow out where it's going. So you shoot the first bit here, and of course he knows we can go there, so shoot the one up above as well, shoot the one on the left hand side, and the one at the top there, and of course that is how easy it is. Now of course, as we progress with these pipes, there's going to be ones that go into absolutely nowhere, so you just got to be a little bit more careful in terms of um, what pipes you shoot in, but it's a, it's not so bad. I'm, I am making it sound more difficult than it actually is right now. Did you say you're heading to find Douglas Jew? His office is that big building up on top of Dregtown. But there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh? Well, all right then. I I, I hope the guy gets his family back. All right. Here we come! That was the hardest part! Right, so, we're basically gonna fall. As usual, of course, in any video game, nothing is as easy. Now, this is basically a survival... This is basically a death match. Last one... Uh, last one to survive wins. And, of course, that is what we're gonna be needing to do. Now, these enemies... There's gonna be a whole bunch of enemies that come from everywhere. Obviously, we've got the little, uh, little eyeballs. We're gonna get some of the crab monsters that will start charging at you with big, giant Zoidberg claws. Um, eventually, and there will also be a hunk, an absolute massive thing. Um, but what I uh, do, like I said, they're going to come out of every door. But what I ended up doing was basically camping, camping my way right at the very top of the tower, which is sort of directly in front of us now. I call it a tower; it's just the tallest bit of the, um, just to the tallest bit of the arena, if you want to call it that. So that is pretty much that was pretty much my tactic because they're all going to be shooting at you anyway. Uh, so just shoot your way through until we get to, here we are. I stab you, so your butt's appearing, and then slash his uh, throat. That's unlucky. Crab monsters, you can just melee them as well, which is always nice. But as soon as I kill this broski, old uh, angry Dr. Zoidberg, this is where I stay now for pretty much the rest of the fight. Now, if you want to, of course, you can obviously just go uh, walking around, and uh, if, it, if it makes it easier, obviously it's up to you. It's your gameplay. You do whatever it is that makes it easier for you. But I am the old camping little wiener, the little wiener camper. Uh, so I do just stay up here. Now, they can sort of jump up and flank you, so just be careful on your sides. Otherwise, like I said, literally, for the majority, <laughs> and for the rest of the fight, I'm going to be staying up here. Like I said, I uh, it's going to be a new game coming out. This is going to be the second game. Camping little wiener. Uh, <laughs> interpret that what you will. Otherwise, kill everyone until everyone's dead. Yeah. Next time, don't join the G3. Another wave. Three. It's probably somebody's pet. Just in case you were wondering about the Lord here. Retirement. 
Now, this is where Big Beast and Angry is going to start flying down. Here he comes. Bam! Now, literally, all you can do is just use the glob shot if you want, just to stun him and uh, slow him down, and then just keep shooting at him until he dies. Yeah, but using your glob shot stuns these bigger enemies, and that's pretty much all it is. So you could literally, if you wanted to, if he was close to you, you could stun him and then keep stabbing him and shooting him, and you'll go down quicker than a... <laughs> Quicker than when you drop your pants after you've been holding in a massive poop all day. Oh yes, I went there. Poop joke it was. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, nobody's gonna miss you. Woo! We did it! We're, we're the number one G3 recruit. Right, so after it is done then, uh, there is only going to be one collectible, uh, oh, not one collectible, but one warp crystal that we can collect. Uh, that's why there's a bit of an edit there, because I was trying to find any more for ages, but as it turns out, right by the exit, right here is where the warp crystal is. Now remember, like I said, we're gonna, you've got to basically get into the mind frame of collecting these warp crystals every time that we've done big massive arena fights and warp based fights. Uh, but we're not done with the fighting yet. Um, in fact, after the fight, after the pipe, next pipe puzzle, we are going to be doing more. So, as you can see then, uh, now, it really depends on how long this uh, pipe puzzle takes you. I have to apologize that I'm not very clear in what I do here, but all we're doing is focusing on the pipe on the right-hand side. Because that is where he is going. It can, can be kind of tricky to, to see where it is. Um, but yeah, so what we... Where Dr. Ghibli Bits is going then is, um, where, obviously that's where he is in his pipe right now, so he's going on the right. So you just need to sort of follow that pipe and, uh, well, obviously shoot it in the uh, direct, uh, correct positions. And you'll know when you're sort of in the correct position is when they turn green. Um, but don't be fooled because these bits are pointless. The ones I'm shooting at right now are pointless. So if they turn green, it still doesn't mean that you're totally right. Because uh, we are just heading through the right-hand side. So... Uh, just keep trying to follow along with what I do and should be fine. But again, I do apologize that there is no clear indication of uh, these pipes. Amazing! Amazing! You did it again! Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there! Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. This is an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's for and against violent zone. That means there's probably just gonna be a lot of hey. Oh shit, here we go! So while we're fighting, if you're wondering where to go, of course you can obviously press up on the D-pad to know where you're going, but we're basically heading up. So if you're wondering where to go, just keep heading up the stairs while shooting the crap out of everything, and we're going to get to another couple of zip lines at the very end. When you've shot someone so hard that his head's still going, there's only one thing to do with this one, boys. Teabag, teabag, teabag. It's the old Halo days. Teabag, teabag the uh, alien. Yes, because that is what you've always wanted to do. Right, glob shot that piece of platform in front of you. That will open up the way. And then what we need to do is press the A button and dash over, of course, with the B button. There is another lug locks chest there if you want to. Um, now, we have to shoot over this massive platform in order to get through. So, glob shot your way over. Eventually, I find that one out. There we go. That'll smash that one down. 
and now we can go through. Watch out, of course, for the moving car. There we go, and now we can move forward and press the left bumper. If there was something in the way, it would be the platform that's still, the other platform that's still in the way there. Um, otherwise, more shooty shoot fun. Shooty shoot fun fun time. I know what the afterlife is like. I'm not. My crazy tight asshole's ready! Ow. Fuck! Nice shot, bounty hunter! Fuck you, G3 scum! I don't want to be pushy or anything, but maybe try my glob shot every now and again, you know? This is getting my blood pumping! I guess I don't I don't know it's I, I I'm I, I'm I'm conflicted on it it's rough now the best thing about killing these <laughs> weird yellow aliens is the fact that their ass always comes out first every time you shoot their armor off that my friends is hilarious to me right we're gonna need to zip line after we've killed everyone and all their but buttonholes have been exposed as it were and now we can just relax for a second no more shooting Take your time, just chill out. But we are going to be heading up, so go to the right here and uh, head up. And this is where the final pipe puzzle is before we fight the Douglas boss. Now again, now the, the left-hand side of this puzzle is easier than the right-hand side, because we only need to basically shoot uh, one or two things. Um, but again, I do apologize that there is no sort of clear, concise... Um, way to complete the puzzle, which again, I do apologize for, but obviously all you need to do is just follow exactly where he starts on the pipe and um, Again, just go from there. It's Once you, you could probably follow the pipe a lot better than I could because I kept looking at the wrong pipe And that's why it took me a little bit longer um, Otherwise, you should be fine Really trying not to think about my wife's body being ripped in half by one of Douglas's torture devices, and it's not working to be honest. I've decided that if my family is dead, I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't talk me out of it. This is what love does to a person. Don't feel bad if it takes you a while. It's tough, right? Okay, I know that earlier I said, don't feel bad if this puzzle takes you a while, but I also want you to remember every second. <laughs> Yahoo! You're halfway there! Keep going! You can do it! Right, so when we get halfway through, you can see him there, right halfway through. Uh, all we're going to be doing then is shooting two switches. Not the very top one, we're just going to shoot the middle one, and then the bottom one. So just the middle one once, and then the bottom one once. And there it is. He's all good to go. Don't fall off the edge there like I did. That pretty much uh, does come in handy if you try not to die. And of course, because this is video games, we got deceived all along. My heart. I thought Dr. Jubilee Bits was my friend. But as it turns out, it's not. It's actually Douglas and 
he got us doing senpai puzzles for reasons. I don't know why, but this is where the uh, boss fight happens. Now, a couple of things then that Douglas is going to do. Basically, he's going to jump from wall to wall. The platforms, as you can see on the bottom, they uh, eventually, about halfway through the fight, they will turn into electric, so you need to be careful. Now, the easiest way to, to try and kill Douglas dead as quick as possible is to stab him. But do not get too close to him and keep continuously stabbing him because he can ink you. Um, he can ink you and just stab the crap out of you, so he can die quite quickly if he does decide to melee you. Melee ink is not very good. So, when he's on the walls here, just keep shooting him. You can try and glob shot him if you want, which means he'll fall down and he'll get stunned. And then you can just stab him a couple of times there. Uh, as you can see, of course, always try and watch out for the electrical currents on the floor as well. Um, if that's the case, there are um, bits that you can fly up to as well. So, as soon as you stun him, you can stab him. That is how you're going to get most of his health down. Um, some of the eye-popping monsters will appear, but they'll pr pretty much 9 times out of 10, they will kill themselves. So again, when he's up on the walls here, you can either do what I've done there, jump up and stab him, or you can try and glob shot him off. Again, don't do what I do though, and just continue to stab him. Because if he, again, if he does melee you and hit you, uh, he will ink you and he can smash his shield and your health down in no time at all. So this is where I mess up. So as you can see, my health is absolutely flying down right now. And he hits me again, which means I almost die. So that is why I always say, if you get close to him, make sure to glob shot him first so it stuns him. And then you can uh, stab him a couple of times. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to uh, continue to keep on shooting him. And I almost die. I got very lucky here, actually. One health. That's nice. So just, uh, yeah, I'm just chilling around the corner for a second. So otherwise, just keep shooting, keep globbing, and eventually he should be gone. But this is a pretty straightforward fight. It's not too bad. The electrical currents on the floor can be a bit of a pain in the old button snatch. Otherwise, that is all good. Come on, you big biddy. You we did it! You seriously trying to get me all excited and withhold the big climax? I need to come. Ah, fuck yeah, that's definitely the stuff. Oh, now that felt good. He had some very nice... So, after fulfilling the, uh, rather probably sexual desires of the Psycho Knife and you've given him a stab, we then get Sque uh, Sweezy the gun. Now, of course, this is why we've done this uh, bounty mission first, so we get Sweezy. Very important for an achievement in the next bounty, in Krubus's bounty. This is why we need Sweezy first. Uh, otherwise, what we can do is just head to the right into the fan, press the right bumper to use a special ability here to get into the fan. Drop down. Of course, use her special ability again so we can get through. Now, very important, for the mods, please ban achievement. We need to find five hints for Dr. Gurglia, and this is where the first one is then. It is right on the wall, so press the left bumper on the poster on the wall. Make sure that it says there in the top right-hand corner, discovering hints about Dr. Gurglia. So that should be one out of five. Once we've done that, we can now head out, and uh, this kind of acts now as like a tutorial for the new Gatlian that we've got. So... Uh, Sweezy is kind of like a machine gun, so she is basically a machine gun. Um, not, for some reason, not as powerful as Kenny. I kind of feel like Kenny's the most powerful game gun in the game so far. Um, I've genuinely found it easier to basically melee them. Headshot, melee, it's all the same. So you kill the first two here. There is going to be a warp base that will appear the opposite side of where I am now. There it is. So again, one's going to be a Dr. Zoidberg crab monster, and the other one will be this guy. But, like I said, the good thing about Sweezy is you can use your Time Crystal, so pressing the right bumper, and that will slow down the enemies there. Luckily, Dr. Zoidberg, or the roided up version of Dr. Zoidberg there, got stuck for me. So, heading over to the other side here, what you can do is just hold the left trigger, and that produces like a big beam charge of light, or nothingness. Uh, so, what you can do is just press the right trigger to rapid fire, and then hold the press the left trigger to hold, and then right trigger to shoot. And that kind of act as like a, kind of like a uh, half shotgun or something. Um, so it's a pretty, pretty good couple of things here. Two more enemies are going to appear. So what's going to happen is they're going to hide behind the, uh, basically the, the, the two pieces of 
um, you know, crap to hide behind. For some reason, my brain switched off, so I can't even think right now. Um, and obviously, what we can do is actually shoot the enemies through there, which is always nice. Um, so, so if it doesn't seem to be working, just keep sh honestly, just keep shooting them until they're dead. Uh, I didn't find this shot particularly useful, even though it definitely seems like it should be. So, two little chunky boys hiding behind there. Charge it up with the left trigger, press the right trigger to blast, and that will shoot them dead. Cover! That's what the bloody word I'm after. Hiding behind cover. Right, okay, my brain's with it now. So, press the right bumper here when a car dives past, and then press the B button to dash over. And that is how we do that. So, just wait for a car to go past, press the right bumper to slow it down, jump over, and job is your nan's uncle's friend. Press the right bumper on these enemies as well. Again, that's... Uh, Again, this gun comes in handy more for slowing enemies down rather than actually shooting. But this is all good. The portal is now open. So basically, again, and this is for the collectibles and chests and everything later on, portals will be open so we can just pop back here um, any, literally any time we want. Uh, so for um, collectibles, and if you need any more of the forum milestones for the Mods Please Ban achievement, which again, still at this current time of recording, is unobtainable. The, the maximum that people can get on that achievement is 97%. So, you know, come on, Justin boy, so, sort it out, mate. Come on, please. And if it has been fixed by now, then uh, please ignore those last 10 seconds of statements. Right, what you're going to have to do is basically settle an argument now between your, sissy, your sister and um, after we turn the bounty. So we're going to have to turn in, turn in an argument. We're going to have to settle an argument here between Jean and your sister. Basically, I end up siding with my sister every time since she's my sister and Jean is a legless, homeless alien thing. But of course, you can side with whoever you want. It's your game. It depends how you feel as well. How'd the mission go? They killed a G3. Looks like I taught them well. Wow. Really? Whoa. Okay. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was always hoping you'd find your calling. I just I didn't think it would be bounty hunting. But then again, I don't know what I thought it would be. Maybe hairstyling and not good at it. And what's wrong with bounty hunting? Ugh. Can you please tell this dried up sack of shit to go home? I don't want to share a couch with him. Tough titties, Leslie. You're kidding me, had a deal. It's Lizzie. And that's not my kid. Jesus, we're siblings. Sorry, I don't know how your species works yet. Sibling, fine, got it. Doesn't change a thing. I live here now. Come on, can't he find his own place to stay? Hey, that's not right. I'm barely taking up any space. You know we had a deal fair and square. Oh, come on. We barely know this guy. You're really going to side with him over your own sister? Hey, you should be proud. You raised your child to have proper respect for a good, fair business deal. Oh, now I know you're doing this on purpose. I'm the sister, not the mom. But you knew that, didn't you? Sorry. My bad. You come waltzing back in here stinking like dirty Flimborg. Of course I'm going to get distracted. You shouldn't be hanging out with that Flimborg boy, you know? Can't trust that species. Twig's harmless and nice. You're being spacist. And he's not my boyfriend. Yet. Trust me. Flimborgs are bad news. Come on. Have my back here. Okay, yeah, you got me there. Thank you! God, I just don't think I can take much more of this guy! What, you think this is easy for me? If I'm pissing you off, at least you can leave. But my legs don't work. I'm stuck listening to your boy trouble every time I'm trying to watch my stories. I can't even get peace and quiet in my own home because there's an alien cripple jerking off on my couch 24-7. Hey, come on! That's a high estimate! Ew! I was kidding. Yeah, me too. I was kidding. We all know I was kidding. Aren't you gonna say anything? Whose side are you on anyway? Hey, uh, all right. I, I, I can see I'm being a little bit of a bother. I mean, look, I'll, I'll try to keep it down when I'm uh, watching my stories. Just don't uh, put me back on the streets. I, I really do want to help you. Fine, he can stay. But only until he finds somewhere else to go. I'm grateful. I mean it. But I've already missed half my program, so can everyone just shut the hell up? Ugh. All right, that's enough excitement for one day. You got more bounties to get to, kid. And you might want to check out the pawn shop to see what you can spend your new payout on. Eh? 
Oof, that was tense. It's times like these I'm- I'm almost relieved I don't have any family left alive. But, but not really. I, I miss them a lot. Hey, uh, just so you know, you can use the Bounty 5000 to revisit any planet you've been before. There's portal doors all over. You can just uh, use them whenever and grind for money, look for loot you miss, whatever. Up to you. Just thought I'd tell you. So finally, after the you've settled the argument, uh, even though we don't talk, we still settle the argument, what we're going to do is go for a Starfish is Born Part 2. So head out the door, head slightly right. Remember where we seen Globo earlier and we got in the drum? The old starfish with a fart face, with the old butt for a butthole for a head. Speak to right, Globo's Globo, papa, old chicken neck oh, balls. Shit, and uh, damn, bruh, bruh's got a crowd. But again, this is very important that we do this now, because if you miss this, um, you will miss the achievement. You have to do it all over again. If the crowd is not there, um, it is a bug. So try and just load the last checkpoint or quit out to the main menu and come back in if the crowd's not there. If the crowd's here, you can speak to Globo's dad, and that'll be part two out of five, complete a -roni. So, after that, we can just head straight back into the house. Lovely. We are going to uh, start the Krubis bounty now. So, after... Uh, hopefully, we don't have to chat anymore. Nope, we're all good. We have to get rid of it. Right, let us go. Could you just move to a microprocessor, please? Uh, uh, just a minute. He's in intensive care. That's room 203 down the hall. Okay, thank you. Come on. So now we're in the jungle! Playing funny games! We're just gonna shoot a bunch of crap and try to not get AIDS. That would be very helpful, bro. So we don't end up like every character in Red Dead Redemption, the main good guys, and die at the end! Uh, spoiler alert, if you have never played Red Dead Redemption, your character always dies. <laughs> I'm sure you would have known that by now. So what we're doing then is just heading for then for the time being. It's a lovely little place. As we start walking over this bridge, a bunch of crabs will attack us. Except we're not going over the bridge, so... In fact, we are going over the bridge, sorry. Because there's a chest there that I wanted to show you. So over this little bridge thing, a bunch of crabs here, so make sure to kill these guys first. Uh, leading scientists will get you it and... Uh... They, you know, they're just like, I don't know, what do you have on your planet? Like fish? Does that, does that translate right? Translate microbes. I've already had crabs three times. I don't want any more crabs. God da Wait, did I just say that out loud? Oh, anyway, we're going to be ziplining down. So start heading down if you can. Or if you completely miss it, just go into the green toxicity stuff and die. And I think I said the, the loud part quiet and the quiet part loud. Anyway, try it again. So go underneath the rope there. And there we go. Drop down lovely. Now... What you're going to do is see these big balls that are just waiting to be released. You shoot them and a timed little platform leaf thing comes out. There's another lug locks chest there if you want it. Again, like I said, I'm not grabbing them yet because I'm going to put them all in a particular order nicely um, in quite, yeah, well, in a little bit. Um, but again, if you want to grab them to get some extra cash for now, that's more than, uh, more than happy to do that. So shoot that, fly over, drop down, and there's going to be another... B that we can fly off, so... Ta-da! Lovely. Uh, press, uh, press down to crouch, of course, as we always know, and then all we're doing... Again, there's another Luglox chest there on the left. Otherwise, as I said, we can just neatly keep going straight forward. These Fergal guys, ah, they're cute, uh, but we can't kill them yet, apparently. Which is just harsh. But I thought we wanted to kill everyone, but apparently not. So, jump down. Make sure to jump real down, and there's going to be, once again, another big shooty shoot fun fun time time section. Okay, G3 are warping in. You ready to fight? You need a, you need a pep talk? Here comes more! 
Okay, ceasefire, everyone! Ceasefire! We're all done! So, since everyone appears to be shot, fatally, and dead, you can kill the crabs if you want. It's always worth doing, because, of course, it helps with the uh, forums and the bounty milestones, or whatever it is. So what we can do then is just simply jump over the toxic green crapness, start heading up. Uh, you need to shoot the green glob so we can get the leafy platform to appear. And then, oh, okay, yeah, there's this, they're, um, uh, I forget what these things are called, it's like teddy bear things. So you can listen to the whole conversation, or as we've been doing, they just call us rude because we end up just walking off. So don't worry, we get it, thanks very much. Right, so what we're going to do, make sure to make sprint, jump, and then press the B button to jump over to the other side. Look at that, like an absolute king slash queen that you are, that you are. That you are, that you are. Right, keep flying down. And in fact, what we're going to do is just shoot the plant, and that'll kill the enemy right there, which is always nice. And of course, once again, it is an incoming warp base right in front of us. So again, this will take just a few minutes. No surprises or anything. Couple of crab, Zoidberg, roid-headed monsters. So, you know, just be on the lookout. Otherwise, it's exactly what we've been doing. In fact, I actually get the Ice Cream New Scream achievement. Now, it feels like I killed about 50 or 60 rather than 20. Um, Popping 20 grunts eyeballs. So, hopefully you would have had that a lot earlier than me. If not, there are plenty of these enemies still left in the game. So, you will get it. It's technically unmissable. So, keep on shooting, fighting, and popping. Okay, geez, all right, more combat. All right, let's 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 see what we got. Do all work. Go to heaven. Ugh. Let's save the homicidal urges for the bad guys, okay? Right, so, there's the last of them, apparently, which is all good. Uh, now, we do need to speak to Prince Pope the Bear the Second, whatever his name is right there. But there are three warp crystals uh, that we can collect from this little area. Um, so, what we're going to do is head up. Now, it does, for whatever particular reason, it takes me a little bit of a while to figure out where the second one is. But the first one is up here then. So, shoot, shoot the tree, climb up on the leafy platform, jump up, grab the first warp crystal. Uh, now, what we're going to do is go ahead, drop down, and just speak to what kind of looks like Pope Bear the Second, or whatever. Hello there, Savior. My people were enslaved by the G3 and forced to desecrate the land mining for Fergals. You may have freed this small tribe, but our brethren underground are still being worked to death by Krubis. Krubis? You know, we're actually looking for him to kill? What's this? You aim to take down Krubis of the G3? You are truly a hero to Mupplets everywhere. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, where is he? We'll, we'll get rid of him for you. Hmm. That's difficult to answer. His work, though evil, keeps him very busy. He oversees many different mines across Zephyr, and it's impossible to predict where he may be on any given day. My liege, what about the man in the mansion? Ah, of course, a brilliant plan. My advisor is right. There's a man nearby. Oh, fine, yeah, I guess I was blabbering too much. Just go to that Sorry to be so rude, but we just want to go away, okay? So thanks very much. Right, the second warp crystal then is going to be over on the left-hand side. Not quite that far left, but we're gonna fly. Uh, we're gonna glide across with the bee. 
yeah, so again, apologies about uh, this bit here. I'm just... Just wondering where it is, and I'm telling you where it is. It's on the left-hand side. There it is. So I, I do figure it out eventually. There we go. So gliding over with the bee then, just on top of this little tower type thing right here, we're just going to simply climb up and grab the second warp crystal of the area. And the third one is basically, you can't miss this one. It's in the way of the story, of the way we're going to go anyway, in the uh, sort of story-related path. That's what I'm trying to say. So, these guys are hilarious because they just tell each other to F off um, for the majority of the time. So, I, I do advise just um, as we <laughs> we're going to jump up to the other side. Eventually, they're going to start telling each other to flub off, which is just... Honestly, it is actually hilarious. What we actually need to do then is just uh, sprint across and jump up here. Oh, there we go, look. <laughs> it's, I don't know why, it's just so funny to me. So, jumping up, jump across to the other side. We are going to have to... Oh, that was, uh, he managed to get the last word in there before he died, so uh, that's unlucky. And the third warp crystal then is right there as well. So, no, flub you, no, flub you. There's another Luglox chest uh, just behind us, over the other side, if you wanted to grab that. Otherwise, what we can do is just simply crack along with life. Shoot the old green pus juice ball up there, and then climb up onto the leafy platforms, of course. Jump over, glide over with Psycho Knife. And just do the same here. What you got to do is shoot the green pass ball on the left. And then jump and press the B button and die. Now, of course, what we're going to try and not do is actually die. Uh, that, that's, a ma again, major inconvenience. So go to the left of the chunky ball right there. And you should, <laughs> then you should make it. And then we can glide up. Glide up again. And Bob's your nan's uncle, mate. Honestly, that's who he is. This guy, you can't shoot him dead just yet. He's a bit annoying. In fact, he's very annoying. There is a chest. If you shoot the platform that is raised up on the right-hand side of us a couple of times, there is another Luglox chest there if you want. Uh, otherwise, we just go across straight across the <laughs> the toxicity of our city. Of our city. Right, what we need to do is use a glob shot here on the mushroom on the left. That'll jump open and smash open the platform for us. And it... And what? wait for the bee. Wait for the bee, wait for the bee, 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 and then glide over, lovingly, beautifully. Man, you are annoying. Jesus, get the hell out of my life. Get out of my life, you douchebag. Right, there are no enemies here, so we're all just chilling. So we're just climbing up to the right, and then there's going to be a set of staircases that we're going to go down. So, um, you've obviously got the main shop in Blim City. Oh, a couple of crabs, sorry, forgot about these. Two crabs are just crap your pants with, to crab your pants with. <laughs> And then what we're going to do is go for a nice bit of zip lining. Don't know what I tried doing there, but we're going to go zip line instead. Make sure to zip line over to the other side so you don't fall from the door and die. Uh, but instead of going up, what we're going to do now, because uh, there's two ways you can go. You can just go up or you can go down. So what we're going to do is go down and you should have enough money. There's a, basically a shop. Now, like I said, in the main Blim City area where your house is, You've obviously got the big main shops, but in terms of getting more forums completed, you actually have to buy things in each location. So make sure that anytime you find one of these shops, you're buying at least one item. Um, but for the majority, you can pretty much usually just buy both. You should have plenty of money, even if you haven't been collecting the Luglox chest, which, of course, as, as you've seen, I haven't been doing that. And I've still got enough money to buy the two. So... Again, I'm not sure if the I, the items are randomized. I, I'm pretty sure they're the same. Don't quote me on that one, though. But I do. I got a little bit more health and a little bit more ammo there. Cost me 1,600 pesos, but, uh, you know, it's what you got to do. So, we're not going up. We're basically now heading straight across the wibbly-looking water. And just keep on heading straight for a sec. And it's time to get ready for the fight of your life. Hey! Hey, hey, lots of fighting, lots of crab monsters as well at this part, so just be very aware, keep on moving, keep doing what you're doing, you are fantastic.
Trick hole ready whenever. Okay, so that fight went on a little bit longer than I anticipated because for some reason I used the machine gun, which doesn't actually machine gun very well. It takes, uh, <laughs> it takes these enemies a lot longer to die. Um, you obviously see me unlock the forum there for getting 240 kills with any gun. So that should be, should be roughly about there anyway at the same point. Otherwise, after all that is done. But again, so far, Kenny is the best gun. Sweezy, you might talk the talk, but at the moment you... In terms of shooting ability, you don't really walk the walk. Right, so this is Mr. Meeseeks, the guy that me has been seeking. His name's not actually Mr. Meeseeks, but he is the guy that we have been seeking out. Uh, so you need to speak to him a couple of times, and he's eventually going to give us a warp disc. And for some reason, there is Guy... I mean, he looks more, you know, passed out drunk than he does um, dead, but uh, we'll give him a little... Uh, the, the old tea bag of life anyway, and uh, we, we will then pick up what we need. I am a man-child. Um, and if you've seen my guides, you're pretty much probably aware of that by now. So, yeah, it's all good. A, a goose. Right, so after this one then, thank you, Reggie, you big... What, what is that? Is that supposed to be a hat on your head? Because that looks adorable. What? So, after this bit is done, um, we can just now start turning to head back. You can go ahead and listen to his story if you want, um, and be polite. i got no idea what's going on, but we're just going to sort of, uh, we're, we're going to skedad. So, thanks, but be Right, so we need to head out of the front door. I went out of the side door for some reason. So, we start heading to the left of where, I, of where we are. You're going to see a little blue light. And this is where we're actually going to start using the warp discs. Now, after the Krubus bounty, um, we can, with the warp crystals that we've been grabbing, we can now, uh, with, eventually, with the warp crystals, we can buy warp discs, use them to go to other planets and other portals, and we can do, we can get achievements and stuff. But we're not going to worry about that too much until later on. So, uh, for now, we're just heading towards this big blue light to use the warp disc. Very, very easy. Uh, we're going to press the left bumper. Obviously, we've only got the one. Oh, this annoying paper clip. <laughs> the annoying, what kind of looks like cocaine paper clip, if he's not a paper clip. Uh, but you're going to press the A button here on the only warp disc that we've got. After pressing the left bumper. And ta-da! We're going to get a little highway bridge for us. Hilariously, um, we are in, apparently, we've come straight in the middle of a traffic jam. You can't kill anyone, so don't even try. Because I tried it myself. Um, people arguing it's it, this is literally. Is this what New York is like? Is this what the busiest parts of America are like? Everyone just arguing on the highway because nobody can drive and they crash into each other for the majority of life. Anyway, after that, then what we're going to do? We're just going to head up to Pope Bear the Second. How was the man in the mansion? He's a real piece of shit, but credit where credit is due. He gave us this warp device for some completely dumbass fucking reason. By the gods, you've done it. You got the warp device. This might actually work. You continue to provide us with hope. 
Grand Savior. With this warp device, you can warp Krubis directly to you. How fortuitous. But alas, you'll need his coordinates and a blank warp disk to encode them onto. Hmm. Oh well, no way you're getting those. That stuff's in the mines. We could just go down there and get it right now. Oh right. Take this access code and head down to the mines. Everything you need is there. All right, enough already. We get it. Go to the mines, find some shit. We'll figure it out. And now, eventually, then we're going to start heading towards the mine. Now, remember, we still got the getting for your job achievement to do, and obviously, you know, you. you if you've been following the guide and following the walkthrough, you'll know exactly what to do. But you should have the Sweezy gun after killing Douglas, blah, blah, blah. So you should be fine for that. But we're going to be coming up to that one soon. So we're going to press the left bumper here on the control panel. And we are going to head through. Now, of course, get prepared for a lot more fights in this level. We're not quite done. In fact, we're nowhere near done just yet. Um, all these bits of crabs are all good for the time being. So we're just going to head towards our destination. Okay, you know what to do. Time to fight. TTF, TDF. Time to fight. Die. Die. Yeah. So that would have been the last one then. Uh, random enemy just uh, chilling in the ground. We'll just leave him for now. So heading towards our destination then. Uh, again, obviously always keep pressing up on the D-pad if you're ever stuck and you don't know where you're going. There is no warp crystal, I believe, this time. So just taking a little look. So we're just going to fly across to the other side. Oh, wait, there's another. There you are, you son of a monkey bow. Okay. Now we will start heading towards our destination. Again, if you need them, there is Grabralises, or whatever the hell they're called, you know, the flowers that make, you can stick in Kenny's trick shot hole. Mmm, delicious. Otherwise, we will just keep on heading forward, uh, jump across, so you're obviously not going into the toxicity of our city. And make sure to jump and dash across. Oh man, they really, they really, really did. Right. So, incoming warp base, you know what to do, shoot, die, kill. Now this one is going to take, uh, there's a lot of enemies here, and also, now if you stand behind these purple things, like you're probably aware of it by now, these purple shields, it's it's basically a shield, yeah? So, uh, what I do is basically, pointing at the tower right now, I basically stand up there, shoot everyone from afar, again, I'm doing that camping little wiener thing, uh, but one of those big, massive, hunky boys will appear at the very end as well, so just be aware of that one. Otherwise, standard rest of enemies, kill, shoot, die, you know the drill.
Whew. So if you're wondering how many crystals there are from the warp drives, there's only one. And where we were doing the majority of the fight, it is basically on the ground level. So uh, basically the first sort of tower or whatever this is that we come across, it's basically as we drop down, it is going to be right in front of us there. So make sure to pick up this warp crystal as well. Again, to get all of the warp discs, by the way, later on, we are going to have to do some farming. So we're going to have to do a little bit of grinding and a little bit of farming for uh, quite a few things, especially with the uh, forums. Now, by the way, sorry, I, you probably have realized by this, uh, this by now. But if you press the start button and click the right bumper a few times, that is where the forums are and that is what you need to do. So they are the, like little challenges that you need to do throughout the game. So I do apologize that it's taken me almost two hours to let you know that one. But that is what I mean by the forums, by the little milestone challenges that we have to do. And that is the one that is actually locked off. Um, slightly unattainable for the moment. Apparently there are five people that have unlocked it on True Achievements, but they are cheating little bum bags. Um, one can only assume because there is literally no way the max... Maximum percentage that people can get on it is 97% if they've completed everything. So hopefully Squanch Games can uh, sort that out for us soon. Right. Um, now, I've got to be honest. I thought this was a puzzle where you have to shoot all the electrical bits to get it going again. As it turns out, there's a little hole that we can just drop down on to the right-hand side of us now. Uh, which was <laughs> very sillyly stupidity of me. But you know... I, apart from that, I wouldn't steer you wrong at all, would I? Right, so again, we're going to be coming up to a little uh, fight section here. So what we can do, we can actually just shoot the two enemies here. Pop this Braski's eyeball out. There's a Braski just in front of us now. Bop, bop. And then when we drop down, we're going to see some barrels that we can actually shoot down. So there's the barrels that we can shoot down when uh, a good couple of enemies. So we're going to shoot them down and shoot the barrels in order to get a couple of interactable kills. Uh, there will be a crab monster that will appear, but we're going to shoot the barrels down first. And then shoot the barrels as quick as you can. And eventually, one of them's going to explode. There we go. Crab monster's going to appear on our right. So, again, just be aware. <laughs> that was epic. What an epic fight. Otherwise, what we can do, we can drop down here, start heading towards that cave-looking thing. And there's going to be a couple of enemies that will appear. So, let's kill, kill, kill. Operation 12C, it's me, Krubus. Speed things up! Damn, Krubus, you got, your face got mashed up, boy. Right, there is another shop here as well, which we can buy things. Um, so, obviously, the Glob Kidney is, that always comes in handy. Now, again, I'm not sure if you have to buy everything in terms of the forum, but I end up doing it anyway, just to be on the safe side. Again, you should still have plenty, you should have plenty of money, if you've been killing all the enemies, because you still get a little bit of pesos and stuff. Uh, but anyway, head up the ramp for now, and then press the left bumper here on this trigger, that will open, um, on this button, that'll open up the way for us. Drop down to the left, and use a glob shot here on the platform to get going. Um, but yes, so, with the forums, because they're all glitched, uh, but like I said, um, in terms of money and things, you get pesos every time you kill a couple of enemies. So as long as you've been killing all the enemies that you've come across, um, you should honestly still have more than enough money at the moment. And of course, if you've been collecting the Luglox chests on the way, you'll have plenty of it. So jumping up here then again, Luglox chest just behind me. There we go. So if you want to grab that one, if you've been doing that on the way, that's fine. But this is where we now need to get out Sweezy the Gun. Because we are coming up to the administration services. This is where the achievement gunning for your job is going to happen. So, there it is. Administrative services. Make sure, like I said, that you've got Sweezy the gun out. You know, the girl that talks like this and she are cool and stiff. When we speak to Holly here, you need to make sure to choose the dialogue option. I'm the new boss. Very, very important to choose I'm the new boss. If you choose anything else, load the last checkpoint and go again. Um... Because if you choose the new hire, you basically, you will miss the achievement. So you need to choose right on the D-pad. I'm the new boss. Like a boss. And that's pretty much it now for the achievement. So what we're going to do, we're going to head into the room on our left. 
and you can choose any dialogue option that you want. Um, whether that's doing paperwork, kissing, it's basically, it's basically a free-for-all. It's however you're feeling right now. So you're going to speak to these little bears, three little bears. The dialogue options, like I said, now do not matter. As long as you've got Sweezy and you have said, I'm the new boss, that's pretty much it for the achievement. So choose what you want. I choose kissing on the mouth because, well, you know, uh, we all know. Uh, but yeah, again, for the next three dialogue options, as I said, choose what you want and the achievement will unlock later on. Or after they've been fired or murdered. What the fuck? You want us to kiss each other? Yeah, on the fucking mouth. With tongue. I actually can't do this because I'm, um, I'm married. That's a shame. I always thought you were really hot. Yeah, me too. Oh my god, whoa, do you, do you mean it? Of course. Look at you. Have you even seen your ass? You have a perfect ass, Dimitri. Thank you. Yeah, I, I agree. I have a very perfect ass. Now, uh, come, o come over here. enough. Really hot stuff, but enough. Now, what's next? Everyone fight each other! Do we have to? Yes. Uh, fine. Oh! That really hurts! Hey, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? You, you can't just hit them like that. Get your hands off of me! Okay, how was that? Very good, thank you. Now let's see, what's next? Fire each other! Um, what? I need this job. Too bad, you're fired. Pack your shit and get out. You're, you're fired too. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Wait, guys, you don't have to fire each other. We don't have to do everything she says. Yeah, we do. If we don't do it, she'll fire us. Oh, right. You're fired. Pack your shit and get out. All right, sick. That was fun. Now let's see if we can find out where Krubus is. <laughs> now that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Imagine being that kind of boss. Kiss each other. All right, now beat the crap out of each other. Oh, man. Right, so. Now we are into Krubus' office, it's looking a bit uh, worse for wear. What we need to do then is just interact with the monitor. Um, the biggest gentle wart of all, Gargantuan, or whatever his name is, is going to appear. Again, you can listen to the conversation, we're just going to press the left bumper to go away, because uh, we don't really care. But we have now the um, coordinates that we need in order to find Krubus. So, now again, like I said, it's always worth, this game is brilliant, the dialogue's just hilarious. Um, but what we need to do here is just jump across. So it's always worth listening to all the conversations and dialogue and things that happen because it is fantastic. Um, but again, just in terms of like saving time and things, that's why I'm just cracking on with it. So just carrying on going forward for now, what you're going to do is going to be a, uh, you need to glob this big platform in front of us. And then what that should do then is open up the leaves on the way. If not, you, you've seen the big green light just above where we shot the platform so we can move across. So go ahead and speak to these bears then. Dialogue options don't matter, but we do want to say basically where cr is Krubus. It's okay, we're friends. We, we hate the G3 too. Oh, wonderful. Thank God. Listen, we're looking for a blank warp disk. Do, do you have any ideas? Ah, uh, yes. Our prince has a stash of them. Really? All you need to do is clear out the warp base the G3 plopped on in our holy land. Then you'll reclaim the sacred oh. grounds and rescue Prince Chosen One. And then he'll give us a blank disc? Yes, oh yes, we can, we can help each other. <clears throat> oh, what a fortuitous happenstance. Oh. So, exiting out of that, we don't really need to know. Again, like I said, always worth having a look if you want to, if you're really enjoying the story. The dialogue is pretty much, it is 90% hilarity on every path. So we're going to head to the right. There's going to be a couple of crab monsters that will appear out of nowhere. Should always be in the same spot though. Uh, so what we're going to do is head into this little building here. 
As we turn to the right and go around the corner, two crab monsters will appear. So just be aware of that one. Make sure to shoot the barrel if you can. If not, doesn't matter, but there will be the two of them. Uh, we're going to turn to the right, and as we turn to the right through the next door, there's another crab monster here. And as we go through this door, there's going to be another one to the right of us. So again, shoot the crab. Meh. <laughs> you did. You got sliced, boy. Sliced and dies like a piece of bread going through butter knife. Meh. Yeah. Right, in this room then, we're going to jump up. And jump up again, and we're going to crouch down and head through this little pipe. Two glob monsters here, or grunt monsters, sorry, not glob monsters. So shoot them dead, and then pick okay, up the the uh, warp. And then all we can do then is just basically head out the same way we came. So jump up. Jump up, dash over. And just head outside, use the warp on the blue light, press the A button to uh, fix it on, and then speak to the quote-unquote prince. This is the chosen one? Okay, I guess. And what the hell do you want? Jeez, jeez, we, we just saved you? You know, maybe you could be a little grateful? Saved me from what? I'm fine. Look, we were told you had some sort of blank warp disc. Huh? Yeah, 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 sure. I've got a bunch. Make sure, of course, to grab the blank warp. That is exactly what we need. And we're not too far away now from the Krubus fight. A few more little tiny things left to do. For one, we're going to start jumping up on mushrooms. And we're just going for a nice little... We're going for a nice little swing. So swing away. Swing, swing. Anybody a bunch of swingers in here? Not for any particular reason. No need scientific purposes. Um, so yeah, all we're doing then, we're slamming up the mushrooms. We're going for a nice little joyride. You're going to have to glob shot this before heading down. Boom. Otherwise, you'll fall to your <laughs> fantastic death. Although the death wouldn't be fantastic, of course. And then we're just heading towards the destination again. So we're heading back towards the mansion. Hey, uh, Ranchy, we're back. Let's let's head inside. Hey! And again, you can listen to old Bull Knob's story right there. Or we're just going to go straight for the monitor behind him. Just, uh, yeah. So, sorry, pal. Sorry. Uh, so we're just going to press the left button here on the monitor. We're going to wait for a few seconds. Oh, there's my face every time I'm confused. Uh, and then the blank warp will appear. There we go. So we've got that one finally. So now what we can do then is just head outside. Sorry, sorry, buddy. We're just not going to, we're not going to bother. So the Krubus boss fight then is going to start appearing. There is the blue light that we need. So we're going to press the left bumper on the blue light and then use the warp disc. Krubus will appear and then it will begin. Now it must be said, um, the, I had a bug. Right as I was about to kill him, he was going to pop out of the ground for one more time, and then he got stuck in the ground. So I had to load the last checkpoint and do the boss fight again. So if that does happen and he doesn't appear anywhere, I just load the last checkpoint and go again. Otherwise, he's only... Again, it's a fairly straightforward fight then. So what he's obviously going to do, he's going to come out of the ground and shoot at you. Now, the best way is to take his health down. He's going to start coming sort of halfway out of the ground. What you're going to do is shoot him a couple of times, then do a glob shot on him, and then stab him a couple of times. That is the best way that you can get his health down very quickly. So as, as you're going to see, he's going to start appearing out of the ground. Somewhere. So shoot him a couple of times now, and then glob shot him. Uh, so, because if you glob shot him and just stab him, you only take off... You take off a, a, little, a good bit of health, but it's easier if you take a couple of shots first, then glob, then stab. Because uh, if you try doing what I'm doing and just stabbing him, he's actually just drilling me square in the old um, the old GW area right now. Not that I've got the GW, of course, but he, um, yeah, so he does that. So after he takes a bit of health off, he goes behind a bit of glass door. So we need to kill off three enemies. And then he's going to have a little chat and then he's going to just come back out and do the same thing. So uh, he's going to... Um, have a little drill around, he's going to get stuck halfway down, so again, what you're going to do, when he's halfway in the ground, shoot a couple of times, then glob shot, and then stab, to take off quite a bit more health. Yeah. 
Yes. Incoming! So one more move that Krubis is going to do after you've killed these guys, he's going to, you're going to start seeing like little red laser beams start pointing down towards you. So at this point, you need to constantly keep moving because he is basically, if he hits you with one of these red laser beams, well, that's going to be a lot of health coming off. So as soon as you see them, start making a move for it. And in fact, what I end up doing is actually I just keep pressing the left bumper just to do a little bit of flying. Uh, he does this for around 20 seconds or so, and then he will eventually stop, and then you can just do the same thing you've always been doing. Shooting him, globbing him, and stabbing him. It's still the clock, fucker! I'm coming right for ya! You. You're a freeze, asshole! I'm coming right for ya! And incredibly, I, I took my own advice literally on the last point of the fight. So that's all good. Uh, right, what are you going to do then? You should get the achievement now. Cold-Blooded Driller. You're going to stab the crap out of him. And of course, Psycho Knife is going to be... Oh, he's going to be very delighted with that. Very delighted with that. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then we are going to get Gus. And we are also going to get the... Gus, uh, satisfied Gustomer achievement, uh, hilariously. So what he does then, his main uh, attack with the right bumper is shooting discs, and he's a shotgun as well. Uh, he's also a frog, so that comes in handy. So when you can see the glowing walls basically right in front of us, that is where you can use the discs in order to get up. You can then press the left bumper and use Knifey's special attack to uh, climb up. For a bit. I, of course, I, I, that's what I was hoping you'd say. We can use your help. But I should be clear that we are trying to take down the whole G3 cartel, and we might die. Music to my ears. You think I don't want to take down the cartel? Buddy, that's all I want to do. That's all I dream about. Amazing, God, I'm so glad to find another Catlian alive and well. I love your tiny little hands, by the way. I, I... And there it is. Now we're going to do some epic frog stuff. So, like I said, here's a shotgun. So, you're going to press the right trigger, of course, to use it to its full potential and maximum effect. You need to get as close as you can to the enemy to shoot him. What you can also do, if you press the left trigger, you will suck him off like a va Suck him in. <coughs> Excuse me. Suck him in like a vacuum. And then you can press the right trigger to slop him dead. Job done. Uh, if you have a look up, you can see the red glowy wall. So, again, you can you, uh, press the right bumper to shoot a disc in it and then the left bumper to climb up. Finally, by the way, what we can do here as well is kill this annoying piece of glob snatch. So again, sh suck him in with the left trigger, right trigger to shotgun the crap out of him. Press the left bumper, left bumper up, and then we're going to be doing a little bit more fighting. I got a little bit of a warp base to do, so again, it's easier. You can walk around if you want, but I generally found it easier to suck him in, shoot him dead, and job done. There is a warp crystal as well at the very top for when you finished. Fuck my dick! There's a stinger! There's a stinger! I don't care if I die. Good work, dipshit! One head back and turn in this bounty. So, <laughs> once you just knifed his ass, make sure, of course, like I said, to grab the warp crystal here. We are going to need as many as we can get. And we can just head straight forward. Now, there's no more warp crystals, but we can head straight for the portal, straight for the exit, and that will finally be Douglas and Krubis done. So that is the two top ones, three bosses basically technically killed. And we've got to do a little bit of talking. We... We're going to be talking to uh, Mayor Krug, or Mel Mayor Melonhead, in just a sec. Hello, I'm back. Hello. Why is the heating not on, man? I'm cold. All oh, right, of course, the uh, 
the uh, cost of living crisis, of course. Turn in your bounty. Of course, as usual. And then eventually what's going to happen is it's going to be a couple of minutes cutscene. But we're going to be doing a few more things for a couple more achievements in just a bit. Uh, but again, for the next couple of minutes, it's just a lot of talking. Melonhead. And drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch us next bit. About to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Glim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. I mean, we might as well hear them out, right? I already told him you go. Without even asking us first? No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. No problem. It's, 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 it's nice to meet you, sir. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Well, we, we, we're, we're Gatlians, but, uh... Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? But, but you're a big name politician and we're out there, you know, killing people. Like, wouldn't that look bad? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Okay, we're, we're listening. This tool on my desk here. Oh boy, May Mellahead goes on a lot. He had some of that small D energy, very Andrew Tate style. Small D energy by just, I mean, I have to have a look. We, he's been talking for non stop, so we've got to entertain ourselves somehow, right? So, we're going to grab the little uh, human recruit device, uh, which of course means the game's going to get even more interesting. So, after Mel and Head stop talking, we can finally head back through the portal unless you, unless you want to have a look around, but there is nothing to collect or anything like that. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Oh, uh... All right, we're back. So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordeaux's chef stand too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling? Wow, what a great film. Now that's one of the big, the big things that I love about this game is they put actual full feature length films in this game. Uh, so if you want to watch it, you can. Right, we are going to head and do a Starfish is Born Part 3 now. So head to the right as we get outside here, back to Globo's dad. 
Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing then, we're going to keep spamming the left bumper button. We're going to keep just basically exhausting all the dialogue until we can no longer press the left bumper. So I think it takes about four or five times. Basically, like I said, this is the A Starfish is Born Part 3, where he's going to tell us he's going to be going, he's got a record deal and he's going to appear on late night TV. And that is not bad for someone who farts through his face. That is incredible. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, this is part three, like I said, just keep pressing the left bumper until you can no longer. You're looking at the next, uh, 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 D Davey Wilson. Globo's got the sweetest heart. I I'm so glad everyone's gonna finally get to hear what he's got on the inside, and not just the disgusting wet fart sounds he makes. Globo, famous. I just can't believe it. I always knew, but I just can't, I still can't believe it. Oh, I hope Globo mentions me when he's on TV. Oh, Globo, you know, I'm so proud. Listen, you gave this kid the crayons, and he painted the fucking masterpiece. That's what happened. Oh, Globo. I can't stop thinking about this Globo. And after this bit is done then, now we are going to get an item that we need to keep hold of for the rest of the entirety of the game. So head down and head up the ramp. We're basically heading towards Mr. Keep's pawn shop, but what we're going to see is this little alien Stan. His name is Stan. He is an alien. So we're going to press the left bumper. He's basically selling vials of alien... It, it, it's Kerm, okay? It's, yes, what, what comes out of boys' peepees, not the pee style, but we're going to say, I'll buy some Kerm. It is the white gloopy alien juice. Mmm, deliciousness. So he gives it to us on the house, so you don't have to pay for it, thank God, because who's paying for cum? I suppose women who want to get pregnant in that way. Um, but, I mean, on the, on the game, nobody's paying for cum in this game. Um, but anyway, as you can see then, there it is in the items. So, uh, as far as I can tell, there's no actual way to get rid of it. But you need to keep this gallon of alien cum now until the end of the game. So, as long as you've spoken to Stan here, Stan here, you've got hit the uh, alien cum in your inventory. Again, I don't think you can get rid of it, so you will get this achievement at the end of the game. But again, very important that we get that now. Otherwise, you'll miss it, and you'll have to do it all over again. And, boy, we ain't up for debt. Uh, right. So, once we have the alien semen sample in our possession, which, oh, it smells. Why does it smell so funny? Jesus crap. Anyway, we're going to buy the jetpack. It's not actually a jetpack. It's a jetpack reactivation card. So, uh, <laughs> angry and on benefits, Zoidberg. Even though he's working and he's got his own store, but he definitely does look like, uh, uh, yeah. No refunds, by the way. No refunds, yeah, I bet you son of a bit. Anyway, after we've done this, what we're going to do is just head all the way now back to the house, update Gene, and then we're going to go upstairs and go to bed. That sounds like a nice plan. We're about two and a half hours in. Bruh, we need a little nap, dog. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry. I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. By the way, the, uh, there is a guy called Blotto Chef, you probably heard him from Gene, who was in the middle, the main area of Blim City. That is where you can buy the warp discs from. But again, we need to get a lot of warp crystals, so we'll be coming back to him a little bit later on. For now, we will get the achievement for obtaining the jetpack, the are you packing? Question mark. And, well, let's start doing some jetpacking. Let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? And if you have played jet, uh, jetpacks in past games, it'll be the exact same. So, holding the aid to fly to the next roof, 
There is another uh, Luglock's chest there if you want to grab it. Again, we'll be grabbing all of them later in one fell swoop. But obviously, be my guest if you want to. You can tap down in the D-pad as well to head down, but there's pretty much no point. And just hold the A button here to go all the way up. And when you get to maximum altitude, it'll start just hovering in mid-air until you run out of fuel. Pretty simple, uh, but the jetpack will come in m -m mega handy. So, once this is done, this is the only jetpack tutorial that we've got. Um, I, and this, well, just, yeah, let's head back and talk to Gene. We'll just take a look, a look at this guy. Looks like he's got a, just looks like a big giant banana penis head, doesn't he? Um, but anyway, once we go in, we'll have a quick chat. I say a quick chat, it's going to be another couple of minute chat with Gene and Big Lizzie. As poi usual. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I've fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. We're all living under the same roof, and that makes us family. And it makes her business my business. I'm the man of the house, so she needs to do what I say. And before anyone accuses me of being a misogynist, yeah, I know I'm a misogynist. We all know I'm a misogynist. That's bad, and I'm working on it. But this is about me being right and your sister being wrong. Listen to yourself. I can make my own decisions. I don't know why you think you're suddenly some father figure to me just because you're crashing on my couch and eating my diary. Oh yeah, I said eating. He's been eating pages out of my diary. So what? My species eats paper. It's delicious. Who gives a shit? I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Until came so, of course, you can just say what you want there with Lizzie. Really doesn't make a difference uh, to, to, to any achievements or anything. Just a bit of different dialogue. Always funny, either way. But next, we are going for the Screndle Bros. Now, there are three of them. And in all honesty, this can be considered probably the toughest boss in the game. But with the right tactics and with the right guns, which, of course, I will be showing you and letting you know and telling you uh, the fight can be over pretty quickly, so don't worry, it's the toughest boss in the game, but it still can be done quite easily. So uh, anyway, let's crack on for now. Here we are then, back in the Zephyr jungle, uh, I think. Yes, looks Zephyrian, jungly. We're going to speak to this little marplet. 
And, well, you can still, you can carry on speaking to him if you want, but, well, you know, time, time to tick in, boys. It's, uh, we've got a lot of stuff to do, so we're out of there. So, obviously, what we're going to do then is just head straight forward, and uh, we're going to encounter a couple of new enemies. We're going to jump off this mushroom here, right at the bottom, and then we're going to start, obviously, heading to the left. But there are a few new enemies, snipers, that we now have to kill. It's pretty uh, obvious what is in the name. We're not heading towards the bees and flies right there. And also, we're not. We're going to head to the left rock. So don't do what I do here and die. That would come in mega handy. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so we'll fly off to the left rock first. And then it's going to tell you that you need to use your jetpack. But yes, yeah, so sniper, they're obviously going to snipe, try and snipe you to death. Um, and there's going to be a lot more fights in these last couple of bounties. So there's a lot more fights involved. Um, pretty much effectively with the same enemies, uh, just uh, just with the sniper. And we're going to be using the different guns a lot more. So for now, we're going to get Gus out. Press the right bumper. Of course, we see the red crack in the wall. And then make a jump for the B. And then make a jump for the D. Uh, disc, that is, by the way. Yeah, of course. So <laughs> after this pit's done, just make a jump for it. And as we head to the left, there is going to be another fight. We're already being shot at, so flying drones and a couple of uh, Mr. Crabs to kill. It's nice to kill something guilt free, you know? Let's glob it to him! I mean, it's only a bit of a quick one that time, but, uh, you know, still got to be on your guard. In fact, hilariously, they all just jumped off. So that was a pretty good tactic there from me. So if you want to do that and you don't want to fight crabs, just let them jump off to their death already. So, whip Gus back out. You're going to press the right bumper, of course, to get the disc in the wall. And then just to the right of this big toxic waterfall, we're going to chuck another disc in. And, of course, what we're going to do is head to the left. Again, obviously collect the Luglox chest, if you have been so far. Or if you want to follow me, of course, just leave it until later. Head through the toxic waterfall, go th with your jetpack. Of course, make sure to use the jetpack fuel sparingly because it does run out relatively quickly. Lots of crabs up here as well and a few more flying drones, so kill, destroy. Again, if you want to get rid of the crabs easy, just wait until they jump out of you. And they can jump in the toxic waterfall if you go on the edge. Easy. Looks like we're done, Sonny. We're all done. Right, keep heading basically forward. Uh, what you're going to do is make a jump for it. Jetpack and then left bumper. Your way over. Um, I do end up accidentally dying here. Uh, I accidentally just fall into the toxic sludge. But we're just heading straight towards the mushrooms. But I didn't let my fuel <laughs> regenerate. So uh, we'll try that again. So yeah, straight for the mushrooms here. And again, we're going to fight more bugs and a lot more drones. So, you know, shooty, shooty, shooty base. Die, you creepy crawly bastard! Come on, shoot some slime out of my trick hole! What's so gross about that? I mean, yeah, if you really wanted to, you could have just got out Sweezy and then uh, used the right bumper with her to slow down time and then make a jump for it with a jetpack and get inside safe and soined. Well, here we go. Safe and definitely soined. Right, head in. And then what we're going to do, we are going to head to the left. Yeah, we will uh, need to head to the left first into this room. Open up, uh, click this control panel here and that will open up the door. Just behind us, there we go. There is going to be a dude on the toilet who, um, I mean, there's no, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else to do. Looks quite quiet, so why not crap your pants? Anyway, you can listen to his conversation again, as hilarious as always. Or we can just get rid of the stink and move on, because quite frankly, boy, I ain't smelling that. Right, stand on this and then glob your way over. Jetpack your way over to the left-hand side here. Now, this is where these snipers are going to start taking control, so just be very careful. 
There will be a few snipers dotted about. You will always be able to tell when it says on screen, sniper detected, and of course you can see a big light on you. So anytime you see sniper detected, it means that a sniper is about to take a shot at you. So either move out of the way until the warning goes, or keep having a look around. There it is. And just shoot it down. Shoot him down. So there's only about three or four that we need to worry about in this particular area. So from here then, what we're going to do, obviously we know what our destination is. It's straightforward. Um, but it's always worth just killing the snipers because they can take off quite a considerable chunk of health. So there's another one. Again, even with Kenny, he Kenny is basically like a sniper badass pistol in himself, to be fair. So uh, from here then, we are going to just head straight forward where we're standing now. So straight up to the rocks. I think I just about make it. Just about make it. And there will be another sniper hiding behind a rock just on ground level. Or hiding behind an ammo crate or something. Anyway, apparently <laughs> the closer we are, the worse shot we are, which probably makes sense. It's like any guy with a toilet, isn't it, really? The closer you are to the toilet, at 2 in the morning especially, you're going to be missing that toilet bowl. Right, so a couple more drones as well to shoot, uh, but snipers should be good, so just keep heading forward for now. Strindle Labs, dead ahead! Can we use that zipline to cross? And there's only one way we're getting over here. Turn into the right. Interact with this little control panel. And then that opens up the... Jiggity wiggity, stiggity biggity, uh, zip line. That's what I was going for. Don't worry, there are no enemies here, so we are all good. What we're going to do is head for the building on the left hand side. Grab some Gatterall if you want, some spiky flowers. Yep, yeah, grab some of those, or kind of just looks like germs. You're just entering germs into yourself. Either way, it's all going inside Kenny's trick holes. So, uh, again, make of that what you will. Head inside the building, have a little conversation here with. Helen, you may, may remember Helen from the administration services. We told her we were the boss, and now she's going to fudge us up. Enemies will appear, and we're going to have to do a weird, tricky elevator ride section. Except it's not that tricky. Unorthodox leadership style, but you got results. Anyway, sorry, I need to let the G3 know you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. Feel free to have some candy. You're uh, gonna set off the alarm. Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We got an intruder. Why, Helen, you lucky sons of you goddamn lucky. This is your lucky day. Right. So no enemies will appear just here, but there are, again, some new enemies called Jasons, where basically they will attach themselves to an enemy's head, rendering that enemy uh, pretty much invincible. Uh, you'll see exactly what I mean. Uh, what you need to do is just shoot it. The Jason's just like a flying, kind of looks like a flying sperm. There it is, like a flying brain sperm. So you can either shoot the Jason or you can behead the um, whoever it is attached to, and then sh you still got to kill the Jasons anyway. So, obviously, you make sure. So, that's what I end up doing. I always end up uh, stabbing the enemy. That will get rid of the connection, and then I will shoot the Jasons dead. So, smash this elevator down straight in front of us. More enemies will appear. Again, it could be random with what the Jasons, again, the flying sperm brains, uh, they may appear. So, now we need to fly over to that elevator that we just killed the guys on. And just like Kenny said there, who designs an elevator like this? So, press the left bumper here, and then we're going to go up, and more enemies are going to appear again. Like I said, could be random, could be more Jasons. Um, we are going to need to kill uh, quite a number of Jasons anyway, in order to fill up the forums for the Mods Please Ban achievement for when it gets fixed. Hopefully, it is already fixed by the time this comes out. Right, after this bit, um, grab everything that you can. Obviously, grab in shield what you can. Turn around... There is a Jason, but this is going to be another long bit of fighting. Quite a few enemies in here, so, you know, do your things. With any Jasons, like I said, go up to the enemy, stab him, then shoot the Jasons dead. It's just easier that way. Uh, otherwise, have a great time shooting things.
doesn't do anything for me. How are their bodies even... Shit, okay, good, good job. Right, now let's take a look around this place, you know, let's see what kind of... Experience... All right, boys, all right, we done, we done? Right, okay, fantastic. Right, before moving on, in this area, we are going to be getting the second and third hint about Dr. Gurgula. So this is the main area. Now we need to be heading, so basically from this sort of main room section, head up the ramps, which are pretty much on the right-hand side here. So there we go. There's the main room, main area that we just had a fight in. So head up the main ramps on the right. Have a look in this room to the right. Here it is. It'll say Jonathan Screndel's office, just at the very top. Now head inside. We need to come in here anyway in order to open up a door to rescue someone. But on the left here, if we press the left bumper, we get two more hints about Dr. Gurgle Balls. So there we go. So that'll be hint two and hint three for, again, the forums for the mods, please ban achievement. So opening up the door and we can head back out. Head to the right. And we can see that somebody is being, uh, well, kind of looks like they're being anal probed right now. So we're going to grab the gun called Creature. And he's, he, uh, this is the gun which actually comes in incredible handy for the Screndel Bros boss fight. So you see the little blue balls on top? Basically, uh, there we go, there's the achievement. Sorry, the, the achievement was taking a while to pop. You should get the creature feature achievement. But basically, when you shoot an enemy with, you know, three, four, five, six of these little blue ball bullets, uh, it basically just take, takes the enemy's health down. So the enemy can still shoot at you, but it the, they basically eat the enemy alive. So like I said, that'll come in mega handy again for the Scrend of Bros boss fight a little bit later on. You know what? Say it out loud. I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah. Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess. And so, when we can, what you're going to do is you're going to shoot one of our little blue bald friends right down these yellow sort of holes. And basically what they'll do is they'll just go straight through and whatever's on the other side, they will destroy. So we can open up doors. So this is what I mean then. Uh... If you shoot a couple of these blue balled little creatures, or the creature's children, we'll just call them a creature's child, onto an enemy, two or three, four at a time, they'll still shoot you, but they will get eaten and beaten alive, which, I mean, to some people sounds scary, but to some people sounds really horny for some reason. I don't know why, but still, that's hilarious to me. Right, so shoot another one then. Again, just press the right trigger straight through the hole. He's going to uh, smash it open for us, and hello... Now we can go to the Gatlian Grafting Center. Beautiful. Right, small, tiny little puzzle we're going to do. So, what we need to do then, we are going to uh, not shoot one through there yet. We're going to head down this little hallway, if you want to call it that. Get Kenny out. Glob it up. His trick hole is ready, as he always says, which is... Well, that's uh, turning me sick ever so slightly now. Then we can shoot a cheeky little blue ball straight through the hole. That gives us... Uh, Gives him a little ramp, and that opens up the way for us again. And uh, again, <laughs> apparently he's given birth to all these blue ball creatures. So, a couple of enemies to fight in this particular room. So, you can use, if you want, creature to just uh, shoot them all to death. Or I just end up using Kenny all the time, because it's just easier that way. Good, one less G3. <laughs> Damn, what's going on here then? So uh, this guy looks looks like he's having a good time. So I wonder if you can feel this. Oh, oh, a glob shot right to the balls. Jesus Christ! My assumption is since they're already they're having their brains hemorrhaged, they probably couldn't feel a shot of the balls. It's like when you fall down when you're drunk and you laugh about it, and then the next day it's in actual pain. Maybe when the machines stop, they'll go, Jesus Christ! Somebody shot me in the balls. Anyway, what you can do then is press the right bumper there, as you can see, shoot it through the hole, and that will control enemies. Again, that does come in incredible handy later on. Um, so, if you want to, you can always control the enemies, or if you find it easier just to use Kenny, then, you know, be my guest, chicken breast. Use Kenny. It's obviously, it's your game, totally up to you. Right, uh, we're done with this area. So, what we are going to do, we're going to head out, still with Creature as the gun. We are going to shoot... Uh, one of Creature's little children's straight through the hole right there. 
and that will somehow release a bee from its hiding. There's also one on the right hand side as well, which we are going to need. So again, obviously the uh, the uh, blue watermark is the aimer McGamer. If you're wondering what that was, you should have you probably would have figured that out by now. So get out Kenny, get out your favorite gun, and then just go for a nice little slide. And ta-da! On the zip line. Always use the jetpack, of course, if necessary. Right, we got one of these big, massive, giant creatures now. So, what I do do is get out creature, use the right bumper to control the big enemy, but remember it doesn't last very long. So, use as many as you can, and of course, keep shooting the enemy, uh, keep shooting the big, big enemy as well, with as many of these blue creatures as you can. Um... Obviously, remember that he can't jump up as well. So if you are struggling to fight the big creature on the ground, obviously just j uh, jetpack yourself up onto one of the little many, con many containers and just keep flying around and shooting. Whatever it is that is easiest for E, of course. Bounty. Right, cheers for that one, glitchy boy. Right, there are some crabs. If you need to get some murky crab kills, if you um, put a glob shot or put a creature shot down there, they're, they're basically in those cages. So if you put a creature in there, creature kid, uh, then you can kill a couple of mercs if you want for the forums. Um, if not, just go ahead and rescue these humans. There's 20 here, so just keep pressing the left bumper. Goodbye, my lovers. Goodbye, my friends. You have been the one! You have been the one who's caged! I wonder if they're free... Uh, can I get some of those free-range humans? Yeah, they taste better. Those free-range eggs, goddamn. Right, so anyway, as we're going to head forward, we are going to come up to... Um... Where you can call it a boss fight. It's sort of the mini-boss fight. It's the first Skrendel brother that we've got to fight. Now... Basically, the three Skrennel brothers, then, they have different attack patterns. So, this first one, Jonathan, uh, what he did basically does is slam his fist to the ground, and then, like, a big green toxic sort of shockwave sort of just appears on the ground. So, all you got to do is just jump over it. Uh, what I do highly advise here is just, just use Kenny. Honestly, it's absolutely fine. Just use Kenny. So, as you can see, green gloop. Um... Again, I highly advise, if you can, try not to use all of your jetpack fuel. Now, the reason I say that is, if you use all of your jetpack fuel, um, you may sort of put yourself in a bit of danger. So if you can, just uh, keep going, just keep following wherever he's going, and then just jump over them rather than jetpack it. So you may put yourself in a bit of a spot of bother. But anyway, all we're doing for now is shooting the crap out of him, and then just avoiding all of his green shockwave moves. So, how did you enjoy the fight? Was it good? Good, because we're going to have to come back to him later on. No, he doesn't die. Just like none of them die. Just yet. So, moving forward, there is going to be another bunch of crabs that we are going to fight here. So, again, there's one, you sneaky little douchebag in Housen Trousen. 
So of course, obviously, just keep following the directional on the old D-pad and housing. Um, and again, if you want to, you can go back to the house if you want to for any particular reason, but I mean, there's no reason to, huh? So let's just kill, ah! My God, that was my dick. You just bit me on the dick. You don't bite a man on the dick. See, I told you it's going to be a lot more fighting in these last few bounties. Which, you know, that's the whole point of the game, really, isn't it? Uh, so, heading forward. What we're going to need to do here, then, we are going to need to get the uh, Gus shot, uh, the creature shot, sorry. And we're going to have to whap out a cheeky little fly, which, of course, that's what we're going to do. Or a bee, or whatever it is. Uh, go back, Kenny, or whoever your favourite one is. It's going to have to be Kenny, actually, because once we go in, you're going to need a glop shot quickly. Jetpack down. Lovely stuff. Right, same thing here then. What we're going to do now is get Gus out. Use it on the rock directly in front of us here. Take a jetpack over, fly over. Now, word of warning, as soon as we get up to the top of these rocks, the other side, there is going to be more enemies to fight. Wow, how fun. So, you know, do the whole thing where you fight stuff. In fact, yeah, pretty much easier if you start just shooting them and killing them straight away. Some more crabs will appear, but again, luckily for us, they're going to do the whole jumping thing. Straight into the toxic green lake. Come here! <laughs> uh, it's always funny to see that. Anyway, like I said, once we get to the top, we're gonna have to do some more fighting. But maybe try my glob shot every now and again, you know? We gotta be nearing the end, right? What's up again? Man, I was hoping we could just slow down for a second. You're dead. It's nice to kill something guilt free, you know? This is what I was made for, you know? So, of course, every time there is a warp base that has appeared and everyone's done, bum, thank you, mum. Uh, which it appears now that we are. Remember, of course, to always grab the warp crystal or as many that has appeared. Always grab the one. So you should be up to probably like, I don't know, like eight or nine by now or ten, roughly about. Just have a quick double check, see if there's any more, but there is not any more. And if you're wondering if there's anything complicated to get through the lasers, well, you know video games... Sometimes they just help you out, don't they? Uh, no, nothing too complicated. What we're going to do is get out your creature feature. So go on, whip it out your pants, mate. Get your creature feature out. That's what... <laughs> I think that's what uh, many a person says. Oh, that's your creature feature. Well, I gotta go. Bye. Uh, no, just whap, you, <laughs> whap it in the yellow thing. And again, there is going to be more fighting. Um, that was Angela. Angela uh, Scrandle. Who's run away? So, again, what we're going to do is shoot, boys. Shoot. Shoot to kill. And if you don't shoot to kill, shoot for fun. No, wait. Uh, Americans, don't take me too seriously there, okay? Don't, don't do that. <laughs> My trick hole's ready for you. Let's glob them. There's more of them. Oh, there is one more enemy that we've got to, to uh, sort out. This guy here, who, who's basically a crab monster, but is faster, more agile, and he sort of goes down the same as the other one, just takes a few more hits, but uh, they can warp from sort of side to side, uh, so a couple may appear every time, so you've got, for those ones, you've got to be on the lookout, because I think there's going to be one more that might just appear, 
Uh, but yeah, those ones are quicker, more agile, and they can hurt a lot more. So uh, always just be on the lookout for those boys. Uh, they can also shoot as well. So, uh, you know, kind of a dick move, really. But there we go. Right, mate. Right, we're all squared away in this area, but as we start heading forward, there's going to be another two enemies that we're going to kill just on top there. So, you know, do your thing, baby. So you can have a look up, but there is uh, should be pretty much nothing else up here. Uh, we need to head back down to the ground, and this is where we are going to fight Angela. Now this is the second, uh, the second boss of the Screnel brothers, as it were. Uh, we do need to head round actually. Um, pretty sure, yes, actually, there is another couple of enemies that we are going to uh, shoot to kill before we head to Miss Screnel or Mister Screnel. Oh, you know, you could be uh, whatever the hell you want to be these days. No judgment from anyone, which is nice. So, uh, we're not actually getting to Angela Crendel just yet. What we're going to do is head through the door behind us. There it is. So, we're going to head through that door. Basically, there's going to be a guy who has been forced to watch alien porn. Um, it kind of... I mean, I don't even know, but apparently this guy's jerked off incredibly lots. Uh, but there is a little puzzle... For us to do, so we're going to get a creature in the, a creature's kid in where the guy is jacking off. Um, so thank you for that. He's going to end up going in there, so we're going to now put one on the other side, who will uh, he's basically help open up the door. So this one's going to open up this door. Now to rescue this human, you don't actually have to rescue me if you don't want, but if you want to, we're just going to wait around until he stops. Talking. At least, I mean, I, I don't even think I could go back to normal porn after this. All right. Maybe the semen, uh, the lack of semen's got to his brain now. But anyway, finally, once he stops talking, we can press the left bumper there to rescue him before we can move on. So heading straight through, more guys to beat. There's going to be some on this floor and on the floor above us as well. So just be aware that they will shoot at you. Oddly enough, how very day or. Everybody. Right, so now we can go to the very top floor. So, uh, be yourself up. And Angela's gonna have a very rude little message for us right now. Now, that that, that just disgu does disgust me. Bloody disgusting. So, whip out Sweezy. Uh, time slow that one. And then throw in one of the Creature Features kids. And, it's, excuse me, Angela. You, you naughty. Naughty shotty, that's naughty language. A naughty middle finger. So we can just head straight through, and as usual, of course, more dudes and dudettes to kill. So do your thing once again. Smell you later. I feel like that's all I've said for the last half hour is do your thing, sex a thing, or do your thing, or... There's just a lot of shooting in this one, isn't it? Right, so now we are actually going to face Angela. Now, Angela's move is, of course, going to be a little bit different. Like I said, all three brothers have three different moves. This one, Angela basically rushes towards you at a ferocious speed. So some, sometimes it can be hard to dodge. 
excuse me, uh, right there. My whole throat just closed up for some reason. Uh, again, very, um, very aggressive old Angela Scrandy bags is. But like I said, it'll, she, he'll start running away, and then eventually what, she, what he's going to do is just start running towards us. There will be enemies that will appear, these crap monsters, so just be very careful. Only two of them will appear. And it'll also, uh, he will also smash open some of his own glob shots as well. So kind of like, um, did anyone see that movie Get Out, where the guy kidnaps the, the woman who tried to rob him and then feeds her the green, gloopy, globby semen? Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, disgusting, very disturbing scene, but that's exactly what she throws at us. So not only does she charge at us, or he charges at us, sorry. Um, he also throws glo gloopy globs, so, you know, do your best to avoid and then shoot the crap out of him. And again, it's always worth, sorry, just one, on the one thing there, it is always worth, if you are struggling, just use, you can use, of course, Sweezy's time to slow them down and then shoot them. Or use Kenny's glob to shoot them and you'll shoot them five times in the air. Of course, that's what it's there for, isn't it? Uh, so again, apologies that I did just talk all the way through that one. Um, but once you have done Angela's boss fight anyway, we're actually not too far now from the end where we will have to face the third Scrandal brother and then all three at the same time. Um, yeah, so yeah, we'd be fine, we'd be fine. So, chuck in one of Creature's kids, and he's going to open up the way for us there. We're going to need it. Use this left um, uh, key pad, the left bloody Tingo Scrat. Get it all the way so the glob is facing towards the wall on the left. There we go. Uh, we're going to use Gus there to chuck open a disc as well. Stick a disc squat in the wall. And then, of course, we're going to get Kenny back out. So, again, make sure that the glob is pointing towards the wall exactly as it is now. Glob it. Fly it, jetpack it, and simply land on the disc. Simple times. Now, uh, I do advise just to wait until the jetpack is refueled, and then we're going to press the left bumper, and we're going to jetpack ourselves all the way up past these leaves, and then we can head straight back down, glide our way over, and there is the third Screnel brother. Now, like I said, we are going to have to beat this one. I uh, can't even remember. It. Oh, Mona. Mona the Vampire. With a hell of a chest, by the way. Now, for this one, um, in fact, all this one does is actually just uh, starts heading towards him. It does this mega weird spin. It does this incredible spin that, again, can take quite a bit of damage off you. So that is the main thing that he does. And he does a big tornado thing and starts putting out more gloopy globs, which you will have to avoid on the floor. So again, oh, in fact, we've already beaten him. Okay, so that'll do. Now, this is where... If you just need a little bit of time to, um, what I highly advise is getting Creature out, getting your, getting one of these bees out as well, because if you do need a little bit of, um, a little bit of time to get your um, shield or your health back up, then of course you can just fly in the air and just wait until that's up. Now they start going into Brotron. There will be shields that will appear in each corner of the room, at least three shields each, so... Uh, just make sure that you're going to grab those. But basically, Brotron. So, these are basically going to be all three attacks. Now, I highly advise getting Creature Feature out. Shooting the crap out of them. Uh, as quick as you can. And, of course, just try to avoid them. Keep going. Just until they shoot. No. I highly advise just shooting and aiming at one. Keep, of course, trying to avoid and keep uh, dodging best you can. But just focus your shooting on one. If you can... Uh, just, again, use the glob shot as well with Kenny, um, or the time slowing down with Sweezy, until one of them is dead. That just makes things a lot easier. So, as you can see, uh, we've already got one down, which means there's only going to be two attacks on us now. Now, these green shockwaves are a little bit bigger, so it's always worth using your jetpack just a little bit, or keep flying in the air. Um, otherwise, just keep using the creature feature until they uh, go off, like now. And again, just keep shooting one of them. Just keep shooting one of them. Doesn't matter which one. You can use your knife if they do come towards you like that as well. But just keep focus on one. As long as you keep your focus on one, that one will die and they won't get back into the Brotron stage. So now, obviously, we've just got one left. For me, Jonathan was the biggest pain in the ass with these. So, uh, I did actually want to kill him first. I ended up killing him last. But that is how you do that. So again, I might have made that, ju that just look quite easy. But that is my high advice for that one. So use the creature feature on the Brotron. Obviously try and avoid the damage 
in the green gloop as best as you can. And always just try to focus and aim at one of the Skrenal brothers until they die. Just makes life a lot easier. So what you're going to do then is just stab all three. Uh, we don't get a new weapon, which is just a shame, isn't it? Uh, but you're going to take off all three. Psycho Knife is actually going to be full from this one, which I'm not surprised at. And by the way, boys, did you know you got a tongue sticking out your teethy ass? Uh, didn't know, but I mean, he's dead now, so you, you probably don't know that. But uh, still, kill all three, and then <laughs> the biggest genital wart of all, Garmantuan, will start talking to us through the TV screen. And as you can tell, he's probably a little bit pissed. I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter? Fuck, it's Garmantuous? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you doing things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Fuck you, you're just afraid because we keep killing off your goons. Bounty hunter, I've got the most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you think we suffer. You monster! I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die, and that it's going to hurt. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Fuck, I guess we've really awakened the beast now. Oof, can you imagine that hanging off, <laughs> hanging off the end of your wiener? Jesus. Well, let's kill it straight away. Right, so this is the, that's it. The Skrenal Bros are done. So let's fly forward again. You can talk to the little moplets if you want. But of course, we are going to go straight to the left and head out of here. We are going to return home. Um, yeah, you can try and shoot them dead. It's always, it's always worth doing. Since apparently you killed a kid who ended up being 30 years old at the beginning of the game. You never know who you can kill. So, uh, yeah, we're on fire, Gene. Thanks very much. But hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Yeah, I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendalos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendalos. And leave Tweeg alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Tweeg. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweeg, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as 
I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Yeah, no shit! I'm pathetic! That's my whole deal. I'm homeless and legless and probably riddled with mental illnesses, which I'd know for sure if I didn't think therapy was a fake idea. You don't need to rub it in. I'll rub it in all I want. You're like 80 years old. You can't take a little shit-talking from a teenage girl? Jesus, I'm not 80. I'm 230. And that's really young for my species. I just don't want your creep boyfriend to steal my couch. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Good. Like I needed your approval anyway. This is a mistake. Ugh, that's enough of this. Oh, what a handsome little bar stool that he is. Kind of reminds me of me. Blue and chinned up to death. Uh, got chins coming out of the, chins coming out of my ass. Uh, sorry. Uh, no. What I meant was, uh, he's handsome, and now we're just gonna crack on. What we're not gonna do is, we're not gonna do the bounty. Wow, chicka, wow, wow, chicka, wow. Man, some incredibly obscure films in this game, which of course you can watch for the whole entirety, which is amazing. So we're gonna go for the A Starfish Is Born Part Four now. So what we should see. Uh, just having a little look at nothing there. So if we head over to where Globo and his dad and his drum machine were, what you should see right now is a couple of posters. If you don't see these, then it is probably bugged out for you. So we either load the last checkpoint, quit out to the main menu and come back in. Uh, but hopefully it hasn't bugged out for you. But you should see these posters. And if we turn directly around and head over the gap right here, right next to the TV, you should see another Globo poster. So you can't interact with it or anything, just as long as you've had a look. I don't think you even have to look at all three, but just in case. But as long as those posters are there, that is A Starfish Is Born Part 4, and we've only got one more part to get the A Starfish Is Born achievement. So, uh, it's taken a while. What are we in? 3 hours and 21 minutes. Uh, we're getting there, though. Uh, I thought that was a squash ting. Looked more like a condom, but it was actually a flamingo. Well, uh, close enough. So... Well, now there's only one left to do, and we are going to get Dr. Giblets. Now, that, to me, is an absolutely hilarious name, and I do apologize if anyone's second name is actually called Giblets. For, for some reason, it just rolls off the tongue hilariously, doesn't it? You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way. And ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Jean. Hey, I don't know if I told you, but I hate Suto. And this is one of those annoying missions where Suto appears a lot. 
So what we're going to do first then is speak to any three random civilians. It doesn't matter which ones you are, you'll always get the same outcome each time with the first interrogation will go crappy. The next interrogation with the second person will get a little better and then talking to the third one will give us a name which we can use. So go ahead, speak to any three random civilians. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. No, Hey, uh, hey, tough guy, we're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. Oh, would you, you mind watching my bike for just a minute? I, I, I Just keep an eye on it. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, you know, okay, sure. Thank you so much, your lifesaver. Don't let anything happen to my bike. Uh, where's my bike? I asked you to watch my bike and you just let someone take it? Where'd it go? That was an expensive bike. Oh my god, I, I swear to god it was right here just a second ago. I, I, we, we were right here, I don't even know. <laughs> my mommy gave me that bike after my dad. Hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. I, I didn't actually mean to uh, talk to that guy with the bike. I thought he was going to be helpful. But uh, as it turns out, no, he wasn't. So, <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do now is speak to Blorgo. And, of course, all we're going to say is uh, we're just going to ask him about um, Dr. Jibby's, Dr. Giblet's location. We're going to say that Michael Taint has sent us, and then he's going to tell us where to go. The old, uh, high on meth, Zoidberg, as it were. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know, why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing! Now buy something or beat it, buster! Ah, oh, that piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! Uh, look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new high on life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Lodge is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead! Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S-rank interrogation! Ding, ding. Oh, yeah. Right, so, where we're gonna head now is to the left. We're basically going to where we got the Fallout Doesn't uh, Let You Do This achievement. And we're heading back to the slums. So, of course, the red guys... We, we're gonna hurt the red guys' feelings. Sorry about that, redness. But if you're blue... You are poo. No, wait, that's crap. If you're blue, you are smoking cold. Nah. Anyway, we can just keep heading straight down to the slums, but be prepared as we get to the end for a big fight with the ants, and there will be a big chunky monster as well. And of course, the normal uh, sort of yellow aliens that we've been shooting as well. So, gonna be quite a few uh, battles to grab here, so shoot them straight away and let's get this thing going. Can't be asked waiting for the talking, sorry, pal.
Oh boy, it's time to throw everything at us now, aren't they? There's quick agile creatures and the big chunky monsters. Fantastic. Right, so of course, what we're going to do is just head up. Uh, there is no glob shot, I don't think. I think we're just going to jetpack our way over. Indeed we are. Couple more enemies to kill on the docks here. Couple of crab monsters, but not the other ones. Thank God. on the right trail if they're coming at us this hard. Come on, let, let's get to this high on life place. And when they're dead and buried, they're all done and gone. We can just now head forward. So jetpack again, obviously make sure to wait until the jetpack is at full fuel capacity. Uh, nope, that's just green gloop. Obviously that's apparently poison. A lot of poison in this game. Hmm. We're gonna swing low. Sweet. No, I'm not even going to finish that sentence. Sorry to all my English friends, but I cannot finish or ever sing that song ever again. Um, so we are going to be coming up close to the High on Life store. We do have, as usual, just a couple more fights left to grab. So as soon as we get to the other side here... Oh yes, you know what's coming. If it does feel weird. But it's going to feel even weirder when we start having to kill people now. There is a Luglox chest to the left on the floor if you wanted to grab that one. Otherwise, shoot the crap, shoot your shots. Again, there will be another couple of these crab agile quick monsters. So, again, if you want to avoid them, what I end up doing is just flying on top of one of the roofs of these buildings. And, you know, you are pretty much squared away. Okay, maybe I was being a little bit cautious there. Um, I literally could have just jumped down and killed them both, but, uh, you know, but it'd be safe than sorry. I don't like being hurt. It hurts my feelings. Little Luglock's chest there if you want. Um, otherwise, we are just going to keep heading forward. And as we get to the other side, again, there will be another couple of those quick, agile crab monsters. Plus, there is a sniper around as well. And a couple of the normal enemies that we've been killing. And here we are then, we have made, we have made it to the store. Oh man, do you remember midnight, midnight launches? I used to love working in Game and Game Station with midnight launches. Oh, it used to be the absolute, it used to be the absolute shiz. Super cool. And then of course the internet's taken over, Game Station is no more, and Game pretty much tries to rip you off on everything. Pretty much like um, every game store in the world. So what we're going to do, you can speak to all of the employees if you want to. We're just going to go ahead, cut some time down, and just go ahead and speak to the manager here. 
old, uh, he generally looks like a cream puff banana peanut head. Uh, but we are going to speak to him. Basically, we're just going to ask him again, obviously, about Dr. Giblets. He's going to, uh, we're going to say, where can we find Dr. Giblets? And uh, basically just ask him again. And then he'll say something about us being aggressive. And then we can just exit the conversation before two new characters try to be all like, uh, 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 uh. Try to intimidate us as well. I tried to say there. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just Nice give up. day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like Sorry, boys, if you're going to try and intimidate me, I've got to check out your junk sizes if you, uh... If you're more hung like a banana, then you can intimidate all you want. But if you're hung like a peanut, get the hell out of here. <laughs> I ain't being intimidated and being threatened by no guy who's hung like a tiny little peanut. Anyway. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? <laughs> So what we're going to see is a little tragedy then, a, a um, tragic tramping did happen. Now this is, you, you know what, This it, it's actually mad, this this occurs way too much. You know, which is sort of, it's it's in a funny game and it's all, you know, there. But um, yeah, this stuff like this happens way too much. And it is bloody painful, because it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen, but uh, anyway, we are going to grab these mag boots. And I know there's loads of people who've been affected by stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we've grabbed the mag boots. What we can do now, anytime you see that the, these metal panels on the wall, you should get an achievement as well. Mine just takes a while to unlock. Uh, you can start, uh, yeah, start walking on them. So you can jetpack your way over to them. Just as long as you press the left bumper, you just act as if you're walking on nothing. There are going to be a couple of drones that are going to attack us here, especially as we fly over to the other side. So as soon as we fly out over the other side, there will be two or three drones to attack us. Be careful! You were a lot scarier when you were further away! How many of these assholes do they have? A million miles long, I mean, Jesus. So, two ways we can get in. If we fly straight ahead, there is another set of metal walls. There is also one on the ground if you need to, as I almost fall to my death once again. Uh, but basically, we are done with this area now. Um, we just kind of have to return home. Uh, it's not too far. But there will be, as we get to the docks on the other side, there's going to be some more enemies to kill. So, uh, well, you know the drill. I'm sure you know the drill by now. We're almost four hours in. Okay, thank you. Come again. As a poon, as a pima pilot would once say. So, what we can do now is just start, basically start heading towards the directional D-pad. Uh, there are no enemies here, so you're all good. So, head to the left. Uh, there's going to be a couple of metal things that we can just um, use in just a sec. We're going to jetpack our way over here. And then what we're going to do, or what we're going to attempt to do, we should have enough jetpack fuel to just jump over to the left here. 
and start flying basically towards the up. That's where we're going. Up and out. Up and at them. Up and at them. So, uh, in fact, I think we're heading back down, actually. I think I did just go the wrong way. Sorry, I do apologize about that. Uh, so, if you start heading down, that is the way we're actually going, of course. Uh, there will... There may be an enemy here for you. I don't think there was for me. No. No, so you should be fine. So, yeah, apologies about that. I did actually just end up going the wrong way. Uh, so, <laughs> I went down. I went up instead of down. So, just keep heading forward again. Obviously, anytime you see these metal... Uh, metal pieces of walls you can just fly straight through and as we get here instead of taking the long way back we can now just head through to the portal straight home where there's going to be lots of conversations and we're going to end up back through the portal back to mayor clug's melon head office and it's the tiny pp peanut boys hello we've been observing you hope that don't rustle your jimmies none because newsflash buckos we're on your side we'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier we didn't realize who we were dealing with you'll have to forgive us and we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you it's the only way we know how to talk our wives hate us we represent magistrate clug nugman maybe you've heard of him he's certainly heard of you Here's the skinny slim, the Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job, says you're already helping him, says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we, that's what we want to do, you know? But it's uh, just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. God, your head is fantastic. What a goddamn sizable head. Uh, I bet you're better than your sons, ain't you? Anyway, once we have the warp disc, which is, of course, what we need, not officially, of course, according to the mayor, we can now, um, well, we can now go ahead and go and find him. Now, it's worth noting that you can't actually get to this location before picking up the warp drive, so don't think you can save half an hour there by uh, going straight to it. So we're going to head down to the second one, click the Zephyr Paradise, and then we're going to go to the Upper Valley. Of course, it's all marked up for us right there. And we're going to activate the pole, head through. Now, of course, uh, again, obviously, later on with all the achievements, we're going to be uh, going through a lot of these portals. This is basically Portal 3 without any of the Portal 3-ness in it, <laughs> basically. Uh, I was trying to think of a posher word, and I couldn't get it. So get ready for a fight, though, straight away. Yeah, you did.
So yeah, those quick agile crab monsters who shoot, uh, yeah, they can, they, they pinch a bit as well, uh, as well as coming towards you at a fantastic speed. Uh, right, more things are happening, more arguments are happening. Uh, we, we know, we're not coming too far now from Dr. Jibs, uh, which is always nice. But of course, we're going to have to get through a couple of more fights before that happens. Press the left button to get rid of any adverts that may appear, or commercials. Um, so there's going to be some guys all over the shop here. So, again, do your thing. Watch out for any snipers as soon as you see them. Hide behind something, or shoot them straight away. A couple of war bases will appear, as well as the fast and agile crab monsters. So, if you think, and when you are done, remember there's going to be three warp crystals that we can grab here. Uh, there could be even more, but I do believe that I end up just grabbing potentially two or three. So, we grab the first one here, basically close to where we've actually got to go. Um, there is another one, just the opposite side in the greeny gloop. Remember where the two enemies were telling each other to, F you, no F you, no F you. And that's where we're heading right now. And I think this one, where we are, this one to the left of us potentially as well. So either two or three in this section. Uh, either if, uh, either if, either or. Once you've grabbed at least two, we can just uh, keep heading forward and getting on out of here. And yes, once again, be prepared for another fight. <laughs> again, same sort of enemies are still around. The Jasons, the Crab Agile Monsters, and the normal pieces of crud that we've been killing. God, I hate those fuckers!
Next time, don't join the G3. All right, so the boy's coming up not too far away now. So we have to make it over there. We cannot make it over just by jetpacking. What you need to do, the rock that is directly to the right of us right now, uh, that is where we need to put one of Gus's discs in. Um, so that rock right there in front of us. No, don't do what I do. This this stupid. Don't be don't be a stupid like me. I wanted to show you just for comedic effect of how moronic that I sometimes can be. Uh, so I do apologize. <laughs> my bad, my bad. There it is. So the rock that I said was directly in front of us. That little rock crystal is. Um, you can literally just left bumper it. Sorry, I, I messed it up again there. I did say we had to guss it. We don't need to do that. We can just keep left bumper in our way all the way over. And that is beautifully done. So uh, there is a dying moplet. Again, what you can do is listen to his whole story. Or you can just put him out of his misery. Uh, incredibly, even more, three more stabs to the face and he's still putting his hand up. That's just damn impressive, bruh. Right, so, now, sadly, we've made it, but we still haven't found Mr. Doctor, Mr. The Giblet Face. Um, Suto does, unfortunately, appear and we have to do, as it turns out, what it's, it's basically a pointless investigation. Right, so the three things that we basically need to scan in this area. If you press up on the D-pad, um, it'll come up in blue with what you need to scan. So as you can see directly in front of us, we scan the desk. We're going to scan some shoes. And then if you um, press up on the D-pad again, straight in front of you is some more things. A little bit of conversation is going to happen there with our detective, uh, Jason Frost. David, <laughs> David Frost, sorry. I, I suppose only British people get that. A touch of Frost. Classic, uh, classic David Jason. Yeah. Anyway, once we've done that, he's going to open the next door for us, which is right in front of us. Doctor Giblets and all his men. Huh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right then. Let's let's keep moving. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh shit. Sorry. Wrong bit. Wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detective. So same thing in this room then, we're going to scan just another three items. Uh, so if we head up onto this little ramp here, just to the left of us, we're going to scan this, um, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. It's got a human hand for a foot, like a pipe. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Uh, living experiment, yeah, that'll probably do it. Uh, so if we head to the left, um, basically the, the opposite side here, there's going to be something else that we can scan as well. There she blows, and then if we turn just behind us, again, keep pressing up on the D-pad if you're unsure, but there's going to be a set of fans, or what looks like fans, but again, I've got no idea what that's supposed to be. Uh, drone experiments, okay. So that'll be the third one, and then we've just got one more room left to grab, or left to do, before we can finally hit the giblet square in the niblets. Thanks for showing me this. Up. Right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door. So once the door has finally opened, where we uh, scanned the first item, there's gonna be a couple more left in here. So again, it's going to be this thing, uh, this bunch of whatever that is right there, a bunch of graffiti on the wall. To the left of us is going to be some trophies, and then we're going to scan whatever it is through the window. He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly... Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really get... Oh shit, that's a g Gatlian. A regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblet's must have used that modified... Right, so I'm heading towards this door, but this door doesn't actually open. We still can't go anywhere, basically, until Suto shuts the hell up, man. But um, me, I was thinking we were going through this door, and as it turns out, we actually were not at all. Uh, so what we need to do is head out the first room that we came. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and encrypting the password on his security systems. 
Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. Yeah, the game's great, but the dialogue does go on a bit. Drags out a little bit, doesn't it? So, anyway, head out through the door that we came. And then what we need to do is basically jetpack our way up. If you don't make it here, just jump on those little sort of um, containers or whatever they are in front of us. And you should have just enough fuel then to get your ass up. So make it, make it, make it work. Oh yeah, it's just easier that way, isn't it? So jump up onto this little, it kind of looks like a ship or something. And there's going to be an entrance somewhere. Eventually, it's not going to be on the roof. So don't even think about going on the roof. There it is, there's the entrance. So, once it starts then, tricky boss fight this one. One of the trickiest in the world. In the game. Holy shit! I think that's Dr. Giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. Alright, let me add him. <laughs> ah, see, I was just joking with you. <laughs> we like to have fun here. Uh, here's my headshot. So, uh, yep, yeah, that will pretty much do it, but it is not as easy as that, of course. So remember the first survival mode that we've done with uh, Douglas? This is basically that, except it's a, it is a little bit trickier just because, of course, we've got more enemies, uh, more trickier enemies than we were going through the Douglas fight. So basically... Um, paranoia is, uh, is basically, th uh, it's thriving with old giblet head right here. So, there's going to be a couple of crab monsters that would attack us first. Uh, and just normal, uh, normal aliens and normal things that we've been killing. So, of course, just keep moving around. Um, you can uh, glue yourself up on the wall if you want to, if you, that makes it easier. Of course, you can jetpack around as well. Um... But obviously, as soon as you kill any enemies, make sure to be grabbing their shields. Because this fight, it lasts for about five or six minutes. Uh, but it does feel like it does go on longer as well. So, just keep at it. And remember to just keep picking up any shields that you come across. Any enemies that you kill, grab the shields. You just killed an enemy. This is fine. I expected you to defeat something. But you will lose the war. Is, is that it? Hmm. If you're hearing this, it means you made it past my first onslaught. Perhaps you were my son, Primothy. Yes. Yes, I was wrong. Now then, for this next wave, what I end up doing is basically just sticking myself and chilling on these walls. All it is is those little merc bug crab looking things. Uh, so obviously they can't reach you up here. Uh, again, just being a, you know, a bit too probably a bit cautious. Um, but these things can attack you like hell, and they can whap your shield down pretty quickly if you're sort of um, consumed, if you're outnumbered by these things. So that's why I just stay up here. Chill, kill, Bill. Another wave, no problem. How appropriate, Krippus, that after all those years stuck behind mountains of paperwork, you finally got to get your head like you wanted. I really am proud of you, but you picked the wrong dirt to get dirty with. I'm bad with analogies. Die, you creepy crawly bastard! Krubus, could this actually be about the time that I slept with your wife, and then convinced her to divorce you and marry me instead, and then I made her do an experiment for me and she died in that process, and you swore revenge against her for the rest of the day? That? I think I can probably not, but I just want to make sure. I know you can't tell me because I'm dead, but soon you can tell me. In hell! The good thing about bugs is nobody gives a shit if you kill them. Okay, 
I, th I think that's probably it. All right, if you're still alive, you can't beat Krubus. Krubus was too weak. I would have killed him. No, oh shit, that's Gatoro. No, feed me some of that. It gives, more it gives me energy back to do more cool shit. Who killed me? Was it you, Douglas? You never told me your last name. Now he thinks it was Douglas? So as you can see, just on the left by the massive platform in the middle, there is some uh, flowery Gatlins, whatever they're bloody called as well, if you need some for trick shots. Otherwise, this third wave is going to consist of more normal enemies, plus big, one big massive chunky boy, the hunky chunky boy. So just be careful. Again, just try and kill him as quick as you can before going for the rest of them. And uh, that's pretty much Golden Nugwart. <laughs> So make sure you get yourself here to the middle platform. So as you can see, um, any pl new platforms that raise, you're going to have to go over to the other side. As you can see, green toxic goo will start appearing and platforms will raise up and down and, the, and there will be more warp bases, which of course they can still shoot you from afar, but obviously try not to be inside the green gooey gas thing. Kill all the Jasons as quickly as you can, otherwise it is just a couple of new enemies for now. Again, Dr. Jib Jib's uh, thinking that everyone's trying to kill him. How is Barry Nipulon still holding in there? I knew it would be tough. It's one thing to serve in the G3, but it's another altogether to fold it in body of cardiology. I really did respect you when I was alive. So, a few snipers and few normal enemies, so uh, just try and obviously get to each platform as quick as you can. If you need to sort of get away and um, get some health up, remember there is the, there's the sniper. But there is of course the zip rope at the very top in the middle of the room, so if you just need to fly away and keep flying back and forth, be my guest to get some health. Right, the next warp base, I believe, is going to have a couple of those crab monsters. So that's what I do, just fly to each platform. And the two crab monsters that will shoot will appear in the middle. So just be very careful of that one. One's going to appear in front of us. There's that boy. So we can kill him dead. And then if we look behind us, there's the other two. And there we are then, everybody. You've done it. Congratulations. So that is Dr. Giblets. We thought we were going to have an easy time, but of course we didn't. And that is that. Now we are going to go for the next Dr. Gurgula hint. It is in this room after beating Giblets' minions. Now, what you did see there was just a little bit of an edit skip. Uh, I basically finished the video at one point and started again, and it just put me here. So what you're going to need to do, you've got to come this way anyway to escape the lab, but once we get here into the laboratory bit, you'll know exactly where we are, make sure to interact with this desktop laboratory because this is Dr. Gurgula's hint 
and that is the technically the third location but it is four out of five so as long as you've got that one now we can head out and we're just gonna head through into the door which is now open uh Gamanchus may appear on screen but we're just gonna grab let's do it but let's do it is all uh i mean bruh he is all mashed up baby he's all kinds of mashed up so what we can do we can just interact here with the button on the wall and uh Man, Sudo, I want to rip that mustache off you and shove that hat right down your your neck. I suppose that's what you got. Uh, but anyway, like I said, Garmanchus may appear on screen. If he doesn't, uh, as soon as this uh, warning message pops up, the portal door should be open. And away we go! Wow, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. How'd it go? Come on over, let's bow wow! You, uh, you seen Merv? Uh, no. Uh, why? Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah. He's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix him. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... So, let's go ahead and turn in our bounty 5,000. <laughs> that was a, a, an attempt at Gene's voice there. That was just awful, I know. Anyway, stick the bounty in. Okay. And that is a grande. So we've just got a few. Well, we've only got two bosses left to beat, but we've got kind of a. It's not a weird thing, but basically we're just having a. The game goes off in another little direction for a bit. We're going to do something else other than bounty fighting for the time being. No, sir. I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So uh, it's pretty embarrassing. All right. Here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it, since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in. So, unfortunately then, Lizzie has been kidnapped. So, we're gonna set down everyone else. Everyone's just gonna have a nice chill with, uh, with Gene and his incredibly sized powerlifting gut right there. Uh, unfortunately, he hasn't got those powerlifting legs anymore. But, uh, anyway, once we have done here, we are gonna head outside. And what we're also going to be doing is having a look at the starfish is born we are going to be getting it from here we're going to head to the left and what we're going to do is have a look straight to the tv and again providing you have done all the starfish is born stuff up to this point uh globo oh but oh but head right here should appear on screen and the achievement the starfish is born will unlock eventually i mean kenny's still talking but uh, there we go that's what we want then a starfish is born so again providing you've done everything correctly up to this point a starfish is born will unlock and that is oh well that's just fantastic news so what we're going to do then is head basically back to the slums we go in past the old um viagra blue pill looking thing whatever that was actually supposed to be and we can just head all the way down but of course be prepared for Oh, in fact, no, we're not doing any fighting this time. Getting a bit ahead of myself. Not doing much fighting this time. Just keep heading down. Broken leg guy still here. See you later. <laughs> you, you'd never judge me, right? I mean, we're such close partners. At this. So, yeah, the game kind of takes a little breather here. There's not a lot going on. We're just going to basically start heading all the way to the left. So, we're going to fly down. Keep flying down and start heading to the left. Basically, to the docks. 
So remember when we got to the High on Life store a little bit earlier on, we're basically just heading straight back in that direction. So again, you're just going to obviously cross the river uh, however way you want to do it. That's fine, but just keep crossing the river until we get to uh, the docks and Space Applebee's. You know, the galleon we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that, that, that the others don't know, and it's, a, it's nothing too crazy. I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Twig is working today? Right, so here we are then at Space Applebee's. Now, once again then, there is a highly missable achievement that we can grab. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to speak to L... I mean, that's a hell of a... We'll call him BP. You should know what BP stands for if you're looking at his head. Um, I won't say any more than that. But anyway, he's going to show us to a table. We're going to have a conversation. The wait is going to pop over a couple of times. You can choose any dialogue options that you want. But this is going to go on for quite a few minutes as Kenny sort of... Uh, well, he makes a glaring admission. But, 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 but he does it like that. So, uh, you know, it may, it, may, it, may, it may take a while. Sorry, that was that was an impression of Kenny. I'm not trying to take the mick out of anyone with a stutter. Oh my God, now I feel bad. I'm sorry. Really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing. But would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just you know, it, it's gonna weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. You, you, you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? Uh, okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm gonna be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd he been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but where, where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and, well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and, well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. You no, know, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something. You know. Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka 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 choo choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. You betcha. I'm gonna get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So. I led the G3 right to Gatlas. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know, but they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Let's Do It survived. 
somehow the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do you, do you see my problem, right? Like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit. To be fair, this whole part is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Uh, but this is where the highly missable achievement is going to come in. By the way, if any waiter ever speaks to me like that, I will... I'd probably end up on Kenny's side right there. Here comes the, the Num Num Express. Num 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 Num. What the... What is that about? As Lizzie is getting a bit much. Now, everyone will know about that. Everyone's been there at some point with an over-exuberant other partner. So make sure to pay the bill then. Before we leave, make sure to pay the bill by pressing the left bumper there on the receipt. That will get you eating good in the neighborhood achievement. If you end up running out without paying it, you will miss the achievement and you'll have to get, uh, you'll have to start the game all the way to get to this point. So make sure to pay the bill before you leave. Otherwise, there's going to be a whole ton of enemies that are going to appear. We're just gonna make an absolute break for it. So don't bother trying to shoot anyone. Gamandrus is sending a whole Heap of people, or aliens, or things, whatever the hell you want to call them. So all you're going to do is just keep going. I end up just heading off to the right here. Uh, just keep sprinting. Absolutely keep sprinting. So what we're going to do is head up onto the docks. There will be a hunk, one of those big massive boys that will appear. Uh, but all we're going to do is actually start heading basically up and then to the right. Uh, we're just getting out of here. No, no other place to go. The game's going to tell us to go around for some particular reason. Um, but all we're actually going to do is just head up and to the right. I don't know why the game told us to do that, but uh, there we go. So, you should know where you are by now. Uh, this is kind of the exit, or the entrance, the exit. So, keep making a break for it for now. You won't get chased here. But when we get out of the slums on the other side of the gate, there's going to be another whole bunch of enemies that we are going to ignore and sprint straight past. Come on. Pip's just having a quick look here. Um, now remember, of course, you can always, if you are struggling for something, you can always upgrade, uh, buy some upgrades from the uh, Mr. Keeps Pawn and Cell Shop, or whatever it bloody is. Uh, but you can always buy upgrades for your other guns and attach those little upgrades to them. Um, that's re Just remember, if you are sort of struggling with some parts or whatever, that's always another option, as long as you've been... I mean, again, you should have pretty much plenty of money, even without collecting any lug locks chests. Uh, but just head straight for your house now. There will be a whole bunch of guys that will appear from absolutely everywhere. So just make a break for your house and you'll be safe as signed. And more dialogue will appear. A lot more minutes. It's all over. Hand over the Gatlians you stole from us. And then let me kill you. Nice and easy. We know, we know everything about you. And we still have two oh so special people who are very worried about you. <laughs> Turn yourself in and nobody has to get hurt. Uh, later, please fire up the warp core. We're leaving. Got it. Hey, don't forget about us. Sure, yeah, take in the sights while we're getting shot at from every direction. You know, now's the perfect time to sightsee. It's not like we haven't seen it. Enough of this fucking city already. Well, well damn, son, that is just not a good look, huh? Uh, anyway, that's a, a nice butt. But what we're going to do is we've got to pick up our weapons now. If you're wondering what's happening, um, we do need to pick up our weapons. And then we can interact with the warp crystal after the next bit of dialogue. Uh, but yes, so we just need to pick it for some reason. That took me a while to figure out. So pick up your weapons, bit more dialogue, and then we can interact with the warp crystal in the kitchen, and we will warp away. That's pretty much the whole point of the warp crystal, of course. Make that up. You mean scramble the warp? Fine, yes, scramble the warp. Bounty hunter, bring me to the warp core. Listen carefully and enter these exact coordinates. 862135 dash. Whoa, what are you saying? Lowercase x dash. W W capital both. 
B4, uh, 5, 6, 7, C back on. down is capital, uh, 5, 8, 9, 2, dash, 1, 7, 4, 2, 2, 2, 6, 5, 3, 4, 4, Fuck, dash, it's a long eight, coordinates. Nine, this is why fuck, no one types uh, space coordinates in seven, manually. Fuck it, 5, 5, 5, that's right, of the 4, 3, dash, 2, 1, 1, 8, okay. 7, Got 4, it. scramble time. And here we go! What could the G3 even doing here? Fuck! That was close. Right, so that's it then. We're safe and sound. Game over. We win. Let's just take a uh, just take a look at this little uh, dead guy right here. Uh, apparently, Gene just <laughs> he won't stop talking, will he? And again, continue, he must have a hell of a butt mind to uh, be sitting in that same spot completely all day. Uh, so we'll just have a little look at this guy. Uh, wow, that's uh, a fantastic uh, uni bro. That's all I got on that guy. He used to go to a dentist as well. Well, he could have if he didn't, you know, get shot and die and stuff right there. Right, so here we are then. This is the Gatlian's home planet before it was destroyed. Um, so there's going to be a little bit of conversation again. We can't go too far. Um, so after the conversation is done, what we can do is actually just head back into the house. Go ahead and speak to Jean. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh... Don't get all depressed about it. We still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Strawberry lips controls. Right, mate, you've done well. Grab yourself a slice of Gatlian pizza. And, uh, oh, in fact, you can just take some of the mouldy one that's still been in your bedroom. And then you can just sort of shuffle them over, take a cheeky nappy nap. And now we can finally begin with the next bounty. Old Nipple Nipple on. Nippulon. All right, you're finally up. Okay, let's get back to it, I guess, you know? I, I, I hope Gene has a lead on Lizzie. Let's go. Yeah, look who finally decided to wake up. You know how late it is? Because I don't. There's no sun on this dead rock of a planet. By the way, I got you a little sum sum. A new suit upgrade. Extra overshield. You're welcome. Let's get to business. I've got something you like. You can breathe easy. I'll get right to it. I tracked down Lizzie's bio signal. Oh, that's great. So, so she's... She's alive. Don't worry. But she's on the move. Probably on a ship, so we have to act fast or we'll lose her. If you're ready, just step through the portal. To... Oh, wait. Actually, I forgot. We still need to get Lizzie, of course. So head straight through the portal. Again, it's going to be a lot of conversation. Uh, dialogue options do not matter. Either way, uh, Lizzie, spoiler alert, will come back with this because again, Tweeg has like, I don't know, he's got like magic mushrooms sticking out of his head, and his eyeballs are bigger than his nose. He doesn't even have a nose. I, I, uh, <laughs> I can't even tell you what kind of creature this is. But humans and aliens pretty much do not go together. Okay, so if you ever see an alien, don't try to make love to it. That's uh, the best bit of advice that I can give you, to be fair. On this trip, I wasn't looking for anything serious. I just wanted to get laid. But even that turned out to be some weird fucking Hellraiser puzzle. Oh, shut up. Don't blame this on me. There's plenty of ways you could have figured out how to use my equipment, so to speak. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, yeah, thank God. You came just in time to save me. Me is who you came to save. Thank you. Fuck your sister, dude. Woo. Cuckoo. Girls, am I right? Love is tough. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, I don't know. We were a little worried about you. God, everyone needs to chill out. 
When have you smoked? What, you're a smoker now? Wait, what is it? Camels? Marble? 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 Marbleos? Marble? Marble? Marbleos? Marbleos? I don't know. What's it to you? What do you want? Uh, no shit. Yeah, we're yelling at each other. You want a fucking medal for being able to figure out when two people are fighting? Okay, Einstein. Hey, you want us to throw you a parade or something for figuring out the most obvious shit? Okay, honestly, now it seems like the two of you are getting along. Yeah, that's the problem. Sometimes we're happy together. Yeah, if we just hated each other all the time, fucking, I wouldn't be here. And you'd be playing some rock star game, you fucking asshole. <laughs> But we love each other. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought this would help. Just us getting away together. My old life's fucked. Everyone else is doing their own thing. I just wanted... I wanted to bang someone on a rocket Winnebago in space. So sue me. Me too, Lizzie. Your body terrifies me in every way imaginable, but... Yeah, me too. <clears throat> what? Oh, yeah? How? Yeah, how about you just let me handle this on my own? You already decided to become a weird alien killing expert. Don't strain yourself trying to be a dating expert, too. Um, yeah, no offense, but you're kind of butting in, dweeb. Hey, only I can talk to them that way. And look, I'm sorry I dragged you out here. Really, I am. I know you didn't want to. But I just, I wanted to know for sure if, if we worked or not. Oh yeah, it's cool, I forgive you. I just think, oh, oh really? Even after forcing you to leave with me? Yeah, okay, it's fine, yeah. Did you know I almost sold you out to the G3? They were offering like a lot of pesos to find out where you were. And that would have been way worse. What the fuck, Twig? You piece of shit. Wait, what? Y y you're joking, right? No, I really almost did it. Like, I had my phone out and everything. If Lizzie hadn't dragged me on this trip, I probably would have. I'm not good. I'm a shithead. Lizzie shouldn't be dating me. Gene was right. And it's a little fucked up because he was being a misogynist, but he was actually right. I do suck, and I'm fine with it. That's just who I am, and I love it. So fuck off, love it. Sue me if you don't like it, but good luck finding a judge who'll take that case, or a lawyer, fuck it, you're a fucking idiot. Well, Jesus, I was about to do a, a whole thing about how we should take a step back and slow things down, but you know what? Fuck you, Tweak. Yeah, yeah, Tweak. fuck you. Hey, thanks for coming to get me, seriously. It, it means a lot. Tut, 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 Mr. Naughty Tweak. You can't sell us out to the G3, you son of a magic mushroom head. Well, apparently that's the end of that. Nobody cries, everyone's happy. We've, well, we've rescued Livy, uh, Livy, Lizzie, and we've saved the day, apparently. Hooray, aren't we just fantastic? Uh, but that was, that was a hell of a relationship, by the way. I A goose! While I fix Liz to it. Did you uh, know how much firepower this guy's packing? He's got to be at least ten times as powerful as any of you other Gatlians. Wait, you really think you're going to be able to fix him? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have them all patched up by the time you get back. Y you're serious? That, that, that soon? Yeah. Don't worry about it, kid. Your friend's going to be just fine. Old Papa Gene watched a bunch of GooTube tutorials, and now he knows his way around cybernetics. That's, that's, that's great. It's, it's just... What? You don't sound too happy. You know how hard I've been working to save this guy? Fuck. Whew, okay. I guess it's now or never, Bounty Hunter. Can you set the other guns down on the table for me, real quick? Hey, everybody. I, I, I need to come clean about... Uh, well, sh this is way tougher than I thought. Spit it out! Yeah, spit it out! No, I, I, I can't. I, you're gonna hate me. Dad, we, we don't have secrets. We're a family! Well, hold on. I might decide to hate him. It's okay, Kenny. You can tell us. Oh, just fucking say it. Okay, fine. If you don't hear it from me, you're just gonna hear it from Les Duet when he wakes up. Okay, what if I were to tell you that I'm the reason that G3 invaded Gatlas and enslaved our race? We'd be mad. I, I don't think I could get over it. Yeah, don't say that. You know what? It would really suck to hear you say Kenny, that. Kenny, come on. That's not true, right? No, no, no. That would be impossible. Are you doing a bit? Okay, well, there's, there's more to the story than just oh, a... fuck. He's scrambling for words. It really is true. 
He really did cause the downfall of our civilization. Kitty, how? That doesn't even make sense. How can it be your fault? I left Gatlas before the G3 invaded. But, but how could that be possible? We didn't even have interstellar travel on Gatlas yet. I ran into an alien smuggler who crashed his ship on our planet, and I was going nowhere, and, and, and he took me with him on these adventures, and it was supposed to be, you know, this fun, awesome thing, and, but then we got mixed up doing the wrong job with the wrong crowd. Garmantua was in the G3, and I accidentally led them right to Gatlas. It all happened so fast, I, I thought they killed Les Do It. I, I told him everything as I watched the light leave his eyes. I didn't know he I didn't know he was gonna survive. You mean you didn't think you'd ever have to tell us the truth? No, 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 that's not it. I, I... <sighs> This is all sorts of fucked up, Kenny. I don't even know what to say. See? I'm not the biggest fuck up here. Not now, dude. Everyone, please! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know what I was doing. We're so close to taking down the G3. Let's just... Oh, okay, let's just pretend you're not the reason everyone we know and love is dead, yeah? Sure, easy, done. What's next on the agenda? Forgive Garmantuous too? Come on, that, that, that's not fair. Don't fight. I'm sure we can all figure this out. No, creature, he can't just drop that bomb on us and expect everything to be the same. I, I'm sorry. Look, I hate to be this guy, but we're running out of time. Nipulon may not stay where he is for long, so I know things aren't... The ideal, but uh... yeah, 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 yeah. We'll finish the job. And then you're out of our lives, Kenny. Come on, Sweezy, you don't mean that. Enough. Just pull yourselves together for this mission, at least. You're professionals. You're bounty hunters. Act like it. Mm-hmm. Fine. Huh. Okay, yeah. Gather everyone up. It's time to get back on track. Nipulon just flew back into his drug lounge on Puerto Rico. I mean. I'm not being funny, but if there's a chance that Les Do It may survive, you don't actually need to tell. Kenny didn't actually need to tell his Gatlian friends that at all. So it's going to be a bit awkward for this last bounty, because everyone's pissed at Kenny, but they do do some fantastic impressions of him. So let us do it then. Nipulon, you can already tell why his name's that, just by the, um, by the, uh, you'll see, you'll see. If you missed it on the bounty, on the bounty bit picture there, for some reason, he's got a hell of an outfit on him, but his nipples are poking through. I don't know if he's just mega proud. I don't know if he's won awards for them or what. Um, but anyway, Nipulon it is. Um, <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're just going to have a little argument amongst ourselves while we, as the silenced hero, sort of stands around and chills out for five. Uh, there are going to be some greebles or greebles, whatever the hell they're called. Now remember, for the bounty forum, you need to kill, I believe, at least 30. I'm pretty sure you have to kill 60 as well. So if you want... Now, I'm only saying if you want, you can stand around here uh, just killing these. I'm only saying if you want, again, because at the time of this recording again, some enemies, after you finish the game, may not appear. Um, so... And it's, and it's hard to tell which ones, because some enemies haven't appeared for some people, some enemies ha have appeared for some people. It's a bit up in the air at the minute, so that is um, completely up to you if you want to stand around killing these. That's why I end up killing these. Uh, I end up getting to at least 30. And they start crawling after you anyway, so you might as well just kill them here. And then you've got to not, you've got a choice here. You can either go into the saloon, which I'm doing now, and you can have a little talk things over. Dialogue options and choices do not matter at this point. Or if you don't care about doing this, you can actually just head straight for the um, sort of main area and find the goop, goop, greeny gloop salesman again. You don't have to do this, creature. No, no, I insist. Kenny doesn't deserve any of this hate, right, bounty hunter? Well, thank you, but I, I don't I don't know if that's true. Yeah, you didn't know what you were doing. Just because he's an idiot doesn't mean he gets off scot-free. Yeah, people died. We don't have a home anymore. No, no, stop it! I mean, let's be civil here. We're friends. Are we? Most of my friends don't trigger global genocides. Well, I don't know if that's the best way to phrase it. Oh, yeah? How would you phrase it, then? Lightly assisting a global genocide? I didn't know. I, I didn't know what would happen. Oh, fuck off. Like, that makes it any better. But he's also trying to stop it. He's trying to make things right. We all are. It's not, not like he has much choice. You think he's doing this because it's the right thing to do, Bounty Hunter? 
Thank you, bounty hunter. At least you have my back. I have your back too, Kenny. Yeah, thanks, creature. Yeah, but we don't. Yeah, we still hate you, Kenny. Creature, this isn't getting us anywhere. No, it's going perfectly. It has to be going perfectly, otherwise I'll be sad. Then be sad, creature. Tough shit. You can just blame Kenny if you want, like we're doing. It's pretty easy. Can we just bail on this little group therapy session we got going on here and get back to the bounty, which is more important? Honestly, I'm right there with you. you know, this, is, this is a lost cause. No, it's not a lost cause. Is it, Bounty Hunter? Yes, we will. Look, 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 fine. Maybe. Maybe. But let's just deal with Nippalon first, okay? Can we do that? Whatever. Are we done here? Can we go, Bounty Hunter? Well, as you can see, and as you can imagine, that didn't go down too well at all. So, again, you don't have to do that part. Um, I just wanted to see what would happen, really. So now we can head to the goop salesman. There may be a couple of weebles uh, still chilling about. Because <laughs> the, the music is going. Um, or I think you're going to... Yes, there it is. Look, there he is. Smash you out. There we go. So we've got my uh, 30 greebles kill. Uh, otherwise, what you can do, if you don't really care about it, for now, we can just head in to the main area. Uh, into Dragtown and the gloopy salesman. <laughs> well, you ain't killing that guy. But the gloopy salesman will be to the right of us. And again, there's going to be a bit of conversation and we can't leave until he's finished speaking all his words. Oh, no can do, partner. See, my little gooper trooper here is sick as can be. Looks like he's not going to make it. Truth be told, I don't think I'll ever be gooping anybody ever again. <laughs> Unless we get him that medicine. Medicine? Well, maybe we can help. Oh, no way. Thank you so much. Wow, that's so nice of you. There's a special flower over there on uh, the other side of Terrine Ravine. But good luck getting over there, because that ravine is Terrine through the valley, if you know what I mean. Those damn mac and cheese brothers are taking forever to build the bridge. I mean, if you can get them to do their jobs, then maybe we can get the flower and save my little Goopa. Don't worry, we, we, we got it. We can do right, finally, it appears that he has finished his words. Which is all good. Right, what we're going to do is head right. Now, here are the hilarious, uh, <laughs> the hilarious impressions of these. There's a poll there if you want to head home for any particular reason. Otherwise, what we're going to do is just head straight in front of us now and go ahead and speak to the uh, McCheese Brothers. Mac and Cheese Brothers. <laughs> the hilariously named Mac and Cheese Brothers. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, Buster. What are you doing walking on? This is a live construction site. Very dangerous. You can't, okay, so you're not leaving, are you? You're just fucking barging in. What do you want from us? Hey, we're, we're just trying to look for a way across. Well, tough luck. You, you, you think you own the world? You want to get across the ravine? You got to wait for us mac and cheese brothers, brothers to do our work. Yeah. Yep. Come on, you're telling me there's nothing we can do? No, sorry, pal. Listen. We got our own emotional shit right now. You know, we're, we're on strike until Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers, you know, he comes back from that goddamn saloon in Old Town and he tells us he loves us Mac and Cheese Brothers, his sons. You, you want us to get your dad to love you? All right, listen, we just need to hear that he loves us. That's it. We ain't working until we find out, okay? So what we're going to do then is just head directly into the old saloon, which should be directly behind us. There it is. Now, what you're going to have to do anyway, so basically Papa Mac and Cheese... Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers is his official name. He's going to be on the left-hand side. So you can speak to a couple of these guys and they're just going to say no, no, no. But um, basically the guy with the big hat and the one who looks like a, well, a dad, I guess. An old dad. Uh, he is Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers. Hi, uh, we're trying to find a Papa Mac and Cheese. You best mind your own business, please, for, for everyone's sake. Excuse me, you know where uh, Papa Mac and Cheese might be? Never heard of him. And if I had, I'd keep quiet. Hello, I'm sorry. Ah, there's the boy. This is Papa Mac and John. Now, it doesn't matter whatever you do. Uh, every time you speak to him, he we are going to have to duel with this guy. Now, uh, just to warn you. Well, I say warn. Basically, it's going to be a normal duel. They're going to count down 3, 2, 1. If you do it at the correct time... You will just kill the ant, and then you can speak to Papa Mac and John. That's all good. If you shoot him too early, uh, you will end up in a duel with everyone who will try and start to attack you. Very easy, because everyone will try to attack you in slow motion. Um, so you'll just have to shoot everyone dead, that's all. Uh, makes no difference to the outcome of where we need to go. 
but if you shoot early, you'll have to duel everyone. If you get it right, you'll just speak to Papa Makabaka John. That's some quick trigger finger you got there, fuckface. Oh, th thank you. Is he, is he gonna be okay? Oh yeah, he's dead, but it's fine. We hated him, he's a fucking piece of shit. Anyway, sorry about all that, I was just fucking with you. It's fun to do a whole Big Ten shootout thing, you know? Yeah, we love you. Anyway, I'm Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers. What can I do you for? Oh, uh, we met your kids over at the construction site. Oh, is that so? Yeah, and how are those good-for-nothing pieces of shit doing? They just sent us here to get the confirmation that you love them. That's it. But I hate them. They're shit heels. They ain't fit for the Mac and Cheese Brothers' name. Wait, are you... What? Are, you, you don't really want us to tell them that. Yeah. Tell them I said I hate them, and I hope they all fucking die. Now leave me the fuck alone. Uh, okay. I guess that's that then. You are... You're a tough guy, Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers. Hey! I'm not changing my mind. Seriously, you got... So that's the end of that chapter. Now, even if, as we head back to the Papa Mac and Chuck and Chuck and Chuck and Chuck and Chuck and Brothers, uh, even if you had killed him, the outcome will still be the same. We just need to tell the Papa Mac and Chuck and Mac and Chuck and Daffa Daka Brothers that uh, your daddy loves them. So if you had to kill him, obviously don't tell them that their daddy is dead. We need to say, your dad loves you. They will open up the Rainbow Road for us, Bridge. The Rainbow Road for us, Bridge. The Rainbow Bridge for us. And then we can grab the flower at the end and go all the way back to the Gloob and Poopin salesman. I mean, if if he was literally in the saloon, they could have just walked over and been like, Hey, Dad, do you love us or not? And found out that way. But I suppose it's lucky for us, really, isn't it? It's a win-win for us. Jesus, these guys need therapy. But hey, looks like we can cross now, though. All right, we did it. Let's get this back to the goop salesman and fix up his gooper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, you're back. Oh. Don't pull a muscle, oh, bounty hunter. Later. Jesus. Oh. Oh. Sorry if I'm a little distracted. I, I, I've, I've got a lot on my mind. You know, like all my friends blaming me for genocide. Shit, it's a war face. Okay, in all fairness, uh, you could have probably just avoided that fight and just ran straight to Gloopman here. But, um, well, you know, I sort of took my time with it. So I do apologize for taking my time with that one. Anyway, once you have finished with this bit, we're going to head into the right-hand side, into this little area here. And our little Gloop monster friend is going to gloop us down again. No, you really saved his life. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Oh, that's right. He could shit his goop all over you. Wow, you healed him up so nice. Now, quick word, when we get outside, we're going to head to the left and go all the way down. There will be enemies here, but you can just walk past them. So you can just walk straight past these enemies because we're covered in gloop. They think they're one of us. And for some reason, I decided to ignore my own advice and try to shoot them and try to kill them dead. 
Uh, so my advice is don't take my advice and just walk straight past them until we get all the way to the end. Because, you know, you want to make your life as easy as possible. And apparently I'm not doing that, so I do apologize. So we're heading down. And the woman here is going to say, oh, hi, you're ready for your appointment of something? Um, and I'm not going to bother trying to kill them all because screw that. We're just going to head up the big giant tongue. And now we can just, they won't chase you inside. So do any panic about that. Luckily, they don't panic, uh, chase us inside. Otherwise, from the reception desk, what we're going to do is head left, press the button and head up straight up the elevator. Head up, straight up. Me, 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 me. Keep our cool and sneak our way through. So this is just a nice sort of chill bit as we head over to the waiter and the big two uh, crab, crab ugly Zoidberg monster looking things. That's a hell of a face on you, by the way. Jesus Christ, the dude's never smiled. Anyway, follow the obviously been arrested for being a perv waiter um and what you're gonna see is basically big giant schlongs with smaller schlongs attached to them with humans inside them as they get high that's pretty much the only way i can describe these monsters these mega schlongs i uh, i mean pff. hey i suppose we're all gonna be a little bit jealous because even their smaller schlongs are <laughs> let's be honest they're a lot bigger than ours so uh that's depressing to look at Anyway, a few minutes of conversation before the real gritty nitty McVitty biscuit begins. In atrium, you can see how much of a good time everyone is having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your booth is just past here. You got Holy time. shit. You saw fuckers get you so high. I had a baby one a couple of hours ago. I'm swear I can't even remember my own name. Yeah, I wish they lasted a little longer. You can suck these humans dry way too fast. Wait a minute! Bring me six yeah. more humans! More babies if you got them! I like them best young and easy. And now, <laughs> please follow me to your booth. Hey, waiter! Can I get a few more humans when I get a chance? Of course, sir. That is a lot of triple schlong. <laughs> Any man or woman would be lucky to have you. Me, not so much, however. Uh, but what we're going to do as soon as the um, arrested waiter perv is going to leave, what we're going to do is go ahead, get annoyed, and shoot the crap out of this guy in the head a couple of times until he starts going, <laughs> and then dies. Now... It's the big one. So we've got a lot of fighting to do here. Security as we exit out of here. Now, this part isn't too bad. Um, it is just until we get to the main hall, which is basically, you just keep going straight. Here it is then, the main hall. Lots of warp bases will appear. Two hunks, two of the big massive guys will appear at the same time. So for now, we can just stay on the ground level and fight these smaller guys. Again, obviously, just keep on moving. Never stay in one spot. Obviously, as you're uh, pretty much well aware by now, Anytime an enemy picks a shield up or drops a shield when you kill him, make sure to run straight for that sh uh, shield, little uh, shield pickup. Um, but of course, we're going to be, we're going to have snipers. We're going to have basically every enemy that we've come up against so far. So one of the, when one of the big warp bases does appear, uh, just like the one with the, after the Dr. Giblets boss fight, I pretty much stay um, up the top there and that's easier. Depends what uh, mode you're playing on. Obviously, I'm playing on story mode, so it's easy for me to just sort of camp out like an absolute weanbag up there. If you're playing on a higher difficulty, I'm not sure if it will be as easy to just camp out, out, uh, out there. But again, it depends on what you're playing. Are you fucking serious right now?
So here I go then, now I jump up, because uh, nobody, basically nobody at all jumps up. So it's just easier for you to sort of pinpoint where some enemies are and shoot them dead. And again, it's just a lot easier to avoid these crab monsters and the two hunks that will appear as well. Racing. So yes, that one does take a couple of minutes, but once it is done, make sure to grab the warp crystal from up here as well. Of course, we still need uh, at least, uh, I think it's about, in fact it is, we need 31 warp crystals altogether to get an achievement later on. So of course, always remember to grab the warp crystals. Um, if you want to, you can go ahead and rescue a couple of humans. I don't think it makes too much of a difference yet, but it's always worth Always worth just um, uh, rescuing. That's what I was trying to go. That's the word I'm trying to go for. Always good trying to rescue the humans. You know, we're the human race. We are fighting against the triple schlong monsters. So why not save the dudes and dudettes? Anyway, once this is done, then we still have a lot. We still do have a bit of climbing and quite a bit of fighting to do. So what you're going to need to do if you've uh, gathered all the warp crystal. The warp crystal that you can, and you've gathered all the humans that you can. What we need to do now is start climbing up. And it's not as easy as just climbing up an elevator. No, we have to start doing everything that we've basically known before. So, a bit of everything now. So, again, just if you're not sure where to go, of course, obviously press up on the D-pad as per usual. And then from here, what you're going to see is... You can actually see a couple of ledges that we're going to go up. And then we can press the left bumper... When I don't mess it up exactly like that. So just go under where we can use our mag boots. There it is. And now we can start heading up. So left bumper your way up here. There is going to be a couple of drones that will appear uh, right after we shoot these guys here on the right hand side. Oh, you're going to kill me? You were a pope. There's more of them. So once that's done then we can now head back up and then what we're going to do is turn around and we actually need to turn around and jump on the pipes to the left of us right there. There are a couple of drones here that will try to kill us. So to keep moving forward we need to jump on the pipes to the left of us. For some reason I decided to jump down to the exact place where I just went. And the reason I'd done that is because I completely missed the jump like an absolute noob sucker. Don't know what a noob sucker is, but that's what I am apparently. There's a lug locks chest there, of course, on the right hand side, if you so wish. Otherwise, let's just climb up the pipes and continue to go. There will be more drones and more enemies. 
uh, well, there'll always be more enemies because they don't want us to see nipple bags. But kill a couple of drones here first. other guns they keep doing mean impressions of me well creatures impression isn't mean it's it's actually kind of sweet guess the party isn't over yet Now, as we climb up here, then, there will be a good couple of crab monsters, the fast ones right here. So try to focus on just killing those ones first before the mini guys, because that'll just make it a lot easier. Of course, using the combination of guns and whatever your preferred weapon is so far. But make sure to kill these crab monsters first, because they can kill you dead quite quickly, as you're probably aware. Long, I mean, Jesus... Space goblet. There we are. Once we've rescued that, and all the enemy, all the enemies are dead. We can now head in through to Nippilon's waiting room, where we will see for the third time Helen. Which, I mean, to be fair, she does have to keep getting new jobs since we did kill off the last two bosses. Uh, but we got basically what's going to happen is now we're going to speak to Helen. She's going to be like, "Bruh, what in the bruh is your bruh bruh?" Then we're going to go ahead and sit on the settee. We're going to have a little chat with Kenny and the Gatlian guns. And then the boss fight with nipple bags will begin. And that is a hell of a set of boobs right there. Damn. Damn, you can make some. <laughs> that is easy 10 grand a month boobs on OnlyFans right there. If I had boobs like that, my OnlyFans would be crack a uh, But my nipples are about one inch small. So uh, I'm making no money if I done an OnlyFans. In fact, I'd probably have to pay people to, you know, uh, watch my stuff. It's kind of depressing. <laughs> anyway. Great, just what I needed. Some more time to sit and feel like shit. Uh, uh, you do understand why we're mad at you, right? Yeah, no shit. And, and, and I'm sorry. You don't think I'm sorry? Guys, not in front of Helen. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> I love overhearing stuff. I call it the Erie Canal. <laughs> I love <laughs> I don't know what I need to do to prove myself to everyone, but I'm sorry for my part in how things played out. I suffered too. I'm still suffering. Ugh, save the waterworks. Let's just stop the G3, and then we'll never have to see each other again. No holidays, no celebrations, no birthdays, no anniversaries, nothing. That's not what we want. It's what I want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Understood. Okay, Nipulon will see. Right, okay, so this is the weirdest fight in the game so far. There's basically three or four, I believe, uh, parts to this boss. So we're going to get Creature out first. We're going to have a little conversation with old Nipulon. Um, and then what we're going to do, obviously, as soon as we can begin, we are just going to shoot every bullet or every little blue child that we've got with Creature, swap it to Kenny, and just... Damn. Nipulon, why would you even... Yeah. Anyway, we go in straight away. So, shoot everyone that you can with Creature, so it starts getting his health down immediately. Then press the Y button, smash Kenny out, and just keep dodging the ammo and keep shooting him in the head. A little bit of the way through the fight, about halfway health down, he is going to start in... Uh, well, he's basically now in a protective bubble. Nothing you can do. He's basically going to drug us up. And it's not in a good way either. We are going on a mega trip right now. So... 
Well, I'll see you on the other side, homies. Maybe you just haven't had a taste of how fun drugs can be. So, now we're in this mega fantasy world, first thing we need to do is turn to your left and just speak to Gene. Dialogue options again do not matter, you can choose anything you want, but again it does go on for a few minutes. You're gonna end up just like me, probably gonna lose your legs too. I used to be something, now look at me. Don't fool yourself kid, this is your future. You're just Gene 2.0 and you're going straight down the drain like I did. You really think so? That's what I used to think too, kid. I thought I was invincible. Bounty hunter. Sounds like such a cool job. But really, you're just a glorified garbage man working freelance to take out the trash for anyone willing to pay. Risking your body. For what, kid? So you can lose your legs and find yourself all alone with no one to help you pick up the pieces because you killed everyone you ever met? Does that sound good to you? Maybe, sure. Fine. That's a good point. Okay, you got me there. You conquered this part of your drug trip. Good work. All right. Go make sure you save the world, and then if you suffer, it'll be fine. I guess. Is that the uh, moral here? Right, that's the first conversation done. By the way, if anyone has ever had any mega drugs, as we head just towards the light, we're going to have a little conversation with Nippilon, and then we are going to fight him. Now, remember what he was wearing. Um... Now, for me, and I think it should be for you as well, he was wearing blue. So, basically, what's going to happen is a whole bunch of clones are going to appear, and they're all wearing yellow. So, the real Nippulon that we need to fight now is the one in blue. So, uh, they're basically going to appear all around you, so you just need to go swinging. Just don't go too fast. Just take your time nice and slow until you see the blue guy Nippulon, as you will be able to see in a second. And then he So, there you go. He's wearing blue. So, as long as he's wearing blue... That is the guy that we need to look out for. So just keep uh, having a look around, spin around. As soon as you see a bit of blue, shoot the hell out of him. Now, you're going to have to do this four times in order to get to the next part. So they're going to move around again. Look out for the blue nippulon. on. <laughs> look out for all blue nips and shoot him dead again. Trying to do a sort of psychomantis thing, but I can actually access your play data. Let's just say you played 90 hours of Rocket League. Wow. Right. Ooh, which one's the real me? Does one of me move a little differently or something? Maybe one of me is slightly different colors. There's no way to know. How will you figure it out? It's a mystery. Hey, can we get this over with? I gotta make the rounds. Oh, you got me. So, that's the first part done. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and speak to Lizzie, who should be directly in front of us there. So, just go ahead, speak to her. And I was gonna say, if anyone ever has been, or has taken a drug like this before, is this the kind of trip that you do go on? Or does this set an unrealistic example? And you're actually, you know, running away from monsters that you think are behind you when it's actually just a set E. That kind of trip. Uh, anyway, go ahead and speak to uh, Lizzie for a few seconds. Again, dialogue options do not matter at all, of course. Boring. You think you're the only one who can do that? You think they don't have, like, space institutions in place to deal with villains like the G3 cartel? I'm actually asking. I have no idea. I barely know anything about space. It doesn't matter. The point is, this is all about you. You didn't do anything with your life and now you want to play pretend hero. Well, guess what? It might actually be working. I mean, I don't know anyone else who's doing anything to stop the G3. This might actually be, it might be the right thing for you to do. Oh my God, you, you really are humanity's only hope, aren't you? Fuck. Now, if we look directly behind us, that is where the light is. For some reason, I decided to completely miss that. I, 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 we were literally just in front of it, and then for some reason, I decided to turn around and have a look at a tank. Just chilling there. Um, but no, there it is. So, I actually managed to find it. Now, this time, what's going to happen is the clones are going to start shooting in all directions. This time, you can actually move with the left stick, which I highly... Um, 
I highly advise that you do. So all I do is just keep moving the your left stick to the right, avoiding all the fire, and again, just looking out for the blue, blue nipped Nipulon, and just killing him. You'll see exactly what I mean right now. Also, we're going to get a nice achievement here for free for spending 15 hours at the Alien Strip Club. That is going to be on your gamer score forever. But there are a lot. <laughs> well, there's a lot more. There's a there are a lot more worse ones. Is what I'm trying to say. So, like I said, at this point, you can actually move with the left stick, which you couldn't the last time. So, move, try and avoid the uh, all the laser fire, and of course, keep shooting blue guy in the head again. You'll have to do this about four times to get to the next part. There aren't any control reports anymore. <laughs> I bet I've convinced you. Will you let me smoke you now? Oh, you're gonna bring so much pleasure. <laughs> Was that even the real me? God, you really have So hopefully you didn't have too many issues with that. So once we are here, all we need to do now is just pick up our four Gatlian friends. The first one, they're all gonna be literally, if we pick up creature here, have a look just to the right, and you're going to see Kenny, and then just to the right of that is going to be Gus, and then just to the right of that will be Sweezy. So, they're all in this uh, small little area, so you can't really miss them. Then they're all going to have a massive chat before we get to the next phase. I was on the fence for a minute there, but deep down I knew you wouldn't leave me behind. About time? How'd you even manage without me, huh? Another blank void. How the hell do we get out of this? I, Kenny, 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 what is it now? I, I don't know. Oh, Kenny. I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry I let everyone down. I, I was selfish and stupid, and I beat myself up for it every single day, and I'm so glad I found all of you because you've given me reason to live again. Oh, Kenny. Well, don't get all mushy about it. I, I, ju I just, I just want to make things right. You can. We all can. Well, to be honest, I'd given up on everything before you guys came along. Before I found all of you, but now we're a team and we're unstoppable. God damn it, he's right. You, you mean, you mean it? Yeah, dumbass. We've all made mistakes. I mean, not Kenny level planet wide genocide mistakes, but we've all made mistakes. And there is no way we're letting your big, big fucking mistake keep us from taking down the G3. So let's kick some fucking ass together. Yeah, that sounds good. Everything they just said sounded really good and smart. I love you all so much. You're the first real family I've ever had. Except for my little kids I spawned and shoot at bad guys. And the family I probably had before the G3 fucked with my brain and ruined all my memories. Let's do this, bounty hunter, as a family. Thanks, everyone. Let's fucking do this. All right, that's it. I'm going to erase all your game data now. I can do that. It's easy. You'll have to start all over. Here we go. You ready? Okay. Did that work? No? Shit! Now, the next phase being the last one, all we're going to do is just keep... We're basically now in the hallway, all a bunch of clones right in front of us. All we're going to do is keep spamming the right trigger to completely shoot our way through. And then when we get to the end of the hallway, we're going to press the right stick to kill Nipulon with the knife. So he's going to slam us through down there. So just keep spamming the right trigger. We're just going to chuck all our firepower at him. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Come on. Annie would be so proud of you. And then as soon as we get to the end, like I said, press the right stick. Now, that'll stab big nipple bags. And bam. Right in the neck. That is unfortunate. <laughs> That's a funny death face. But anyway, that is big nipple bags done. No, that's it. We have done it. Now we only have one more left to get in about 30 minutes time. You sh you'll will get the self actualization achievement. And while we are here, what we're also going to do is just to the left uh, in Nipilon's office is the next Dr. Gurgula hint. So from here then, what we're going to do is head to the left. There's a lug locks chest there. There is also this Dr. Gurgula hint. So make sure to interact with this before you finish this level. I mean... I'm pretty sure, you, in fact, you can come back if you do miss it, but 
you know, better to be on the safe side. So, interact with the computer. We now have what we need, and that is Earth's coordinates. We could have literally just snuck in here and done it ourselves when Nipulon was away in the office or something. But there we go. Killing him instead is just a lot easier. So, interact with the computer. Slice off his nipple. There you go. I've uh, just made it a lot easier. But uh, Psycho Knife's going to get right in there. Slice his nipple off and enjoy it, apparently. So, again, make sure to grab the chest if you're following along and just grabbing the chest at your leisure. If not, of course, we'll be coming back here in just a little bit. Uh, but make sure to grab the Dr. Gurgler hint. Otherwise, we can get out. Helen is not there. So that's uh, pretty... pretty. She's probably uh, quit her job now. That's three jobs that she's had to go in. So there we go. Job done. Let's do it. Is now a thing. And of course, whatever... Again, any dialogue options don't matter here. But uh, everyone's having a good time. Hey kid, we got this covered. Go turn in your bounty. Whoa, be, be, be careful with him! Real smooth, Gene. That's supposed to happen. I know, I meant that sincerely. I just don't know actually how to be nice to you. Gene almost killed your super gun all over again. Don't listen to her. I'm about to do some real Frankenstein shit here. Oh God, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to look him in the eye. <sighs> That's fine. I think we accidentally severed his optic nerves earlier. What are you staring at, dork? Oh, yeah, right. Me and Gene, best buds, we had a real bonding moment a little while ago when I was helping him stuff a bag of dicks down his throat. Yeah, dream on, kid. I hope your sister gets space chlamydia. Wow, yeah, no, they're, they're getting along. All right, almost got it. Stand back, everyone. Here we go. Is he? Wait for it. Let's do it. Les, is that, is that you? Let's do it. Oh, I might have fucked up his speech centers too. Let's do it. Let's do it. Talk to me. Let's do it. So what, all he can say is his name? This is sad. Listen, everything else I did was perfect. He can shoot, he can think, he can shit, he just can't talk right. But he's all in there, right? Like, he knows who I am? Let's do it. Les, I, I can't. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's do it. Let's do it is so happy. Now, Let's Do It is, of course, the most powerful gun in the game, and he will come in mega handy to defeat Gamantuas with. Right. Uh, but before we start the Gamantuas bounty, we are going to do a couple of things. We're going to get the sequel bait achievement. We are also going to get the last Dr. Gurgula hint. Which you can actually get at any time in Blim City. So, first things first then. Um, you can go ahead and do the Garmantuous thing if you want now. But, like I said, we are going to go to the Worlds. And we're going to get the sequel bait achievement first. So, first of all, head to Nova Sanctus and Clug's office. There it is, right there. Clug's office. Get your buns in the active portal, huns. So, slap it in. Nope, nobody's here. Uh, which is always handy for us, which makes us steal this uh, human haven key card. So, well, that'll come in handy. Not, I mean, he's not very good at, you know, keeping stuff secret and locked up, is he? So once we've grabbed that, then we are back in the portal. We're going to turn around. This time we're going to use the portal. Go da back down to worlds. Bloop. And this time we're going to go to the unknown sector and the only one there, human haven. Right. So what we're going to do is get the achievement and a secret, which um, you may miss. It's very easy to miss. So what we're going to do, have a look at the top left here, and we're basically just going to start climbing the tower. Have a look at the top right, start climbing the tower again. Should just about make it. If we have a look at the uh, top right again, there is another part that we can grab. You should just, just about make this one. And then if we turn to the left, you can see a couple of ledges that we can jump our way onto. That's what we're going to do next. Jumpity jump jump. Turn to the right or to the left. Basically behind you. Turn, have a look up. And here is a door. Interact with it. And this is how you get the sequel baked achievement. Now, what you can do. It, you can turn directly back around. Go down. Head inside and go to Blim City to get the Dr. Gurgler hint. Or start the Garmantra's bounty. Or, if you get Sweezy out. And we're going to head down this fan like I do right here. Um... 
And again, down to the next one. Remember to uh, use her time to slow it down. There we go. This is basically like a secret area, which again is obviously very easy to miss. Um, now, normally, I, in my achievement guides, I don't normally show you, but I, I, I hadn't seen this on anything, to be fair. So I did want to actually show you this secret little location. Mayor Clug is obviously one of the bad guys. <laughs> a bad politician. Now, who could have seen that coming? He must be part of the Tory government for definite. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, what we're going to do is chase him, and then, holy crap, holy, it is Dr. Gurgula. So, what's going to happen then is just a whole, it's going to be a couple of minutes of dialogue where Dr. Gurgula is going to explain what's going on. It's fairly obvious what's going on, but he's going to explain anyway. But this is a whole secret thing. You could have easily just turned back around, gone through the portal, and cracked on if you wanted to. But this is a secret, as old Melonhead, well, you bet. Bounty Hunter Clug manipulated into wiping out the G3, correct? We Enough. Again, I already know the answer. Well, I'm interested. You're human. I have a very specific interest in humans. Would you mind if I cut you open and took a look inside? No way, you creep. What the hell is this place? Oh, my apologies. I'm Dr. Gurgula. Maybe you've heard of me. I'm sure your Gatlian friends have. I'm responsible for the plague that wiped out their entire race. Nothing personal, of course. I simply thought that they might be the key to my research. And when they weren't, well, what did it matter to me? What happened to them? Oh, you're like seriously evil. Psychopath evil. I'm a scientist. And I'm going to be the first being in existence to unlock the secrets of the universe. You, human, did you know your species has a very unique brain structure? And do you have the slightest inkling as to what it means? No, of course not. Therein lies the irony. Your special little brains hold a million wonderful secrets, and yet you can't even comprehend of them yourself. Much like a jar, unable to fathom its own contents. You'll forgive me for breaking the jar to get at what's inside, won't you? Newsflash, fucko! We're not letting you get away with this! Oh yes, you are. And I can't allow any amount of my work here to be compromised. I hit the kill switch and wiped all my data the second I detected your presence back here. Good thing I've already gotten what I need. And as for you, well, you still have a job to do, right? So go on then. Go save your delicate and enlightening little species. Okay, shit, that's a lot. So then, Big Gurgs, I guess we'll be seeing him in High on Life 2. And hopefully High on Life 2, when it comes out, doesn't have any bugged achievements in it. Um, like mods, please ban. You know that one? Yes. So, uh, what we're going to do then, uh, we are going through the wrong door, as it turns out. We need to head through the open door, which was behind Dr. Gurgler. We're going to head down, and then Mayor Clug's sons are going to be here. Now, of course, if you didn't go down the secret route, and just turn directly around from the sequel bait room, you can just go through the portal, as I said. Otherwise, talk to the talk to the politician sons, who apparently are on your side. Paul will appear on the left, and then we can go and grab the final Dr. Gurgler hint before... Doing the final, it's the final mission. The clugs out of the picture. We went ahead and did you the favor of rounding up all your little friends here. Don't worry, we're taking care of. Them. That's a promise. We're straight shooters. That means we don't shoot crooked. We'll make sure everyone's safe and sound. Not a hair on their heads, huh? You get that cute little planet of yours back up and running. Then we'll help you send everyone back home. No need to thank us. We just want to help. And we love how much moxie you got. We really do love that moxie. Take care, kid. Congrats on finding this whole secret part of the game. And thanks for cleaning up the trash. Yeah. This is too much for me. Let's just head home. So not sure why I was heading for the door right here. We are still on the planet which is destroyed, or Gatlas. 
So again, just before we go and do Garmantuous, what we're going to do is go ahead and just grab the last Dr. Gurgula hint, just to get out of the way. Uh, so we're going to go to Worlds, go to the Nova Sanctus, and go to Blim City. Now again, of course, if you don't get this one yet, you can you can, literally can get this one at any time at all. So even if you go ahead and do Garmantuous first, you can come back here a bit later on. Otherwise, if you are following along with what I'm doing, um, I do apologize for leaving this one till the very, very last. Uh, but what we need to do then is go to the Lord Crust building. So when we go through the portal, the Lord Crust building will be in the middle on the right hand side here. There it is. Old Crust Lord. Now, I wonder what kind of crust he's talking about. Pizza crust or, you know, that unwashed crust when you don't have a shower for a couple of uh, weeks or so. Ugh, that is disgusting. So climb up onto the roof, have a look behind you. You're going to see the Don't Trust transistor, uh, Translator Microbes. This is the final Dr. Gurgula hint for the mods Please Ban achievement. And that one is done. So once we've done that, we can now get out of the three-week-old crusty, um, <laughs> crusty parts. Yeesh. Now, if you don't wash for a couple of weeks, man, you got the problem. Take a shower, take a bath. I will buy you a bar of soap. But I assume everyone showers, so it's all good. Right, so now we can do it. What we're going to do is talk to Gene. We've done everything in terms of missable achievements, apart from the one at the end with Garmantuous and the Dr. Gurgle hints and everything. So now we can just crackety crack crack on. We are going to get the achievement there for obtaining. Let's do it. So if you're all ready, let's do it. You're going to need let's do it. All right, let's do it. We got this. Let's do it. Let's walk this house back to Earth. Let's do it. Okay, dude, we get it. Let's do it. Here. I'm too scared to look outside. Hey kid, before you go, come talk to me. I got one last thing. Once you step out of the house, we're gonna warp away to safety until the deed is done. That means you'll be on your own. No, not alone. The power of Gatlas will be on uh, at our side. Yeah, no shit. We know that. I'm just, uh, God, it was just a figure of speech, Kenny. Look, our Mantuas is tough. You might not be able to beat him even with Lesdort. So, if push comes to shove, use this. What is it? A remote atomizer bomb. Intel says Garmantuous has thick skin like armor, but if you can get this inside him somehow, then trigger it remotely? Well, let's just say his guts should still be easy to fuck up. This'll blow him up for good. You really think we're gonna need that? I don't know. Just don't want you to die. You're happy now? Happy that you forced me to admit I give a shit? Just take it. This thing was hard as hell to find. Thanks, Gene. You know, we, we, we care about you, too. Okay, cool. Fuck off. Right, so, in order to use Les Do It, what you need to do is press the right trigger for about two seconds, and then his whole electrical thing will just go nuts, as you'll be able to see. So, press and hold the right trigger, and then you can literally just, as long as you're aiming at some enemies, it will literally, you know, just it'll just kill a whole bunch dead. His charge will run out quite quickly, so what I end up doing a lot of the time is just pressing the Y button to uh, shoot to Kenny. Um, but again, don't just hold the right trigger. My, my advice is don't just hold the right trigger until all of it is um, charge is completely gone. You know, sort of be sparing with the ammo for as much as you can, because of course. From now until we get to Garmantuous, there is going to be a lot of enemies, including quick crab monsters, punks, and all sorts. So what I advise is just to wait until the uh, Let's Do It is charged up, and then we go again. So, I mean, that's of course if you want, obviously if you want to, you can just get straight in there, and if you're happy with any other gun, but if you want to, uh, go back into cover, wait until Let's Do It charges up, and just keep doing it that way if you prefer. As you can see, though, Let's Do It is very, very handy. Uh, but there are, again, a whole bunch of enemies on this part, so do your thing. B -b 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 -b. Let's do it! And if you need to go back to Let's Do It, just 
press and hold the Y button and then he will automatically go to let's do it. You don't need any other button inputs or button prompts or anything like that. So you'll know when he's ready because it'll come up on screen and he'll say let's do it. So again, just press and hold the Y button and you'll go back to let's do it. So, if you think we're safe, let us go ahead and grab the Warp Crystal. Again, very important that we need to be grabbing all of the Warp Crystals, or as many as we can. And, once we start off again, and we start going, we're, um, well, we do need to go through the tube. Plus, just, uh, sorry, just having a quick look to see if there was another Warp Crystal, which there clearly was not. So again, if you just want to go to Let's Do It, press and hold the Y button and it'll automatically go in the middle. Another bunch of enemies here, so kill kill these guys dead. These ones are quite quickly to kill. Stabby stab. Uh, now, I just wait for Les Do It to fully recharge for a sec. Yeah, this just makes it easier. But there are going to be enemies as we uh, go in here. Plus, these uh, little things, trans, trans things are going to be moving. I can't remember what they're called. Spinny boys. Yeah, we'll call them spinny boys. They're obviously going to hurt you, so just try and jetpack your way over to them. There's going to be a sniper here at the end as well, so just try and uh, avoid that one. And then we can start heading down. And then just use Let's Do It on the both of them to slice and dice them. Oh, yeah. Again, avoid the spinny boy. Spinny boy hurt. So as we get out of here then, there is going to be a whole bunch of warp bases. There is a sniper at the very end, but there's going to be more quick crab enemies. So, you know, uh, you know. Plus, we're going to get an achievement here for saying goodbye to this annoying smarty. Um, here's just to uh, say one last thing before the game's over. Looks like it's the final. Let's do it! Doing good. It's here. I'm so proud of you. I watched you grow from just a weak looking kid. Now you're the, now you're so strong. Everyone thinks you're so cool. You saved a bunch of galleons. You, uh, you're about to... That's impressive. That's pretty fucking cool. So that's that, that's all I wanted to say. Um, that's a serious rap on pseudo. No more Let's do it. Bye bye. I love ya. So we'll get the achievement there. Series rap on pseudo. As we turn the corner, there is going to be a hunky boy. More enemies and a chunky old hunky boy. So again, make sure Let's Do It is at full capacity because it's just easier to kill. If not, just go ahead and hide around the corner for a few seconds, get some health back, and uh, you know, get your Let's Do It all charged up. Then go and do your thing again. So, after the deady deady dead deads are done, there are yet another two warp crystals that we can be grabbing. In fact, that we will be goddamn grabbing. First one is obviously uh, at the opposite end of where we just were. And that'll be all the way up. All the way up, so grab that stuff. Another warp crystal for you and me. 
Now again, obviously, there is a place that we can grind the warp crystals to get to 31 at the end of the game. And I will, of course, show you the best location that we can do that um, to go ahead. Because uh, basically, we need to get to six different locations using warp crystals that we've got to buy from Blorto in Blim City um, to get various achievements and things. So grab the second warp crystal here, which is on the ground floor, and then we can move on. Uh, it's kind of a walk in the park, just an, again, it's another two or three minutes where we're going to sit on a bench, reflect on what's just about to go down. Oh my god, what's about to go down, man? Oh, uh, no. Manager, look, it's complicated. I'm kind of mad still, yeah. Yes, it's complicated. We all love you, Kenny. It's, 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 it's complicated. Like I said the first time, it's complicated. Well, we had that powerful shared drug experience together, and we, we, we learned so much about ourselves and, and working together. Look, and Kenny, we, we... there's a lot of shit to work through here. We're not going to solve it in one drug trip. Maybe we did, though. You know we're here with you, Kenny. You're, you're, you're practically family, and, and we mostly only have each other. But it's not that easy. Yeah, so let's just kill Garmantuas and see where things go from there. We'll completely forgive you after we kill Garmantuas, Kenny. Creature, that's not true. But if not, not true. Okay, I, I get it. Let, let, let's just do this. Let's do it. And I'm here too. Knifey, your friend. Remember me? Well, what does our favorite gun in the whole game say? Let's do it. So we'll do it. Right, so we need to go through the pipe first. Basically, we just have to use... Uh, this is kind of like... <laughs> as Kenny says, it kind of seems like lazy writing where we just have to use... Each gun, one, each gun's uh, right bumper power one more time. Um, so let's do it. So first of all is, of course, Sweezy. So press the right bumper, nip through the fan. And then as we get past these spinny donut crispy cream, donut crispy cream boys, drop down. Because we can't, we ain't getting through the fire. Next up, we're going to use Gus. And obviously we can use his power there to jump up. Next up, we're going to use Creature to stick one of his blue balls straight in the uh, big old hole right there. Let's do it. And then finally, we are going to use Kenny's glob shot on the right-hand side. So that added pretty much nothing. But this is it then, the Garmantuous boss fight. And it's not as bad as, I'd say, the Screndle Bros. I honestly thought the Screndle Bros was the hardest one in the game. So we're going to be using every single gun so we're not going to wait for anyone to reload or anything like that. We're literally just going to, as soon as one gun runs out of ammo, we're just going to go to the next, keep shooting, go to the next gun, keep shooting, go to the next gun, keep shooting, and keep doing it like that. And always, what I end up doing as well, is I always keep heading to the left. So do not stop. We always need to keep moving, okay? Just keep on heading to the left. Don't stop for anyone. You will get hurt sometimes, but that's fine. So like I said, as soon as Kenny's run out, don't wait for him to reload. Uh, we're just going to press the Y button to go to the next gun, uh, which is going to be Gus. As soon as his uh, stuff is done, go to Sweezy. Again, keep on moving left. As soon as Sweezy's out, go to the next gun, which is going to be Creature. And he's start... Um, Creature is a good one as well for getting some health down. Then just keep on doing this. So keep on heading left. As soon as everyone's ammo runs out, go to the next gun. Keep shooting and do that one. The You will get Garmantua's down. Garmantua's hell... Garmantuas' health down very quickly this way. And of course, because Gene is an absolute hack bag, um, uh, the remote control's not going to work. So, uh, now, the the prompt right there should be right by his uh, Krispy Kreme donut hole right there. But, for whatever reason, it is at the side. I thought it glitched out on me, so I'm glad it didn't. So, sticking a bomb, square inside the crispiest of creams. Um, mm, that's, uh, that just reminds me like you're milking a cow from the inside or something. <laughs> That's pretty darn gross. Anyway, what's going to happen now then is Gamantuas is going to appear. He's not going to be flying, but he's going to be doing some of those. You remember Jonathan Screndel when he jumps when he used, when he jumped up and was given his green shockwave, as it were. 
Uh, he will be doing that right after we have a little random, completely random appearance, although very hilarious, from my favourite celebrity of all time, Jack Black, and Susan Sarandon for some reason. Fuck, he's got your parents. Uh, hey, it's me, Jack Black. Hi. I'm Susan Sarandon. Do we know you? Huh? Are those your parents? Parents? What, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't think the bounty hunter even knows these people. Yeah, we don't. But it's so nice to meet you. So what? You don't love these two? Because every human I asked said they loved them. Well, yeah, everyone loves us. I'm sorry, bounty hunter. I'm sure your parents are still out there somewhere, you know? They're alive. I, I, I can feel it. No, Jack! God damn it! That Jack is more emotional. That Jack's death is more emotional than the Titanic one. Right. Anyway, you're still going to be doing the same tactic, so moving left all the time and using every gun until they run out of ammo. But as you can see, he does this green shockwave. There are shield pickups in each corner of the arena, so if you need some more, uh, just go to each corner of the area to grab some more shield pickups. Uh, he will start uh, shooting all of this stuff as well. So just focus. Literally now, just focus on. Um, shooting his shot with absolutely every gun. So the tactic is exactly the same with the gun, but he's going to start getting more aggressive now with his golden balls. So try and avoid these best you can, and then just keep doing the same tactic with your gun. And that is how you beat the Garmanchi of the Chewus. And I only just lost my shield, so pretty happy with that one. Right, so you will get the Legendary Bounty Hunter achievement. That is story related. This is the most important, and I cannot stress this enough. Do not shove Kenny up the Krispy Kreme donut hole. Do not. You need to use any other gun, any other Gatlian gun, other than Kenny. So this is for the playing favorites achievement. So if you accidentally put Kenny up his rectum hole, you are going to miss the achievement and you're going to have to go through the entirety of the game again just to get this achievement. And I know we don't want to do that. So I always, uh, if, again, you can use any Gatlian you want. I use uh, Let's Do It uh, for no particular reason. Just because I don't want to be shouted at by Sweezy and Gus, to be honest. They, they seem a scurry. So... Like I said, make sure right now to, to pick any other Gatlian apart from Kenny. Do not shove Kenny up the Krispy Kreme. I just do Let's Do It, and this will get us the playing favorites achievement, and we don't have to replay the entire game. So happy with that one. Make sure, of course, to back away, because um, Garmantris is going to awaken and be like, oh, god damn, you know that, you know that feeling when you take a massive crap? Well, it feels like somebody just uh, <laughs> took a massive crap inside of me or something. There it is. Play your favorites. That's done. We're at the end of the game. And, um, <laughs> yeah, that's it. This is the end of the game. Fantastic effort there from everyone. Fantastic. Sacrifice. Oh my god, they're, they're alive! I can't believe it! Oh my god, they survived! They made it! No fucking way! I'm so glad you're okay, and that maybe we can have a sequel with you, with us, you know, all of us, because you're alive still, you know, and then you'd be there for, like, any DLC or a sequel. We owe you big time. The whole universe owes you. Now you're a fucking hero. I'm so glad you made it. We did it! Uh, we did it! He said something else. I'm very impressed. Right, what you will get, as long as, of course, you carry Stan's load to completion. Remember Stan the alien? We got his Stan's... Well, it was his cum diddly umptious, wasn't it? Uh, so as long as you spoke to Stan, you should have got that achievement as well. So, right, of course, we are done with the story now, and all of the missable achievements, providing you followed the guide so far. But we're not quite done with all of the achievements yet, are we? Now we are going to grab the Luglocks chests, which will possibly take roughly around another hour or so. But hopefully I'm going to do it in such a way uh, that it's nice and easy for you and we can just do them together. We can hold hands. We can we, we can maybe uh, kiss a little as well. It's up to you. Um, either way, we are going to do it together. We'll be like an old married couple by the end of this one now.
And by an old married couple, I mean you're probably going to be sick of my voice, because I get sick of my voice too. So, well, <laughs> what we can do now, we can just continue the game. Basically, we're going to have a little conversation with Gene, who's... What he is going to say is, word, word takes time to spread, which means there are still G3 members that we can kill. So anywhere we go, providing they are not bugged out... Whatever area we go, we should hopefully see some more G3 dudes to kill. Nice to fight everywhere, but, uh, good job. <laughs> Seriously. Have you ever had this happen to you? Help. Help me. Help me. Help me, please. I guess, uh, now that you've saved the galaxy, I should probably remove the self-destruct trigger I installed in your suit. It was a failsafe in case you didn't die, but now I like you, so I'd be sad if you yeah, died. <laughs> and I'm also legitimately scared of you. The brand new this. Right, so Gene just sits there going, oh, congratulations. Sadly, we cannot turn this bounty in. I did uh, have a little look, see if we could get that 10k. But Gene's probably used it all on space pizza and space hookers, I assume. Right, so... Are we ready then? Shall we go ahead and collect? So we should be on 27 out of 32 achievements right now. So that is what we should be on. So we've got to unlock and explore every collectible warp base, collect every chest, all the trading cards as well, which we will do. So are we ready? Should we go ahead and collect all the Luglox chests? Let's do it. And so we can begin then. So we're going to go in order. We're going to go from bl top Blim City all the way to the bottom. Um, now, so go to Nova Sanctus, Blim City first. We'll get, like I said, there's going to be 15 here. Now, what I am not going to be doing, I won't be providing a whole lot of commentary now for the sort of um, rest of the collectibles. The only time I'll pop in is if it's any under, sort of any under, uh, any under special circumstances. That's what I was trying to say. Um, in terms of something that we may have to buy, i.e., which I'll show you in a minute, the jetpack upgrades, which we are going to desperately, well, we will need, especially for the uh, jungles and stuff like that. Um, I'm just starting off back with the homies, just to um, sort of, you know, start off a bit of, um, you know, knowing just exactly where we are. But for the most part then, as we head to the right first, the collectibles are pretty much sort of gathered in one place. There's nothing that's really too missable or, you know, really difficult to get to as long as you've got the proper upgrades. So that is why, uh, for now, I won't be providing any commentary because following, hopefully, anyway, hopefully following the <laughs> collectibles guide here should be sufficient enough in order for you to just grab everything. Um, obviously, we'll be using all four guns. Ag again, this is obviously highly advised to do all of these um, after you've completed the game. Purely because we will have all the upgrades, everything unlocked, plus all the weapons. So it just makes it a hell of a lot easier for you. Um, so, yeah. Well, I guess I'll pop back in a second when we need something. But again, hopefully I've done this collectible guide in such a, you know, a decent enough way. And the, the pacing of it is nice and fast but slow. So you're not having to pause every two seconds. And hopefully it's just nice and straightforward and smooth. Um, that the commentary will not really be necessary. So, uh, well, if it's terrible, please let me know, and then uh, I guess I'll stop doing collectible guides. Whoops. Well, I was really hoping it was this inside. You there, how about some, uh, food? <laughs> Hey, yo, discerning customer, would you be interested in some quote-unquote food? I built a huge town. This town is giant. We got buildings. We got what a great reward we just got. Banks. Problem is, we ain't got people. I built. There's my favorite party. Not mine. Offering everybody a complimentary can pizza to come and see. I leave a note in case the owner comes back. Right, so then, for this next part, what we are going to need, what we definitely will need, is a jetpack upgrade. Now, I'm just going to show you, as we swing here, of course, you should already have, obviously, the mag boots. If you're doing this after the game, you should have the mag boots and the jetpack, you know, absolutely everything. So, we're onto the old Lord Crust building, so we need to fly up. Fly up onto his crown, and this is where you're going to, this is where you'll see where we need the, um, the uh, jetpack upgrades. Because it's all the way on the left-hand side, uh, on the right-hand side, just on top of that truck. 
And as you can see, because I've got no upgrades, I physically cannot get to that point. So, well, there's only one thing for it then. Again, we should have plenty of money in terms of, again, if you're doing this sort of after the game, etc., etc., uh, you should have plenty of money by now. You know, at least eight, nine, ten thousand pesos. Um, but we are going to be heading to uh, Mr. Keep's Pawn Shop. You know, the old, the, the old saggy, saggier, chunkier Zoidberg from Futurama. And the ones who, well, he, he kind of looks like he'd be uh, taking all the uh, benefits away from every American. Um, I'm just joking. Uh, not American, just alien. So anyway, <laughs> let's head to Mr. Keep's Pawn Shop. And again, these jetpack upgrades are going to come in mega handy, especially for the jungles later on. So, where it says Bounty Hunters then, you can, obviously you can get more health if you want. The Slide Bash unit, which will come in mega handy as well for the environmental kills for the forum, the Mods Please Ban Achievement. But, what we're going to need to get is the Kinetic Tank here, the Jetpack Booster, and I believe there is another Jetpack Booster as well. So, all in all, I think it costs about seven or 8,000 pesos, something like that. Uh, so, a couple of kinetic tanks there. Oh, what those and what the... As you can tell, my mass is fantastic as always. Three, four, five. So, it's about five, five and a half thousand pesos that'll cost you. But make sure then that you've got the jetpack booster and the two um, other jetpack units that we uh, should have bought. And when you can do when you do that, then we can go back and obviously grab that one that we couldn't grab before. Now, I've only showed you this just... So you're aware of uh, what actually to buy and what you what you do need. Um, again, you can buy this from any shop in any location. But, of course, since we need it here, that is exactly what we're going to do. And it just oh, it just makes your life so much easier. So do the same thing again then. Jump up. Jump up and get down. Jump, jump, jump. It's lovely. Remember to pr uh, tap down on the D-pad if you're hovering too much and you want to get down so you can just move on. Like now. <laughs> and then we wait. And we wait. And nobody's coming, damn it! Right, there we go. So this time, we can now shoot the car when it pops by with the right bumper, of course, for Sweezy. Again, if you're playing this after the game, doing this after the game, you should you should know exactly how to do that by now. And this time, we'll have a nicer and easier way over. Pop! There we go. So now... We should be able to make it without any issues. Again, don't take the mick with it, but, you know, just glide yourself over lovely. And there we go. So, that's it then. So, again, I will leave you for now because the rest are in nice locations. Nice and easy just to follow along with. And jump over to the Lord Crest building, which I forgot to do. But it's okay because we need to get back up there anyway. But uh, that's fine. That's fine. You know, that's happening uh, for you. I don't care about You good, Bounty Hunter? Get. 
Let me see. How's it been going so far? So there we are then peeps and pops, all 15 in Blim City done, but one more thing I should say well, what I'll be doing is, this time around we're going to start heading back to the portal because it's easy to find in Blim City, but from the next area onwards I'll be editing it down, editing it down slightly so that we end up in the house ready to go next uh, ready to go to the next area rather than having to backtrack or forward track trying to find the portal home. In most cases if you have finished collecting all Luglock's chests in an area, just keep heading forward and a portal you will see very soon, or just go back to the start of the area in the video to see where you came out of as a little memory refresher. So again, that's just to make it easier rather than you watching me walk around trying to find an exit for 10 minutes, which I did, uh, I don't want to admit it, but I did more than once. Um, so, Nova Sanctus, let's head to the slums. There's going to be 26 in the slums. So again, like I said, hopefully... I've paced the video well enough so that you can keep up and that the um, the sort of route is not too confusing for you. Again, hopefully it is not, and we're all good.
go. You found the treasure. It wasn't very hard to find, was it? Aren't you glad you listened to me? What's in there? No, I'm what not shooting this one. Actually, wait. Don't tell me. I don't want to be disappointed. I just hope you... Oh. be needing this.
Here's the loot. G3, let's save these humans, you know? Ta-da! So that's that one done then, and like I said, through the magic of editing, we are back at the house. So of course, obviously pause. You would probably pause the video now just to get head to a portal and get back home. Otherwise, when we are back home, where are we going to be heading next? Oh, what a secret, what a surprise. Uh, but what we are going to be doing is actually heading straight now to the Zephyr Paradise, into the Deep Jungle. So these are the uh, longest set of collectibles in the game, really. Uh, just in terms of they are quite spread out and one other thing I should mention here is as we go in through the deep jungle here you will we will actually be collecting three chests for the upper valley uh, for some reason the, the chests are close together but three of these at least count towards the upper valley level rather than the deep jungle so I don't know how and I don't know why maybe they've done it for a laugh but who knows but anyway I will obviously be letting you know exactly what chests they are and when to collect them. So once you've collected that one, then you don't have to collect that one again in the upper valley level. So yeah, crack on for now. Nice to see you again, partner. You've been hiding from me. Right, so after you kill these crab monsters then, we are going to get the first one for the upper valley. And this is the chest. So once we get this one, you'll see that it says... Now, on your screen, it'll say 1 out of 34, because that is classed as an upper valley collectible, rather than the jungle one that we are currently in, weirdly enough. So make sure that you've collected that chest right there. So that'll be 1 out of 34 for the upper valley, which is the next 
area. And then we can just crack on then as normal by sticking up Gus up there and grabbing this one, which counts as the level that we're currently the, the, the level that we are currently in. So I don't know how and I don't know why, but anyway, that's that. So make sure you grab those two chests right there. One for the upper valley and the second one here for the jungle outlook. Or whatever the whatever the hell it is that we're in. And then crackle on.
Right, so we are coming up to the second chest, uh, and it is in that container right there, which counts towards the upper valley, rather than the ones we are currently going for. So again, not sure why that is, but it just is, so you'll need to get Creature out, just stick him, stick your little blue ball, uh, blue ball, blue ball straight in the container, if you can. That's going to open up the way, that will open up the container for us, and again, that will count as the second chest for the upper valley. When I, when we come to the upper valley, I will again let you know that that is, um, one chest that we do need, just in case somehow you've missed it. Uh, but again, I know it says 1 out of 32 on my screen right now, but there was a little bit of editing from earlier on. So you should now be on 2 out of 32 there for the upper valley already. Hey, come on by if the mood strikes you. Hey, friend, can I help you? Change your mind. Looking for something, friend?
Okay, and then we're going to be coming up to the third chest for the upper valley. Again, there's only three that you can, I think there's more if you wanted to, but there are three that count towards the upper valley in this area. So as we go to the left here, go to this container just behind it. This is where the third technical one for the upper valley is. So when we uh, go to begin the upper valley, you will have three basically for free right there. So uh, that should be good. Now the rest we can just crack on with. One other thing I should mention as well is... Now, remember for the warp crystals, uh, we need 31 to buy all warp, uh, warp discs off Bloto uh, in Blim City. Now, you will get quite a number of these. Um, obviously, you would have had at least, at least 10, 12, 13, maybe even 14 uh, in the game. Uh, the chest is behind you, by the way. It's, it's actually on the, uh, on the little walkway up here. So, I do apologize about this bit. There it is. Uh, but you should have got that from the game anyway. You will get quite a few from chest as well. But I do highly recommend any time that you do come up to any uh, warp bases that are incoming. If you've got to shoot all the enemies dead. Uh, just try and pick up as many warp crystals as you can. Don't just ignore the enemies. Shoot the enemies dead. Pick up the warp crystals until you have at least 31. As soon as you've got 31, uh, that'll be enough to get all the warp discs ready for that achievement later on. The scene all the sights achievement. And then you can just crack on. But like I said, just keep going with all the warp crystals until we get 31. Ah, oh, there's one, but I can't grab it. Yeah. Hey, uh, thanks for sticking with me, Bounty Hunter. Y you are sticking with me, right? I I'm just assuming you're still on my side. But maybe you just need me around to kill Garmantuous and then that's it? God damn it, I knew it. You fucking hate me. You're so quiet. You don't say anything. I I'm freaking out, man. believe we were taking on the G3. You know how long they had me captive for? And I was chipped. I couldn't talk at all. Can you imagine that? Me not talking? That's that Technically a symbiotic species, it seems like we evolved to fit right in the hand of most other aliens. It's, it's pretty convenient, right? I bet you think it's too convenient, maybe. Well, guess what, asshole? There's an infinite amount of planets out there.
Look, somebody's here. Oh my god. I, I, I got a store. You can buy stuff. Come come check me out, please. Hey, you you, you gotta you gotta buy something, please. I'm fucking dying here. Hey, hey you, yeah, hey, hey you, yeah, please, please, please come over here. I'll I'll do anything. Thank you so much. This is so exciting. I'm literally gonna call my dad right now. Tummy grumble three times. I know. Let's call it the G3. Or, you know what I mean? So you probably would have seen a warp base there. Again, like I said, remember about the crystals. Uh, make sure to kill all the enemies just to grab a couple of crystals until we get at least 31. Otherwise, that is 34 out of 34. And by the power invested in me, ah, we're back home. Once you have got all of the crystals, uh, all the chests in the area. So next, let us go now to, again, Zephyr Jungle and the upper valley. Now remember, you should have already, I know it says two there for me, but you should already have three out of 32 there for the upper valley. I showed you the three chests which counted towards the upper valley, so hopefully you've got those three, so we only need 29 to collect. Uh, this does take roughly about the same time um, as the last area that we just done, purely because they are quite spread out. Um, but otherwise, it is, everything's pretty much effectively quite straightforward. So, enjoy.
So then we are, you should have already collected these next two, um, but I will just show you, of course, again, just in case. So there's the one just behind this container right here. And then if we just go slightly to the right, you're going to see the container once again, which should house the next one. Remember, these two we collected in the last area, um, but for some reason they counted towards the upper valley. So again, if you needed to, uh, obviously chuck a creature in. And then collect them both. But again, if you've been following the guide so far, you would have had those two, plus the third upper valley chest as well, which for some reason is counted um, seemingly in the wrong place. Otherwise, let's crack along. Am I, I, I get a little self-conscious. It's just, you know, you're always holding me up and right in front of you and, oh, God, I always worry about that. I, I, like, I don't want you to get too tired from holding me or anything.
Yeah, yeah, no big deal. I can slow down spinning that way. It's easy for me.
Now then, this is going to be the last one, so you should now have 32 out of 32 after you've collected this one. Um, obviously, you're going to see me, mine on screen says 31 out of 32, but again, I, we obviously collected the upper valley chest in for the last area, so that should be that one, 32 out of 32, now complete for you, and then, ba -ba, we're back home. So, let us crack on, and we're going for the last area in the Zephyr jungle, which isn't nearly as annoyingly and confusing. It is the jungle clearing this time, so 28. Again, it's going to take a little bit less time, so but it is not nearly as confusing or spread out as the last set. But again, you know the drill by now. Any war bases you come across, uh, just keep killing all the enemies until you get at least 31 crystals. All the trading cards you will get, apart from two that we need to buy in Blim Shop. And um, yeah, that's it.
fine if you don't like using it. I don't feel emotions very well, so it doesn't really hurt. It does kind of tickle for some reason, though. Oh, amazing! I didn't know we were just allowed to leave. Triple. Sorry for getting upset about it. Here we go! Why are you even using me? Ooh, what is it? And finally, then that is going to be the last one of the jungle! Hooray! Right! Now we are going to go to Port Terrine and we're going to be doing Dreg City. So basically we've got three more uh, sort of main areas left to do and these luckily are a lot more compact oh four sorry so we've got four left including Nippilon's office so there's so as you go into Dreg City here um, there's 36 which is the most of any area 
But because the um, area itself is quite compact, quite condensed, uh, it's very easy to uh, grab them all very, very quickly rather than it being spread out as it was. Now, the other thing with Dreg City is we are definitely going to need, if you haven't got it already, uh, as I said earlier, the jetpack, all of the jetpack upgrades, which there should be three purely because this is very, um, we need to be going straight up, very vertical a lot, this level is. So we are definitely going to need all the jetpack boosts. Um, otherwise, that is it again. Otherwise, everything, once again, as usual, is pretty straightforward.
shit! God damn it! Oh what? You're here to make fun of me? Right, okay, with this guy, all we all you gotta do is just keep shooting at the wall. You don't have to aim in any particular direction, just keep shooting at the wall with your glob shot straight up Kenny's trick hole. Um, and then eventually he's gonna say, Oh hell yeah, dog! Um Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know what the hell he was supposed to be shooting at, but well, anyway, he finally moves out the way, and the warp crystal is ours. My species gets really rebellious right before we die.
Uh, we're coming up, spin slide, cycle your way to the last one, and that is Dreg Town finally done. So that potentially was a little bit more confusing, purely due to the fact there was obviously loads of buildings and stuff in the way, but let's head home, there we are. Hi everyone, back in the house while Gene sits with the old chunky gut. The entirety of the game, that's very impressive so far. All right, otherwise, we're off to Big Nip Nip's office now. Old Nipplehead. Uh, there's only eight in here, so it is very nice. So again, poor Tareen. Nippilon's office, there's only eight. This is literally going to take us about three or four minutes. So, uh, yeah, there's no, nothing too special about this one. Obviously, when we do get to the bottom, we will have to come all the way back up to the top in order to get back to the portal. One That is one gripe that I do have about these uh, areas. They, they, we should be able to pause the game. And maybe just head back home ourselves, or there should be more portals dotted around rather than in just one goddamn location. But <laughs> what am I? I'm not an expert in game making, of course. I just play the things. We're just rifling around in your guts real quick. Hee <laughs> hee All right, cheers, big nips. We are all done. This is eight out of eight. So again, nice and easy, only a couple of minutes. And now we've got two main areas left, and then we have to collect another six from unmarked locations. Woohoo, spooky. Right, so, uh, while Gene's just watching a hippo of some sort, I don't know. Now we are off to Old Town. Again, this is another nice area, to be honest. Uh, everything's quite... There you go, Port Terrain, straight to Old Town, 27 to collect. But... Uh, it is quite compact. Everything's nice and, um, you know, nothing's too spread out. What I will say is, in terms of the Mods Please ban achievement, at the, again, at the time of recording, I needed to kill 60 Greebles. You know, the things that roll in the ground and try and uh, shoot at you when they pop up. But none appeared for me at all anywhere. So this is where the glitch, for me personally, comes in anyway. So hopefully the patch will fix it and you will have to deal with those enemies again. But again, at the time of recording... There is nothing, so, um, well, just enjoy grabbing all 27. <laughs>
plain sight. That's it. Hide it in plain sight. Well, now there goes my treasure. Dang it! You know, your hole's just not as much fun as you might think.
so glad we found this. Chasing me for no reason, and they're gonna kill me unless somebody intervenes! Finders keepers! That's the end of that chapter. Right, 27 out of 27 done. Now we are home. Once more, we are going to go for the final one. Seems like it's been a while, hasn't it? But uh, we're almost there. So, last but not least then, Port Serene and to the outskirts. Now there's 16. These are a little bit more spread out. Uh, so this is probably going to take around 10 minutes or so again, potentially. Uh, maybe 8 to 10 minutes. Uh, and there is only one. The last collectible chest that we're going to grab is covered in sandworms so when you're walking along the dangerous path a sandworm might attack but again i'll show you if if that does happen um i'll show you exactly where to go anyway so don't panic otherwise yeah it, again it's the out out skirts yeah yeah out out um so again just follow exactly where i'm going and let's grab these last 16. <laughs>
This is my rightful place above it all. Right, so for the last two then, now we are coming up to Sandworm area. So this first one, you should be fine. Um, we're going to grab this one here. It's on this kind of like little platform. Um, but the next one, what we're going to do, so there's number 15. So what we do from here, you can see a little platform just in front of us. What you would do is go straight ahead, climb up, and then use the rope to slide down. Turn around and on the rock is the uh, last one. But if you did get caught... By a sandworm turn to the right and head there's another little platform as you where you spawn turn to the right and you'll see this platform that we're on with another rope sliding down so slide down into the sort of middle there's basically three platforms with wires going down each one so as we head down into this middle of the three uh turn around and on the rock just behind you there it is it is right there so again if you do get caught by the sandworms like i done twice just head for one of these platforms, and this is where the final one is. But of course, it's not the final Luglox chest in the game. So, a few more things that we've got to do. Hooray! But we are almost there. So first of all, there is one, actually, on the Gatlas planet that we're on. So as we head down and outside, what we're going to do is actually... You should turn to the right, and you're going to see a horse statue in the distance. Head towards that horse statue to grab the... Uh, Luglox chest, but for some reason what I do is decided to head to the left um, And go the completely long way around which is basically my life. So instead of doing things nice and easy I decided to do it hard And that's not even a pun this time. <laughs> my life is so hard Right, so anyway, there is the horse statue directly in front of you. So you're gonna need to be quick So of course as long as you've got the slide unit, this shouldn't be a problem Just slide all the way and then sprint as quick as you can Grab this lug blocks chest. You will die, but that is fine. Just fine. It's fine. And that is the gather all compartment done. Now, what are we going to do? So the five remaining ones are in the warp disc locations. Now, remember, you should have at least, providing you've been following the guide, you've gotten all the chests up to this point, and obviously you've got them through warp bases and everything, you should have at least 31. That is exactly how much we need. So we're going to head to Nova Sanctus, back to Blim City now. Again, I've waited to do this until the very end, just because I knew there was a lot of warp crystals in uh, these Luglox chests. So, let's head to Bloto, who's basically Zoidberg with a... Who doesn't speak like this? That's a terrible Zoidberg impression, I'm very sorry. So anyway, uh, have a little chat with Bloto, and then what you're going to see is a, a, a quote-unquote food list price. Just buy all the warp discs you can, again... You should have at least 31, so you should be able to do this. If not, just head back to the Zephyr jungle in the upper valley. And... Or the deep jungle? Uh, one, I think both of them have quite a lot of warp bases. So if you don't have enough, just head there. Head to those two locations in the Zephyr jungle, and you should uh, be able to... And then just keep going back and forth in the pole until you've got enough warp crystals. But again, providing you've been following the guide, you should have more than enough warp crystals... And you should be good to go. Uh, there may be a little bug as well. When you buy the last disc there, the Quiet Cottage, uh, sometimes it'll act as if it hasn't been bought, but just have a look in your inventory uh, just to make sure that you've got all of the warp discs. 
when you have, what we're going to do is actually head to Mr. Keep's shop. But now we are going to actually get the final two trading cards. The other Luglox chests that we need to grab don't have trading cards in them, so you can only get them from this shop. So there's the first one then, Galaxy's Goofiest Gift, number nine, Cup of Pea. That's always, uh, it kind of looks tasty in a disgusting kind of way. And then if we head the other side of the shelf, you will see the final one. Now what happened for me, and it'll probably happen to you too, the new you, is that the achievement won't actually unlock. So if the achievement doesn't unlock, again, all of the trading cards are in Luglock's chest apart from these two. So once you grab these two and the achievement doesn't unlock, just completely quit out of the main menu. So again, just make sure that you've got them here in the cards. If you have, completely quit out of the main menu in the game and then continue and the achievement then should unlock. That is if it doesn't unlock for you straight away, which it didn't for me. So again, quit out of the main menu, continue, and the uh, achievement for grabbing all of the trading cards will unlock. So when, when we have done that and that's all finished, we can now head... All we need to do now is find one of the... You've probably seen it a few times. They're like long blue lights. Uh, you've seen it in the outskirts. Uh, we've seen it in the upper valley as well. Uh, they are the warp disc locations, and that is exactly where we are heading. So, onto the Bounty 5000. Zephyr Paradise into the upper valley. Uh, now, these are kind of like... They're just sort of like easy little puzzles that you've got to do. Apart from the pipe puzzle, which... The pipe puzzle peed me off, quite frankly. Um, because it seemed to be even trickier than the ones that we're doing for Dr. whatever his name was, uh, for the Douglas Bounty. So, from the portal then, what you're going to do, you can see it in the top left-hand corner right there. So that is all that we're going to be heading for. So, slide, baby, slide. Disco Inferno. Slide, baby, slide. Oh, yeah! Oh, I'm so sorry. I sound like a cat's been thrown against the wall there, don't I, to be honest? Right, so, what we're going to do then first is we're going to do the Cutie Town Warp Disc. Now, one thing I should mention as well is that the achievement tracking can be kind of buggy. And you will see, especially with this one. So what we're supposed to do is just go ahead, jump up. Now again, just for time, saving time on the video, I have edited it down slightly. But what all we've got to do is just crush every single building. And then when the annoying guy following you says... Um, I basically want to die. You'll just need to shoot him. And then once all the buildings have been destroyed and he has been shot and there is literally nothing left. Now what you can do is head down. So as you can see, uh, the seeing all the sites achievement tracker should have moved, but it hasn't. If that is the case, what what I ended up having to do was jump off the platform, um, head towards the blue light again. And then just before, so I've pre I will press the left bumper here at the start, moving it again. Um, and then have another check. So when we're on the warp disc menu here, I will have another little check. And finally, it decided to go up. The seeing all the sights achievements there decided to go up. So again, if that keeps happening to you, uh, people have said they've been jumping off, on and off the platforms and it worked that way. But um, just make sure that the achievement tracker has gone up there. Otherwise, we're going to go to the movie theater one now. So again, luckily, we don't have to go to different locations. We can just use the warp discs in the same part. So we're going to the movie theater. This one is nice and easy. We will also get a lovely rare achievement so far. Oh, the sound is beautiful. We paid for the rights, which they did. This is a full hour and a half movie. So if you've had enough of playing, you can literally sit here and watch the entire movie, which is called a goose, perhaps. I don't know. Um, I actually didn't catch the name of the movie. But once it starts, um, the achievement tracker should go up. Oh, thank you, Kendall. So it hasn't gone up yet, as you can see. So, bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. Once everyone shut up and the movie starts, once we get up out of our seat and we start heading out, then we can just go ahead, take a look, make sure that the seeing all the sights achievement there has gone up, which it has. So, moving on up, moving on up till the end. <clears throat> uh, I, may, I may, might just stop that now. Right, next up then, we are going to do the Toilet Warp Disc. Now this, I'm sorry to say, is a pain. And I did edit this down slightly because, admittedly, this took me 10 whole minutes of trying to figure out this pipe puzzle. And it absolutely blew my mind. So as you can see, there is a guy on the right-hand side who basically wants his friend to dump on him. That's about all I've got for that one. Uh, I, I'm not going to say any more because um, 
YouTube will probably demonetize me otherwise. <laughs> so all you need to do is obviously, just like before, you just need to connect all the pipes. So just follow the pipe. The guy who's taking a dump is on top. So just follow the pipes. Once you have done that, um, I mean, this is a hell of a fetish. I don't think even the weirdest of people will enjoy this unless they do. I don't know. Now, you can sit here and watch if you want. I'm going to sort of watch with one eye pointing over to the right-hand side. Ah, uh, oh, oh, dude, that is just... Uh, you can't even say that's like good chocolate or anything. That is just... And that guy at the top taking a crap right now is... <laughs> Bruh, you got some problems. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we'll let him go and see the doctor by himself. That'll be the third seeing all the sights part done. Thank God. Now, the rest of them are nice and easy, effectively. So, we're going for the Skate Warp disc now. Now, for this one, there's two... Basically, you need to get uh, 42,000 points in order to get the Lug Locks chest and to complete it. There are two ways that we can go about doing this. You can literally just keep um, pressing the left stick round so you're doing a spin while simultaneously hitting the A button. So, you're basically jumping and spinning at the same time. Um, which should get you more than enough points for the 42,000. Or you can do what i done, which is... And you've only got a minute, by the way. But all you can do is just keep spamming the left bumper because there are bees that you can swing on, um, ropes that you can swing on as well. So I end up just uh, keep spinning around. That is the main move that we're going to do. So keep just pressing, jump in, pressing the left bumper to get onto uh, things. But as long as you're spinning, the points should fly up. Uh, but there's just two ways that you can do that. Like I said, or you can just keep jumping and spinning around simultaneously until we get the points that we need. And that actually blows, mate. So 45,000 points. That will complete this section. Plus, it will get you the uh, fourth remaining Lug Locks chest. And again, there will only be three left to grab. And we are now going to be doing the two easiest warp discs of the lot. Just to finish it off, which would be nice and lovely. So, let's head there. So, next up, we're going to do the trolley one. Now, this one is just going to take some minutes to do. In terms of... In fact, you don't even have to actually do anything. And I'll show you what I mean now. Uh, trolley tracks warp this. So basically, as we're going to see, there's going to be a, a trolley or a tram, whatever the hell you want to call it, which is coming towards us at a fantastically low, low speed. Uh, so all you're supposed to do, really, is just enjoy the humour between the guy on the right or the couple of people on the left. All you've got to do is just decide who you want to die. The guy with money on the right or the people with morals on the left. Uh, it doesn't matter what you choose. Literally... You can choose whoever you want. All we're doing is literally waiting for the trolley tram to come down and kill someone and come to a complete stop. Right, so I obviously killed the guy on the right. What I would do is wait until the trolley comes to a complete stop before moving on just to make sure that the, uh, the achievement tracker there has gone up. Let's just have another little double check. There it is. So we've only got one more to... Grab, and we are going to get the best of all because there are two rare achievements unlocking at the same time, and that is just mwah, blamissimo, ah, eh? yes. So, stick it right inside Gus or Creature, whoever we've got. I know Creature enjoys it because he's got balls coming out of his chin. So, the Quiet Cottage is the last one that we need, and we're basically sacrificing the last three Lug Locks chests. You, you're literally killing off a family right now. How do you feel? Disgusting. Well, you should, but in their sacrifice, their noble, noble sacrifice, I should call it, they, we have now got two achievements, Luglox Genocide, so that should now be every Luglox chest complete, so congratulations, that is fantastic, and the Seeing All the Sights achievement as well. So that should be those two done. Now, again, if for whatever reason the training card achievement there didn't unlock earlier on,
Uh, I'm gonna, just going to show you anyway here. So we quit to the main menu, continue in, and the game should unlock. And now that should only leave us with one more achievement left. The mods please ban achievement, which is currently bugged, as I said. Um, at the t Again, at the time of this recording, which is still a bit of a pain in the old bottom, as it were. And you're probably going to think this is just lazy guide making. But this, it, it really depends on how you've decided to play the game. If you've decided to stick around and go and kill more things, you know, you may not be on the exact same level of forums that I am. Uh, so what I'm going to do, instead of obviously showing you each location and blah, 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 what I'll do, I'm actually going to put a list now on screen of every single thing that we need to do and where you can find those things, what we need to do. So in terms of if you need to kill a few more um, enemies or aliens or something, I'll just pop down where the best locations are to farm those, um, rather than go to each location and show you. Personally, I may be wrong, you may tell me I'm wrong and that you now hate me, but I find it easier just to say, right, I've got a list down, that's where I need to go, that is, I'll just go through the pole, kill those guys, Go through the next poll, kill those guys again, blah de blah de blah. Um, so again, apologies if you do think this is um, a kind of lazy guide making, but I will put up a list, and then at least then with that list, you can just follow along with exactly what you need to do until you've got it. Because again, like I said, it completely depends entirely on your playthrough, if you've done the exact same as me, or if you've gone off and done a few different things. But, like I said, have a look now, you should only have that one achievement left, so... Here come the beep, here come the beep, uh, I mean the list. So what you're gonna see then is, so say for instance, it says discover three locations in downtown, but I've got in brackets one, two, three, and four. So you still need to get all the 100 milestones to unlock the achievement rather than, so basically with these ones where it's it, it's the suggested forum posts. So the suggested forum posts are for instance, 60 melee kills, but to unlock the achievement later on, you'll need to get 120. Same 240 gun kills on the forum, it says, you need to get 480. So you see, that is why I've put those particular ones there in brackets. And a big shout out there to Lordacris, actually, from True Achievements, for putting the whole list together. So I hope he doesn't mind I've popped this one on here. Um, the ones with question marks is because it is still uh, relatively unknown at the minute as to what um, it is actually supposed to be so the forum post there says discover eight locations in Zephyr jungle but you actually need to suggest you need to grab actually something a, a little bit more so so the ones in the brackets are the ones that you actually need to aim for so again buy three vendor items you need to get five rather than three etc 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 but that is the list then so again once, if this is the only achievement that you need left to do, I obviously highly advise now to just go through it as quick as you can. Well, it's up to you, isn't it? Your pace. But just go through it. Um, again, it, it still will not unlock the achievement, but just try and smash out everything that you possibly can. Um, obviously, I've put there everything in there in terms of how many you need and where you can actually farm these things as well. So, for instance, the 240 little mites, the little uh, Mr. Crab kills. You can farm in the upper Fergal Warren beside the Highway Warp in the upper valley, etc. Um, so yeah, hopefully there's a patch for that soon and everyone can get their full 1,000 and everyone can be goddamn happy, finally. But, uh, and again, hopefully you don't think that's just lazy guide making at the end. Uh, hopefully you you will, uh, you know, hopefully that w list will help. Um, <laughs> if not, then I do apologize for the laziness that I just presumed at the end there. But, there we go then, guys and gals. So, that is that for High on Life for the moment. This has been the 195% uh, achievement guide. So, I mean, that's it. So, I really, really do hope that you enjoyed the game. I really hope that you, that you enjoyed the guide and that it helped out as well. Um, you know, I hope that the pacing of it was fine. I hope the explanations of everything was fine. Again, the humor, you, you know... A lot, of pe a lot of people like it and some people don't. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed absolutely everything. Again, hopefully that it helped. If it did, of course, d don't forget to let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well if you did find it very useful. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Uh, absolute just legends. And thank you so much for everyone who interacts with me on the daily. Anyway, as well, and there we go. So now I can finally 
just go ahead, take a break. My throat is sore. I'm going to go and take a break. So, again, thank you so, so much, guys and gals. I guess I'll see you in the next Game Pass game then. Big love and peace out, homies. Ah, yeah.